God of Slaughter. Chapter 526, Powerful Purification Solve it yourself. Bing Ching Tong looked worried. Would any problems arise? No problem. Shi Yan gritted his teeth, shifting his look to Bai Ji Yi Sen. Please give the Immaculate Panacea to Ba Fei, please. Bai Ji Yi Sen was surprised, turning around, who's Ba Fei? She's my younger sister, Ba Si Tang was happy, hurriedly answered him. Bai Ji Yi Sen nodded and took out the Immaculate Panacea pellet, giving it to Ba Si Tang, use it with cold water. Thank you. Basi Tang was anxious about his sister. After he received the Immaculate Panacea pellet, he didn't hesitate and started to help her treat her poison. Ching Tong, I can't move now. Please bring me to the wing room where I stayed last night, said Shi Yan. Bing Ching Tong's face reddened. She responded to him with the voice like a mosquito, then hurriedly walked to him. Lang Dan Ching and Zhuang Yu Zhu were bewildered but soon gathered themselves and walked to him. As they had received his order, the war devil, the ghost hunter, and the king of demonic insects didn't stop the women. The three of them approached him, using their small hands to support his shoulder and waist, then led him to the absurd room he'd stayed in last night. The war devil, ghost hunter, and the king of demonic insects followed them. Strange light moved in Han Kui's eyes. She hesitated a little bit and then walked into that room with a blushed face. Bai Ji Yi Sen, Bai Di, Bai Si and the others were stunned, their eyes gradually strange. They all heard what Shi Yan used to address the woman. Ching Tong, this close call came out from his mouth with a little bit intimacy. If he weren't close to her, he wouldn't use it. However, the city master of the Ice Emperor City didn't snap back but blushed and accepted it. What kind of situation was this? Up till now, Bing Ching Tong always kept herself pure. Her manners were always icy cold to others. She seemed to have no interest in men. It'd been years and they had never heard any rumors about her. This showed that Bing Ching Tong was very self-respecting. Shi Yan had addressed her in much close manner, and she didn't thunder at him. Quite the contrary, she seemed to be happy with it. Well. Everybody could guess their relationship for now. Soon, Bing Ching Tong, Shuang Yu Zhu, and Lang Dan Ching supported Shi Yan to get out of the scene. Bai Ji Yi Sen, Bai Di, and Bai Si exchanged their confusing looks. They were bewildered for a long time, their minds filled with thoughts. Shi Yan bros really dangerous. I bow to show my admiration for him. Lao Li suddenly gave a compliment his face showing his commendation. He arrived at the Ice Emperor City not long ago, but he's already subdued the city master. Such deed indeed surprises people a lot. I really admire Shi Yan bro. It's much deeper than his real competence. Lao Lun nodded continually as if the words touched his heart. Cai Yi snorted then said coldly, Men simple are no good. Little brother, well, Shi Yan and the city master, what's their relationship? Bai Ji Yi Sen was hesitant, but still, he asked Basi Tang for information. Basi Tang held his immaculate panacea pellet while grinning, Haha, it's what you are thinking. Elder Shuang and Elder Lang are very close to Shi Yan. Get it? Bai Ji Yi Sen, Bai Di and Basi were completely stunned. They couldn't help but ask even Elder Shuang and Elder Leng, too. Yeah, nodded Basi Tang. This man is dangerous, Bai Ji Yi Sen sighed, shook his head and gave a compliment. This B asterisk starred. Cai Yi clenched her jaw as she couldn't press down her anger. Rage rose in her pretty eyes. In the room. Shi Yan sat cross-legged, not moving a bit. He said through his gritted teeth. You guys stay away from me. Don't come close, and don't let anyone come in this room. In the next minutes, perhaps I won't be able to control myself. So, you guys should be prepared. Can't control yourself? What does that mean? Bing Ching Tong inquired. Like last night. Oh. The four women blushed. 
they inaudibly moved their soft bodies away from him. They were both fearful and yearning. Their beautiful eyes shone, gazing at him without blinking. Under their scrutinizing looks, Shi Yan closed his eyes while his muscular body shook violently. The 720 acupuncture points in his whole body seemed to become a vast space. Using the soul consciousness to sense, he could see a big vortex in each acupuncture point. They were moving furiously, gradually condensing the negative energy. Layers piled up, while the vortices spun faster. While they were spinning, strands of negative feelings struck out, overflowing from each acupuncture and moving towards his heart. Yu Li Ming's essence qi filled the vortices abundantly. During their rotation, three different flows were detached separately. One of them was the negative energy that expanded the vortices in his acupuncture points. Another flow comprised of the negative feelings. It was the mood fluctuations of human life with seven feelings and six desires, which was amplified before his death, added to his essence qi and dragged to Shi Yan's acupuncture points. It was separated from the essence qi now. The last one was the best thing to him. It was the mysterious energy, the result of the high-speed spinning vortex filters. Strands of mysterious energy gathered at the center like beams of pure lightning. The vortices drew them to the center and refined them. The mysterious energy increased, but then sank into the center. The essence qi was divided into three parts, of which, the negative feelings couldn't turn into energy as they were just the negative parts of the consciousness about to be wasted. Meanwhile, the negative energy could speed up the vortices to enhance the filtering speed of the mysterious power. Each of the 720 acupuncture points in his body had the same filtering activity. During this process, the negative energy increasing unceasingly was expanding in the vortices just like a wild tornado. Soon, it exceeded the endurance of the acupuncture point. The vortices enlarged in each of his acupuncture points. Countless light dots exploded. At the moment they exploded, Shi Yan's acupuncture points were hurt badly, just like someone had stabbed him with needles. This kind of pain ran through his nerves to his entire body. It was hard to restrain. His acupuncture points were like a big space of chaos without the sun, with only a white mist covering everywhere. In the enlarging vortex, space was filled up, and then the vortex expanded more. This made the acupuncture points swollen causing a pain that couldn't be described with words. The acupuncture point was stretched to its limit, but still forced to enlarge. It was swollen in just a blink, and would probably explode at any minute. This energy and the profound chi of the warriors were different, but the results were magically similar. Both of them needed to be cultivated and increased bit by bit. They couldn't be rushed. Otherwise, the profound chi would explode and the warrior's cultivation base would be erased. What he could do now was just to control the enlargement of the vortices. He clenched his jaws, and endured reluctantly to prevent the negative energy from overflowing, that could burst his acupuncture points. His soul consciousness transformed, flying out from the sea of consciousness and entering each of his acupuncture points. His spirit, will, and thought had been concentrating like never before to oppress the negative feelings. He didn't care about the pain in his entire body, as his strands of soul consciousness divided into 720 strands, trying to control the situation in each acupuncture point. Under his efforts, the expansion speed of the vortices slowed down a little bit. The speed of mysterious power being refined was also controlled, and became slower. As the soul consciousness sank into his acupuncture points, he felt like he had entered so many tiny worlds. In these worlds, there were no stars, sun, or moon, no creatures or flora. The whole world was just a desolate, white area, giving people no fluctuations of living things. Even the soul consciousness would be affected by the negative feelings. His 720 acupuncture points were like 720 strange spaces. Each space had strange but magnificent changes with exploding light dots, the negative feelings, and the refined mysterious power. This was a large-scale construction that he had never noticed before. As he sent his soul consciousness massively into the acupuncture points, 
he got to know how mysterious his mysterious martial spirit was. The acupuncture points of his entire body opened and enlarged to a new sky and earth, refining the negative power, absorbing the essence chi, the mysterious power, and the negative energy separately. Such heaven and earth creation had never been heard by him from any warriors mentioned before. In his memories, he knew that the martial spirits could never reach this level. This was simply a miracle. What was that blood pond after all? How magical was the power in the blood pond to transform people's bodies that way? He suddenly recalled the cave he appeared in when he had arrived in this world. Vaguely, he remembered the wonderful feeling when he had come to this world. He thought that everything was related to that blood pond. Would that blood pond and the blood vein ring have some special powers that they could connect worlds and bring him into this world? Thoughts crossed his minds constantly. All of a sudden, he recognized that the vortices were expanding faster once again. He was scared. He then focused again, continuing his incomplete construction. Time flied by. He didn't know how long he had spent there as he suddenly found the speed of the vortices in his 720 acupuncture points slow down. Half of the essence qi of Yu Li Ming had been refined over the period of time. He relaxed his nerves. However, as he had just relaxed, the negative desires at the bottom of his heart burned again. The blazing flame was like a sea of fire swarming over, covering him entirely in just a blink. His closed eyes opened, hot and full of naked desire. Bing Ching Tong's soft body shivered, glowing under the fabric of her clothes. She was shy, letting out a low scream. He. He's about to burst out. Second sister, why are you here? Lang Dan Ching blushed, but she frowned at Han Kui. I'm afraid that you guys can't withstand. Being your sister, I'm willing to help. Han Kui's beautiful eyes sparkled. She bit her lower lip talking with great shyness. No need, Lang Danqing snorted. Han Kui rolled her eyes, but she didn't leave, speaking up with her red face. You have to share the good things together. I. My ice jade technique just needs a bit more to break through. Chapter 527, Bathe in the Brilliant Sunlight Shi Yan sat neatly with a solemn countenance in the room. His breathing was steady, but he was naked. Therefore snow-white naked bodies scattered around him. They also sat down cross-legged to adjust their breathing, quietly condensing the mysterious power they got from the man. A brilliant light was moving inside the five bodies. Lightning meandered around them like electric snakes, as they were circulating their powers and gathering it. At Shi Yan's chest, dots of starlight radiated gloriously like precious gems much brighter than the lighting gems in the room. Starlight shone dazzlingly in his star martial spirit, while the mysterious power gathered in a small star unceasingly. After it had absorbed enough the mysterious energy, it started to gather and hide the heat of the sun inside, making the heat affect the other stars, burning more fiercely. He didn't know how much time had passed. Some small stars had already become a bunch of fiery flames and started to explode. After each explosion, the small star seemed to have some great, magical changes. The earth flame hiding in the blood vein ring also recognized the strange status. It then released the essence solar energy it had absorbed. This solar energy then overflowed torrentially into the star martial spirit. Time flew inaudibly. Night drew away, and sunrise arrived. When the first sunbeam shone on the Ice Emperor city, the sunlight suddenly shot out from Shi Yan's chest, who had been idle for a long time. The sunlight from him generated a furious suction force. With Shi Yan as the center, the sunbeams were drawn through the ice walls, shining beautifully in the room. Beams of sunlight shot directly to his body, disappearing. The scattering sunlight was like it was turned into a funnel, pouring beam after beam into his body. His chest became as scorching as fire. The small star was now a little sun, continuing to take in the sunlight from above like a hungry baby feeding on his mother's milk. His star martial spirit had a mutation as it was burning and enlarging. As soon as the sunlight was sucked in, this star got bigger, 
and the energy staying there became purer. Gradually, a wonder appeared above the Ice Emperor city. The new sunrise seemed to shine only on the city master palace, and its sunbeams gathered only in that place. In fact, the sunlight fell only on a wing room of the palace. Above the city master palace, the sunlight glistened beautifully, and the heat was increasing. It was so dazzling that people couldn't even open their eyes. The pure sunbeams pierced through the ice walls, refracting in countless beams like a halo behind a god. These beams seemed to be affected by some invisible force, gathering and directing to only one person. Many warriors of the Ice Emperor city were looking at the sky, watching that giant heating sun with stunned faces. Staying in the city master palace, Bai Ge Sen, Bei Di and Bei Si were three experienced warriors, but they still had to drop their jaws in awe, watching the ever-blazing sun above the palace. While they were observing the sunlight that was much fiercer than normal, they didn't know what to do, although thoughts flickered fast in their heads. It. What is it? Bei Di was bewildered for a while. All of a sudden, he shivered and said uncertainly. Don't tell me that it's the brilliant sunlight bathing of the Radiant God Cult. Brilliant sunlight bathing. The Radiant God Cult was known for their flaming sun execution. When their warriors could break through the new level of the flaming sun execution, the sunlight from the nine skies would precisely shine on their entire bodies, just like they were bathing miraculously in the sunlight. The higher level the flaming sun execution was, the larger insulation the warriors could have. Brilliant Sunlight Bathing Bai Ge Sen's eyes lit up as he was scrutinizing the marvel in the sky. Then, he nodded affirmatively, true. It's indeed the flaming sun execution of the Radiant God Cult, that too at a really high level. It can draw the power of the sun and naturally form the brilliant sunlight bathing. I get it, Lao Li patted his head and shouted, when we were in the dark magnetic noxious mist people from the Radiant God cult said that Xi Yan was one of them. Seems that Zhao Feng didn't lie. However, I only saw him perform the star execution. He had never revealed any sign of the flaming sun execution. You've seen him using the star execution. Bei Di seemed to recall something, his face more solemn. Lao Li and Lao Lu nodded then Lao Li said, he also used the Northern Dipper Arrow. Northern Dipper Arrow. Bei was astounded, muttering, only the star execution at a certain level can perform the Northern Dipper Arrow. He can use the Northern Dipper Arrow, then how can he draw the brilliant sunlight bathing? It seems, not suiting the common sense, right? Why doesn't it suit common sense? Lao Li didn't understand. Disciples of the Radiant God cult cultivate the Flaming Sun Execution, the Silver Moon Execution, and the star execution. These are the root of the cultivating techniques in the Radiant God Cult. Each type of techniques has many realms. In Radiant God Cult, no matter it's the disciple or the elder, they have to choose one of these techniques to cultivate, and they can only cultivate one of them. Bei frowned as he was a little bit confused, too. They can't cultivate two techniques at the same time. Lao Li was surprised. The Flaming Sun Execution, the Silver Moon Execution, and the Star Execution take in the energy from Sun, Moon and the Stars respectively. If a warrior cultivates two techniques at the same time, not only can't he grow his technique to the higher realms, but he may also meet the conflicts between the energies. If it's serious, he might even die. So, although the Radiant God Cult has so many hot shots, each of them has been cultivating only one technique. They don't dare to take risks, nodded Bei Si. Is it an exception? Bei Di's face was odd. Bei Si was astounded. He suddenly shivered, speaking in fear. Da Ji, are you saying that? Bei Di nodded, hesitated for a while before talking again. The cult master of the Radiant God cult can fuse the Flaming Sun execution, the Silver Moon execution, and the star execution together in his body, so he can absorb the energies from the sun, moon and the stars at the same time. The method to fuse these three techniques, only the cult master of the Radiant God cult knows. He. 
Is he the line disciple of the Radiant God Cult's cult master? Is he his successor? Lao Li almost jumped up, shaking his head as if he couldn't believe it. Caie was quiet the whole time. Suddenly, she smiled tenderly, impossible, it's absolutely impossible. Shi Yan had never been to the Divine Great Land before. When we were in the dark magnetic noxious mist, he didn't know about the Radiant God cult either. At that moment, Zhao Feng had taught him the Northern Dipper Arrow and the Secret Star Execution. If he were the line disciple of the cult master, he would have known the secret technique of the Radiant God cult. Having heard the girl say so, Bei Si and Bei Di became more suspicious. If it's true, there's only one possibility. Bai Ge Sen's look changed. He has found the secret to fuse the Flaming Sun execution and the Star execution accidentally. The cult master didn't teach him. He learned it himself. Bei Si, Bei Di, and the other gawked. It's... It is impossible. The method to fuse the three techniques is the most mysterious Upanishad of the Radiant God cult. Except for the cult master, no one can know it. If it were easy to learn like that, the Radiant God cult wouldn't make it their most precious technique. Baesai shook his head, not buying what Bai Ge Sen said. Besides that possibility, I don't know what else it can be. Bai Ge Sen's eyes were complicated. He mused, then sighed. Wait for him. Let's see what he will tell us. All of them wore a strange face, waiting in silence in the city master palace while looking in the particular direction of the palace. In the wing room, the burning sunlight faded eventually into Shi Yan's body. In the end, he took a deep breath while awakening. He sensed a little bit and immediately found a small sun inside his star martial spirit. Compared to the other stars, it was much bigger. That little sun was radiating heat and absorbing the solar energy at the same time. Previously, he sometimes vaguely felt that the star martial spirit could absorb a little of the energy from the sun. But this feeling was so hazy that he thought it was just his hallucination. But it was different now. It wasn't just a feeling anymore. He could see it, that the scorching star was taking in the solar energy unceasingly. He could feel each beam of warm sunlight energy entering his heart at any moment. Are you awake? Bing Ching Tong had put on her clothes. She was wearing an elegant white royal robe. Her jade-like face glowed while she was eyeing Shi Yan with interest. After a while, she talked, You. Are you a member of the Radiant God cult? No, Shi Yan shook his head. So? How do you get the flaming sun execution and you even drew the brilliant sunlight bathing? Bing Ching Tong was dumbstruck. Han Kui, Shuang Yuzhu, and Lang Dan Ching had dressed up decently. They all looked bright and glowing, as they were looking at him attentively. You. How are you? Shi Yan didn't answer her question, but from their countenances, he found something. I think I just need half a month to reach the third sky of spirit realm. Bing Ching Tong smiled naturally as she didn't feel shame. A flow of energy from your body has boosted our ice jade technique to another level. This time, we've all broken through to another realm. Shi Yan was surprised, why is Han Kui here? You rascal! Han Kui blushed, her eyes indignant as she said shyly. Last night, you did bad things with me, why you don't ask about that? You have taken advantage of me, and now you pretend you don't know it. Such a b asterisk starred you are. No. I didn't count you in. You've done things with me. My sisters saw it all. Don't deny. Black lines filled Shi Yan's face. Chapter 528, Hidden Danger The Ice Jade Technique had seven levels, and each of them was tough to break through. Sometimes, a warrior could break through her realm but not the level of the Ice Jade Technique. Bing Ching Tong and Han Kui were at the level 4 of the Ice Jade Technique. They had stayed at this level for almost 10 years. When they stepped into the second sky of spirit realm, their Ice Jade Technique didn't advance together. However, after they had been with Shi Yan, they had a breakthrough. At the moment, 
their ice jade technique had reached level 5. The ice jade technique had a special feature, due to which it did not always improve whenever the warrior had a breakthrough in her realm. However, once the ice jade technique advanced one step further, the warrior's realm would have a small development. In other words, after their ice jade technique had been upgraded, not long afterward, Han Kui and Bing Ching Tong could enter the profound third sky of spirit realm from their current second sky of spirit realm. Lang Dan Ching and Zhuang Yu Zhu also had the same benefits. These two women had stayed at the level 3 of the ice jade technique, and now were both at level 4. Just like Bing Ching Tong and Han Kui, they had entered a new small realm of the second sky of spirit realm. After Yu Li Ming died, his essence chi of the third sky of spirit realm warrior was divided into five parts after being refined. A part of that had helped Shi Yan draw the brilliant sunlight bathing, while the other four parts had boosted the ice jade technique of the four women. No pain no gain. The challenge Shi Yan had met this time almost put him to death. After he had converted the adversity to fortune, it benefited five people at the same time. Bing Ching Tong, Han Kui, Shuang Yu Zhu, and Lang Dan Ching were glowing, their eyes sparkling enough to charm anyone. Inside the wing room, Shi Yan was frightened by this change, so he didn't know what to say. Outside the room, as Bai Ji Sen, Bei Si and Bei Di saw the brilliant sunlight bathing fade away, they knew the situation was steadied. They hurried to the place. Lao Li pitched his voice. Shi Yan, old bro, are you all right? I'm okay. Can we get in there? Arg, your guards, can you tell them to retreat? Outside the room, the ghost hunter, the war devil, and the king of demonic insects were still guarding the place, not allowing anyone to come close. Bai Ji Sen and the others froze on looking at the beasts. Since they didn't dare to act rashly, they let Lao Li ask for the situation first. Okay, I got it. Shi Yan smiled, then called back the ghost hunter and the war devil, letting them get back inside the blood vein ring. Then, he let them enter the room. After Bai Ji Yi Sen, Bei Di, Bei Si and Cai Yi got in the room, they all wore a strange face, eyeing the four women of Bing Ching Tong's group. The four women felt awkward as if they had been busted. Their faces were ruddy, with a moistened appearance. At first glance, people knew what good things they had done. Little brother, you are a fortunate man. Baesai complimented, his face filled with admiration. The four women of Bing Ching Tong's group were famous in the fighting union not only because of their cultivation bases, but also their beautiful appearance and elegant manners. Each warrior of the fighting union, more or less, had thought about these four women. Unfortunately, no one could conquer them. Shi Yan had come to the Ice Emperor city not long ago, but he had already subdued the four women at once, even Bei Si had to admire his deeds. Little brother, that brilliant sunlight bathing had come for you, right? Bai Ji Sen wore a serious face, talking about the main business directly. Shi Yan was stunned. After he knew what so-called the brilliant sunlight bathing was, he nodded. I heard that you know how to use the Northern Dipper Arrow, and you also know how to use the star power. Asked Bai Ji Yi Sen. Shi Yan nodded, his face suspicious. Why do you care about this? Bing Ching Tong and the other women had their eyes sparkled. Their bodies shivered when they heard him admit it. As they were all the warriors of the Divine Great Land, the four women knew the secrets of the Radiant God cult regarding the magical fusion of the three mysterious techniques. Do you know that only the cult master of the Radiant God cult knows the method to combine the Flaming Sun execution, the Silver Moon execution, and the Star execution? Bai Ji Sen took a deep breath, then explained, in each generation, the Radiant God cult has only one cult master and only he knows how to fuse the three techniques. Only when the elders of the cult declare that the cult master died will they select the new master. At that time, they will come to the Radiant Summit. At that peak, they will join forces to open the secret chamber there. The newly elected master will learn the secrets of fusing the three techniques in that chamber. Shi Yan shook his head. 
Each generation has only one radiant cult master, and only he knows that secret. Only he can know the ultimate Upanishad. Bai Ge Sen's face turned more solemn. In the legends, the one who knew how to combine the powers of the sun, the moon, and the stars, even if his realm wasn't enough, he still could subdue the elders of the cult. This is also why the position of the cult master of the radiant god cult is unbreakable. What did you say? Shi Yan was stunned. Bai Ge Sen affirmed while nodding, even if the newly elected cult master has only the Sky Realm cultivation base, once he can fuse the powers of the sun, the moon, and the stars together, he can oppress any elders who cultivate the flaming sun execution, the silver moon execution, and the star execution in the cult. No matter that elder has the first sky or even the third sky of spirit realm cultivation base, he would still be subdued. Shi Yan discolored as he suddenly recognized the seriousness of the issue. One sect could have only one master, one paragon. He had accidentally bumped into this mess, and he had both the sun martial spirit and the star martial spirit. Did it mean he was a master without a real status in the radiant god cult? How serious this problem was, he understood pretty well. If he were the current master of the radiant god cult and knew that there was someone like him, who could fuse the three secret techniques together, and that person could use this method to oppress all the elders in his sect, what should he do? I think you realized the seriousness of this issue, Bai Ge Sen took a deep breath, mused for a while, then continued, luckily, only we know about it now. As long as we keep it in the down low, people of the Radiant God cult can't know about it. Bai Ge Sen paused for a while, then shifted his look to Bei Di, Bei Si, Lao Li, and Lao Lun, I think Bei Di brother won't want to see anything bad happen to our little brother here. I guarantee that I will forget everything here once I get out of the place. I will not disclose anything to anyone. For City Master Bing and the three elders, I think you guys won't spread out the story here, so. Shi Yan frowned. Of course, if you, little brother, don't feel secure, you have the powers to kill all of us. This is the most secure way. Bai Ji Sen suddenly lifted his head, looking at Shi Yan deep in the eyes. Shi Yan was astounded. He then burst out laughing, shaking his head. First, let alone I have this ability or not, even if I have it, I won't do that. Bai Ji Sen, Bei Di, and Bei Di were all strong warriors with profound realms. Even if he could utilize all of his powers, he couldn't do that. Thus, he didn't think about that intent. I know you aren't that type of person. Bai Ge Sen smiled as he relaxed his stiff face. So, what you should do now is to hide it. Never let anyone you don't trust get the information that you can fuse the powers of the sun and the stars. Otherwise, I think you will encounter great dangers. Which realm does the radiant god cult's cult master have? His heart fell as he asked. The second sky of true god realm, Bai Ge Sen said with an admiring face. Shi Yan's visage changed as he nodded quietly, I got it. He understood that when an expert at the second sky of true god realm wanted to kill him at any cost, even if he had the war devil, the ghost hunter, the king of demonic insects, and the heaven flames, he couldn't escape death. At this moment, he had made up his mind that he had to secure this secret. Unless he had the strength to parry the master of the radiant god cult, he should never disclose that he had the sun martial spirit and the star martial spirit to any living men. Perhaps we are overthinking, Bai Ge Sen saw Shi Yan tense, and couldn't hide his laughter, the master of the radiant god cult has always covered his men's shortcomings. He has a good reputation. Also, he's a generous man. Perhaps, even if he knows this, he won't eradicate you. But you should always be alert. Little brother, you should understand that point. Bing Ching Tong and the other three women also realized the seriousness of the matter. They kept silent, but they were all worried about him. The Radiant God Cult's master was the most dangerous warrior of the Divine Great Land. Hundreds of years had passed by and he could still threaten many warriors and receive admiration from them at the same time. Such a character could kill all creatures in this Ice Emperor city. 
if he took action, even by Ge Sen, Bei Di and Bei Si couldn't escape. Thanks for letting me know this. I know what to do, Shi Yan's brows slammed together, then answered in a serious tone. All right, we should go now. With you staying in the Ice Emperor City, I think the Nings won't dare to come back. As he had a tasted the bitter fruit this time, I think he will ask his friends to come with him here again. I will probe this a bit. City Master Bing, you'd better report the General Union what had happened here. If the Ice Emperor City has to fight the second time, it can be the war between the Fighting Union and the Heaven Temple. At that time, we won't just stand and stare. Bai Ge Sen hesitated for a while and then continued. Shi Yan and Bing Ching Tong nodded. We'll set off now. Little brother, if you visit the White Emperor City, you should be our guest at the Aok family. Bai Ge Sen smiled, not caring if Ciaiye agreed or not. He took her hands and left, soaring through the clouds, disappearing shortly. Hey Shi Yan bro, remember to visit us at the Banner family. Brothers Lao Li also invited him. Shi Yan smiled, regarding them. You should be watchful about every move of yours. Remember, don't let anyone not close to you know that you can fuse the sun and the star's powers. Baesai patted his shoulder. One day, when you have the confidence to resist the Radiant God Cult's cult master, you won't need to worry about this anymore. Yet, yeah, I can see that you have an endless potential. Then, Beidi and Baesai took the Lao brothers and left the palace. Chapter 529, Dead Soul Mountain Half a month later, the Ice Emperor city was still quiet and peaceful. Ten days ago, Bing Ching Tong, Han Kui, Shuang Yuzhu, and Lang Danqing had broken through their realm in the ice chamber Shi Yan had asked the ice cold flame to build for them. Bing Ching Tong and Han Kui had entered the third sky of spirit realm, and Zhuang Yuzhu and Lang Danqing had reached the second sky of spirit realm. After their breakthrough, Bing Ching Tong immediately sent the message to the General Union. The person in charge in the General Union felt excited for them when he knew they all had entered the next realm. The Heaven Temple and their fighting union had been prepared for a fight, which was now delayed because of their new realm breakthrough. The fighting union utilized all effort to protect the Ice Emperor city. They didn't regret sending the most elite force of the fighting union to battle with the Heaven Temple. As the responsible person of the Heaven Temple saw their determination and guts, he had to weigh pros and cons. Eventually, he notified the Ning family to not act rashly. The fight that was about to take place had ended quietly like that. No one knew what the leaders of the Heaven Temple and the Fighting Union had negotiated, but both sides stopped their actions altogether. When they knew that the Ice Emperor City wasn't in danger anymore, Basi Teng and Ba Fei bid their farewell to Xi Yan and went to their family's territory to find the Ba family's treasures, which might be hidden somewhere there. Xi Yan stayed in the Ice Emperor City to help them build an ice chamber. With two drops of the cold chalcedony, the ice cold flame and the Holy Spirit God had upgraded their intelligence to another level. These two strange living beings became more humane. After the Holy Spirit God had taken in one drop of the cold chalcedony, the white skeleton clone became translucent, as beautiful as gems, and with a dense cold air meandering, tangling with the dazzling divine light. The ice-cold flame made a trip around the bitter cold land to supplement a large amount of freezing qi. Its power was restored fast. The day when the four women had completed their cultivation in the ice chamber, Shi Yan told them he had to leave for a while. He was going to visit the Dead Soul Mountain. Bing Ching Tong knew what he was worried about, she tried to insist him to stay, but since he was persistent, she had to let him leave. The time they had spent together was short, but the feelings they had for Shi Yan weren't shallow. These women wanted to keep him in the Ice Emperor City and enjoy the rest of their lives together. However, Shi Yan didn't appreciate that thought. He told them clearly that he didn't want to stay there and retire. As the four women had no way to persuade him otherwise, they could only accept it. Bing Ching Tong and the other women were cultivating the Ice Jade technique so the Ice Emperor City and the Bitter Cold Land were the best places for them to practice and thrive. 
To reach the higher realm, they couldn't leave the Ice Emperor city and go with him to the Dead Soul Mountain. Thus, they could only see him leave. At the moment, their realms had been improved a lot, which made the Fighting Union highly value them. Even if Ning Du Chuan came here again, with their cultivation bases, the women weren't afraid of the Ning family's threat. The Fighting Union had put forth everything to protect them, so the Heaven Palace didn't dare to act rashly. Shi Yan could put aside the concern for them. After he'd done comforting the four women, Shi Yan left the Ice Emperor city alone, continuing his journey. On the way to the Dead Soul Mountain, he endured the hardship of training, ascetically cultivating the Upanishads of the powers he had learned. The negative energy, the immortal rebirth secret, the star martial spirit, the life and death seal, and the other Upanishads he had known were studied deeply in an attempt to have a flash of recognition to increase his realm again, entering the gateway of the spirit realm. The three god realms were the most desired threshold any warrior wanted to reach. Entering the three god realms meant that one was walking on the path leading to the peak as a warrior. To reach the three god realms, countless warriors trained strenuously, secluding themselves deep in the mountains or the forests to perceive the hidden powers and comprehend the truth of their realms. Since he had many martial spirits, if he wanted to comprehend them thoroughly, it would take a lot of time. However, even if one knew it was hard, and didn't want to put more effort, one would never cross this threshold until he or she died. Thus, along the way, whenever he had free time, he made himself quiet down to comprehend the true meanings of the powers, with his whole body involved. Through his efforts this time, he had reached a new realm in understanding the Upanishads of the powers he had. Although he couldn't break through with only understanding the truth, it helped him strengthen his powers whenever he performed his attacks, in which he had a deep carved understanding of the death and life seal. Once he released the death and life intent domain, he could even affect all living creatures and flora in the whole area. As his star martial spirit had had some changes, during his trip, it continually absorbed the power of the sunlight. Even if it were midnight, he still could feel the existence of the dazzling sun in the vast sea of stars, feeling the feeble solar energy flowing into his body. The sun, the moon and the stars were everlasting. They would not disappear as day and night took their shifts. They were just covered temporarily. If the martial spirit were strong enough, the warrior could still feel the energy of the sun, moon and stars no matter it was day or night. They could always absorb the energy, but the speed would be different. The Divine Great Land was immensely vast and the Ice Emperor city was just a city in the far west. After he had left the Ice Emperor city, he passed by many big countries along the way. All of them were dependent on big forces like the Heaven Palace or the Fighting Union. The emperors of these mortal kingdoms had to pay a visit to their guarding forces or some strong families on holidays or occasions. These dependent kingdoms had to offer a large amount of cultivating materials for those warriors to use. Perhaps they would refine some pellets or treasures in return. Some strong empires with the large territory and population of millions still had to bend their heads in front of those experts who could move the mountains or fill the river. They had to be as humble as possible. On his way, he crossed many strong empires, whose strength was much formidable than the raging fire empire of the quiet cloud, equal to the God-blessed empire. However, no matter how strong they were, they couldn't be compared to the old factions that had a history of tens of thousands of years in the Divine Great Land. Each ancient faction had their own true God Realm warriors to guard over. The true God Realm experts in the Divine Great Land were like gods. If they wanted, one true God Realm warrior could destroy any country, which didn't have the same level warrior to protect them. Under such intimidating threats, those big countries didn't dare to rebel and offered them as many cultivating materials as they could find in their countries. So many high summits and rivers existed on his way, and many lone warriors were cultivating in seclusion. Along his trip, he had seen a lot of things that he had never known in the endless sea. Crossing many empires and famous mountains, he could sense some invincible dormant experts. His understanding of the divine great land had been deepened. On his way, 
he didn't intend to provoke any enemy or use his power to slaughter. Quite the contrary, he had been like a homespun, ascetic monk, always lonely in hempen garments, passing through the high peaks and the deep swamps. He befriended beasts, and fed on earth and firmament. He became quiet, and didn't talk to humans, just wanting to understand more about the path he had chosen. At the peak state of the martial path, an expert could move the mountains, his soul could penetrate the highest heaven, and his body could fly in the sky. Along his lonely journey, he had been wholeheartedly training in hardship to comprehend the highest level of the martial path. He had a clear direction, he just needed to take each step towards the acme of the martial path. He had concentrated his spirit, souls and body into the training, leaving his mind empty to soon reach the spirit realm. There was no calendar in these mountainous areas. Time flew by quietly. He didn't know how long it had passed or how many big countries and massive mountains he had crossed. After crossing a swamp area that he couldn't see the shore of, he finally saw a majestic mountain range whose summits were penetrating the sky. Each peak looked like a sharp sword stabbed directly to the highest sky. Clouds bobbed around, and beasts could be seen scattered here and there. The mountain ranges continued one after another without an end. Hundreds of mountains stood in front of his eyes. Each of them was grand and majestic, where dense heaven and earth chi gathered. Beasts were running here and there. Sometimes, he could see some warriors gliding back and forth, seeming to be secluding in these mountains to cultivate. Green, boundless clouds and mist drifted just like cotton scattered here and there around the mountains. Inside the green clouds and mist, there was a strange cold and evil aura. Sometimes, some malicious dead souls appeared inside the green clouds, who didn't have real bodies, and gave people a terrifying feeling. The Dead Soul Mountain was the most mysterious and dangerous place in the Divine Great Land. In this mountain range, there were almost 1,000 mountains with different sizes. Each of these mountains was the house of both warriors and beasts. In some mountains, some intimidating beasts could transform into human form. They looked exactly the same as other normal warriors. When they didn't urge their powers, ordinary warriors couldn't point out the differences. Also, there were dead souls living in the Dead Soul Mountain. Those dead souls used to be the souls of strong expert or beasts, which had gathered the Yin Qi to form. Some said that those dead souls were pagans who came here from the alien area, through the vast bobbing clouds, and landed on the Grace mainland by chance. The clusters of green clouds hovering above the Dead Soul Mountain became the evil lairs of the Dead Souls. And, it seemed only the Dead Souls could use these evil lairs. Once warriors and beasts came near, they would be attacked to death. Gradually, they would turn into Dead Souls too. In the legends, the Dead Souls Devil Lair was some sort of gateway to heaven, leading to the mysterious outer space. Unfortunately, Ordinary warriors and beasts didn't dare to approach them. As long as they were the creatures that had souls, once they got near to the evil lairs of the dead souls, they would be eroded and turned into dead souls. Even spirit realm warriors couldn't escape this tragic consequence. The dead souls' evil lairs were the special features of the dead soul mountain. They existed in the green cotton clouds that they could only be observed and never intruded. From time to time, after one or several years, an anomalous situation would happen there. Sometimes, there would be the tremendous dead souls, and sometimes, it would be the invincible, mysterious energy which could shake the whole dead soul mountain. Some strong experts of the Divine Great Land shared that they had gone near the dead souls' evil lairs, and from a close distance, they saw some people walking in there. The legend of the Dead Souls' evil lairs had been spreading through tens of thousands of years in the Divine Great Land. However, until now, no one could tell clearly what the Dead Souls' evil lairs actually were, or what stayed in there. Perhaps, someone did know the secrets of the Dead Souls' evil lairs, but they didn't want to share with others. Looking at the Grand Mountains from afar, divine light radiated from Shi Yan's eyes. He stood quietly for a while and then muttered, finally arrived. Then, he strode towards the place. Chapter 530, The Alchemist's Center 
The Dead Soul Mountain's topography was special. It was situated between the Radiant God Cult, the Pure Land, and the Devil Valley, and the distances between them weren't too large. However, no force managed this area. The ones who often visited this area were the alchemists and the blacksmiths at all levels. Rumors said that there were thousands of alchemists and blacksmiths living in the Dead Soul Mountain. This special class of the Grace Mainland liked the Dead Soul Mountain, and made it the center of the alchemists and blacksmiths of the entire Grace Mainland. Among the other warriors, the alchemists and the blacksmiths belonged to the noble class. Normally, the alchemists and the blacksmiths wouldn't depend on any forces, as they had dedicated their whole lives to refine pellets and secret treasures. Those people were quiet, odd, and didn't like to get along well with the others. However, in the Dead Soul Mountain, the alchemists and the blacksmith lived in harmony. They studied and discussed the Upanishads of refining pellets and forging treasures with each other. When warriors living around the Pure Land, the Radiant God Cult, and the Devil Valley were in need of pellets or secret treasures, they would bring abundant materials to the Dead Soul Mountain, then find the corresponding alchemist or blacksmith to refine the desired items. Of course, they had to pay for the service. Many warriors from the Grace Mainland came here to refine pellets and specialized treasures for their sex, even though they had to travel a long distance for this. The Dead Soul Mountain had many qualified alchemists and blacksmiths. When they came here with an attractive payment, they could have what they desired. The alchemists and the blacksmiths here had formed a system in the Dead Soul Mountain. They didn't turn their back to the seven ancient factions or took part in the dispute between them. These special warriors had a great passion for refining medicines and forging weapons. They wouldn't favor anyone, as they only followed their own rules. As long as the payment was good, they could forge weapon or refine pellet for anyone. Also, no matter how furious the battle between the seven old factions was, they would never target the Dead Soul Mountain. In this continent, the Dead Soul Mountain was quite a peaceful place with good conditions for refining things. Warriors living around there often traded cultivating materials with the alchemists or the blacksmiths. This place was the holy temple of the alchemists and the blacksmiths. Living on numerous grand mountains were the alchemists and the blacksmiths. The strongest alchemists and blacksmiths took the richest mountains. Some of them taught disciples, while some just cultivated alone to find the acme of their refining and forging treasures, sinking in what they called the Great Path. Two valleys were backing each other in the center of the Dead Soul Mountain. They were called the Spirit Potion Valley and the Precious Tool Valley. These two valleys were vast, as big as a small city, and were surrounded boisterously year-round. People who traveled to the Spirit Potion Valley were all the alchemists, while warriors who visited the Precious Tool Valley were all blacksmiths. The Spirit Potion Valley and the Precious Tool Valley had many shops where cultivating materials to refine medicines or forge weapons were sold. Outsiders could always visit these two valleys to find the alchemists and blacksmiths to refine the items they wanted, as long as they could find the right person with an appropriate price. Generally, the Spirit Potion Valley and the Precious Tool Valley were almost free. They didn't have many rules or taxes. Not only human warriors, even the beasts and the pagans were free to enter the places. No one would specially target them. There were almost 1,000 mountains in the Dead Soul Mountain range, and half of them were occupied by intimidating beasts. Those beasts could transform to human form and their powers were much more tremendous than human warriors at the same level. Anyway, the beasts there lived in harmony with the alchemists and blacksmiths. They didn't fight often. Beasts which could cultivate to the peak and have intelligence were no less smart than mankind, so they also needed good medicines and weapons. Since they were living inside the Dead Soul Mountain range, they understood the cultivating materials there better. Beasts who came to find the alchemists or blacksmiths with sufficient amount of materials often prepared better payment than human warriors. Usually, the alchemists and the blacksmith wouldn't deny the offer, and would cooperate with the beasts. Thanks to its special features, the Dead Soul Mountain Range had attracted many strange races, some of them being super strong. They had settled down and earned a decent living in the Dead Soul Mountain Range. 
they had been cultivating silently, gathering the energy of heaven and earth to increase their realms, while collecting rare and precious materials there to prepare more medicines and weapons for their tribes. As Xi Yan was flying over the Dead Soul mountain range, he released his soul consciousness, frequently sensing strong aura emitted from each mountain. These auras came from humans and beasts, but some came from sources he was unsure of. Perhaps these auras came from the peculiar souls he had never encountered before. Mankind, beasts, and pagans lived together in the Dead Soul mountain range, and didn't interfere each other's life. However, they often went to the Spirit Potion Valley and the Precious Tool Valley to do business with human alchemists and blacksmiths. All of them lived together in peace and harmony. The Dead Soul mountain range was vast. With his Sky Realm cultivation base, Xi Yan spent seven days flying to cross couples hundreds of mountains. Finally, he arrived the Spirit Potion Valley in the center of the Dead Soul Mountain Range. The Spirit Potion Valley bathed in the sunbeams of a new dawn. Under the warm sunlight, he could see people moving and spacious streets packed with stores and shops. Many human warriors and alchemists were moving in front of the shops, finding the raw materials they needed. Among them were humanoid beasts wearing clothes with sharp horns on their heads, or having a long tail behind their bottom. All of them were operating equally in the Spirit Potion Valley. No human warriors in the valley showed a strange face on seeing the beasts, because it was all totally normal to them. Warriors living here had soon recognized the existence of the demonic beasts and pagan tribes. They would never look at them with a bias. Shi Yan observed the situation for a while from outside the valley, and was quite surprised. In the endless sea, Cao Chu Dao, Yang Tian Emperor, and Yang Yi Tian were totally racist. They only acknowledged mankind as the master of the continent. Except for humans, all were considered pagans. According to them, the sea tribes, the dark dwellers, the demon dwellers were all sinister races that should be uprooted. When the demonic sound clan and the winged clan had first entered the endless sea, the warriors there saw them with fear and hatred, as if there were a big grudge between them, and that the demonic sound clan and the winged clan shouldn't exist. The Dead Soul mountain range gave him a brand new understanding. Warriors living around here wouldn't make the beasts or pagans their enemies, and they wouldn't want to kill them all. Demonic beasts, human beings, and pagans had lived together under one roof, all borrowing the rich cultivating materials of the Dead Soul mountain range to improve their powers. The atmosphere here was much comfortable and free than the endless sea. After a long time observing from a far distance, Shi Yan wore an admiring face. He couldn't help but think that when the demonic sound clan and the winged clan came to the divine great land, the Dead Soul mountain range might be the best choice for them. Lingering outside the Spirit Potion Valley for a while, Shi Yan walked into the valley alone. Next, he took a trip around the shops randomly. He was quite surprised and happy as he had a good feeling about this Spirit Potion Valley. The shops in the Spirit Potion Valley sold spirit herbs, miracle fruits and strange fluids used for refining medicine. At first glance, he could see that the raw materials that were considered precious in the endless sea were common and available everywhere. And, he also saw many medical ingredients which he had never seen before, they were also widely available. It was worth being the famous center of the alchemists in the whole continent. He complimented in his mind as his impression of the Spirit Potion Valley grew better. Apparently, the cultivating materials in the Spirit Potion Valley were much more abundant than the Endless Sea, and he was sure that the warriors from other areas could never have the attainment of the alchemists here. Walking along the street, he was surprised on seeing the rare materials they had. The sunlight faded out. Seeing the sun was about to set, he remembered the purpose of his trip. Musing for a while, he then walked towards the general direction of the Spirit Hall of the Spirit Potion Valley. The Spirit Hall was a special place for outsiders seeking a suitable alchemist. It was a business center. Warriors could go there to advertise the mission they wanted to accomplish. When the alchemists and the blacksmith couldn't find the materials they needed, they could also ask the spirit hall to notice and search for them. The payment would be decent though. When Ye Chong Feng gave him the token, 
he told him to go to the spirit hall in the spirit potion valley and give it to the person in charge, following which, someone would welcome him well. Ye Chongfeng's master was considered owing him a favor. In the Grace mainland, an excellent alchemist always had good relationship with many connections. The reason why he wanted to find Ye Chongfeng's teacher was to contact the Pure Land through him, as he wanted to use the life original fluid to exchange for Xia Xi and Yan, and to save her soul from vanishing. In his original plan, he wanted to visit the Radiant God cult first. However, given the advice from Bai Ji Sen, he had to give up his initial plan as he was afraid that if he went to the Radiant God cult, some experts there might see through the difference in his body. Thus, he had to go further to find the Dead Soul Mountain. In the Spirit Hall, many warriors wearing bluish-gray robe embroidered with the symbol of the alchemists were introducing the newest information to their customers in a business-like manner. After Shi Yan got into the place, he reached the nearest guard, smiled at him and showed him the token. Do you recognize this token? The mystery third rank alchemist was dazed, looking at the token and then Shi Yan himself, asking him surprisingly, What's this? Shi Yan was bewildered, showing the token to the man again. A friend of mine gave me this. He told me to go to the Spirit Potion Valley and show the token and someone would receive me. Take another look carefully. The mystery third rank alchemist was dazed. He checked the token carefully. Minutes later, he shivered while his eyes brightened, Sir, please wait a moment. I'll bring the token to my master. Please wait. Don't go. Wait for me here. Just a moment. Chapter 531, Spirit Hall Behind the spirit hall was a spacious room, matted with thick, soft fur rug. The walls of that room had many exquisite carvings of caterpillar fungus. Standing in the middle of the room was an incense burner, from where fragranced smoke of precious grass diffused. The room was warm, with gems sparkling from the ceiling. Jalin wore a gold-plated robe of the alchemist, which had three spirit herbs embroidered on the shoulder. This was the insignia of a third rank of profound level alchemist. As one of the persons in charge of the spirit hall, Jalin worked daily there to manage the operations of the hall. At this moment, he was wearing an arrogant face, lying on his side on a tiger skin and fur covered chair. He looked at the two first Sky of Spirit Realm warriors in front of him with an impatient face. These two Spirit Realm warriors wanted him to refine pellets for them. However, they didn't pay enough to satisfy him. Jalin felt a little bit irritated. Jalin had just entered the spirit realm, but he had mainly depended on the aid of medicines. His realm wasn't high, and his power couldn't be compared to the two in front of him now. Anyway, as he was an alchemist, he had the confidence that the others had to satisfy him. Go home. Without three pieces of the silver star grass, I won't help you. Jalin waved his hand and couldn't help but grunt. Wait until you two can collect the silver star grass. If I have free time, I will consider refining the fierce golden pellet for you guys. But now, please go. The two first Sky of Spirit Realm warriors stood opposite him, shook their heads in distress and sighed. They were about to leave. At this moment, a guard of the Spirit Hall stormed in, didn't bow to him but walked directly to Jalin while breathing heavily, Teacher, look at this. Jalin arched his brows, snorted, then scolded the guard, Don't you have any manners? While complaining, he took the token and flipped it over to watch. His face changed immediately as he shot up from his seat while shouting, Where did you get this token? A young man brought it here, answered the guard with fear. Jalin jumped off his chair, taking the guard out of the room and going to the lounge of the spirit hall. The brother over there, the guard pointed at Shi Yan from afar. A smile filled Jalin's face all of a sudden, his face servile. He came to Shi Yan and greeted him. First, he solemnly handed back the token to Shi Yan and asked, May I help you? Shi Yan was amazed, then nodded to him. I want to find the owner of this token. Jalin's eyes brightened as he asked with caution. How do you relate to Elder Li? 
Why do you have his token? I don't know him. He owed me something, so I want to find him and ask him for a favor, answered Shi Yan. Zhaolin wore a fearful complexion, screaming in surprise. You say, Elder Li owed you a favor. Shi Yan nodded the second time. Zhaolin wore a disbelieving face, his expression interesting. He hesitated for a while and then said, when Elder Li came back last time, he announced that he would not refine medicines for anyone for a while. Also, he asked us not to disturb him. Currently, we don't dare to contact him directly, otherwise. What should I do? You shall take that token and directly visit the Flying Cloud Summit. You can talk with his disciples there to see if he wants to meet you or not. Where's the Flying Cloud Summit? The Dead Soul mountain range had almost 1,000 mountains, scattering in a large area. The distance between the two mountains could take up to 10 days traveling. If he didn't know the exact location, searching with his luck only, he would have to spend so much time. Hold on. I'll see if I can take you to the Flying Cloud Summit myself. Zhaolin contemplated, then took out a sound crystal. He held it next to his lips, then muttered. It seemed the man was asking whether he needed to guard the spirit hall or not. There were so many alchemists and warriors, their customers, walking back and forth. Many of them knew Zhaolin. As they saw Zhaolin's servil face when talking to Shi Yan, they secretly paid attention to them and tried to guess Shi Yan's identity. Who is that man? Why does Zhaolin have to treat him with good care? It's weird. Zhaolin is one of the experienced masters of the Spirit Hall. He's a noble man in the Spirit Potion Valley. He has never been obsequious to big men from the Pure Land, the Radiant God Cult, and the Devil Valley, right? I don't know. I've never met that young man before. From his clothing, I can say he's not an alchemist. I have no clue. I've been begging Zhaolin many times for a Spirit Comfort Pellet yet he has never agreed to help me. I'm a spirit realm expert, and that little guy has just the sky realm cultivation base. Zhaolin took wrong medicine today, didn't he? Ghost knows that. People in the surroundings discussed with low tones. They were eyeing Shi Yan, guessing his real status with awe. After talking to the sound crystal for a while, Zhaolin sighed and shook his head with disappointment. I'm sorry. I can't leave the workplace currently. If you aren't hurried, can you wait for half of a month later? Then I can take you to the Flying Cloud Summit personally. Is it okay? Shi Yan shook his head. Zhaolin forced a smile while musing, I will let my favorite disciple take you there. She knows the location of the Flying Cloud Summit, too. Good then. Having heard that, Zhaolin was joyful. He made a call through the sound crystal. Cherry, come here quickly. Not long after that, a girl with a calm expression and wearing a long blue dress walked towards them from a shop not far from there. Her deep blue eyes sparkled as she felt displeased, Teacher, why did you call me here? I was negotiating the price of the multicolored devil mask flower. I had almost gotten it. This girl had long maroon hair cascading over her shoulder. She stood upright, and her eyes were like precious jade, sparkling with a shining blue light. As she appeared, many alchemists and warriors in the spirit hall had their eyes brightened up, with their line of sight gluing on her. On her left ample bosom were embroidered five pieces of spirit herbs. This meant she was a fifth rank of profound level alchemist. Besides, she was a second sky of sky realm warrior. Cherry Take this little brother to the Flying Cloud Summit. Zhaolin assigned her with a low tone. The Flying Cloud Summit. Cherry's blue eyes brightened. She looked at Shi Yan with astonishment, then nodded. I got it. Yet. Yeah. Seems our little brother has just visited the Dead Soul Mountain Range for the first time. We shouldn't delay his business. Along the way. You should introduce the Spirit Potion Valley and the Precious Tool Valley to him too, advised Zhaolin. Cherry smiled and then nodded. She looked as natural and generous as an elegant orchid flower. Sorry for bothering you, Shi Yan bent, smiling brightly. 
No need to be too polite. Cherry nodded. Her blue eyes showed that she was interested in him. She eyed him for a while and then asked, Do you want to go now? Yes, please. Okay. We shall depart now. The flying cloud summits in the east of the Dead Soul Mountain. It should take around four days from the Spirit Potion Valley. Cherry thought for a while and then added, At night, you have to be more careful. Dead souls in the Dead Soul Mountain range will go out at night to hunt. Don't let them nib your soul. Okay. Let's go. The moon shone brightly in the late night. Under the clear moonlight, Cherry was gliding in the sky with a pair of dreamy blue wings on her back. She was as agile as a fairy in the pellucid night. Shi Yan flew behind her, looking at her blue wings with surprise. Cherry beamed a faint smile as if she had recognized his look. She turned around and talked to him, this indigo soaring wings a profound level secret tool. I had asked a blacksmith in the precious tool valley to forge it for me. The indigo soaring wing can enhance my flying speed, and it also can attack. Watch this. Hazy, cold blue light shot out like steel needles from the indigo wings, leaving toe-sized holes drilled on the rock cliff. Good tool, Shi Yan complimented, pretty and exquisite. Cherry smiled lightly, this indigo soaring wing is not considered a dangerous treasure yet. The blacksmiths of the precious tool valley can fabricate many unimaginable weapons that you can't even count the number of. Some of those treasures even have intelligence. Those are pretty awesome. Shi Yan nodded. Hey, why do you want to go to the Flying Cloud Summit? Cherry wore a curious face. As far as I know, Precursor Li in the Flying Cloud Summit is one of the five Grand Elders of our Spirit Hall. He rarely comes to the Spirit Potion Valley. He stays and refines medicines in the Flying Cloud Summit. He doesn't have many disciples. He's a bit arrogant, though. We haven't met him for years, such a mysterious alchemist. Elder of the Spirit Hall. Shi Yan was astounded, the Spirit Hall is also a force of warriors. Not exactly, Cherry shook her head. The Spirit Hall was established by five sacred level alchemists. It's to manage the Spirit Potion Valley and facilitate the business with warriors from the outside and the valley's alchemists. Normally, the five Grand Elders will not participate in the daily operation of the Spirit Hall. In some special occasions, they will show up and stay in the Spirit Hall for several days to do the talks on the medicine refining principles to alchemists in the Spirit Potion Valley. The Spirit Hall has never restrained the alchemists or cared what the warriors' purposes are. It's just a place for people to do business, providing the chance for them to discuss and negotiate. It won't control the detailed content of their business or collect any taxes and fees. So, the Spirit Hall is a good place. Shi Yan smiled. Are you a guard of the Spirit Hall too? Yes, Cherry nodded, we are the guards of the Spirit Hall. We help our teacher to manage the work in the Spirit Hall. Although we can't earn any Qi Jades from it, there's something that benefits us. That's why we are willing to take this responsibility. What benefit? People who are in charge of the Spirit Hall can ask the five Grand Elders regarding a difficulty they meet in refining medicines. And, the guards like us can listen to their discussions when the elders visit the spirit hall. Of course, it only happens when the two elders visit at the same time and they have the mood to discuss with each other about the attainment in refining medicines. Cherry was passionate when she talked about it. But then, she seemed to be distressed. What a pity that I've been a guard for five years, but I have never met such good chances. The five grand elders who are the sacred level alchemists, rarely visit the Spirit Potion Valley. Even if they come, they just greet us and go. We didn't have any chances to talk with them. Buzz buzz buzz. While Cherry was talking, Shi Yan heard a strange humming in his head. Shi Yan was dumbstruck, with a surprised countenance. The five devils had been dormant for really long time, but now, they seemed to be awake all of a sudden. Chapter 532, Awakening The five devils in his inner world gathered despair, fear, bloodlust, greed, and resentment into one entity. 
In the land of the hollow spirits, they had swallowed a lot of hollow spirits, and then laid dormant. They had no response, as they seemed to head towards an evolution, changing slowly. Shi Yan had almost forgotten that he had these five devils hiding in his sea of consciousness. As they were flying above the Dead Soul mountain range, he didn't know what sort of energy provoked them, making them scream inside his sea of consciousness. Soon, they would wake up the thought of which frightened Shi Yan. He couldn't help but sink into his mind to carefully check the status of the five devils. In his sea of consciousness, the five devils were like five groups of dusky smoke where he couldn't see the despair, fear, bloodthirsty, greed, and resentment hovering clearly. Usually, just a small stir-up was enough to provoke these negative feelings. The screaming came from the middle of the five devils. At the same time, those dark groups of smoke took turns to transform marvelously. The energy meandering around them was dragged into the center. The massive cluster shrank fast. Roughly ten seconds later, it disappeared. Five light dots that were as small as the fireflies blinked with a strange light. The volume decreased, but the energy fluctuations became purer. It seemed there were some transformations that were about to happen. After a while, the luminous dots suddenly expanded. Seconds later, they turned into five ferocious things, which looked like demogorgons from the antiquity. One had sharp horns on its head, while another one had a green face and yellow fangs. The others had scale armors covering the body entirely, or a pair of wings extended from the back. None of them looked alike. The only similar feature of the five of them was the cold, sinister appearance. The technique to cultivate the five devils of the inner world came from the blood vein ring. To help the five devils grow, he needed to absorb the negative feelings and some kind of energy in his sea of consciousness. When the five devils had just been formed, they weren't that strong. So, they could only use soul attacks to restrict the enemies. After a while, when they could finally escape his sea of consciousness, they had the energy enough to build a half-real body which wasn't too bad. Today, the five devils had the second transformation. Observing his mind, Shi Yan found that the appearance of the five devils had been improved, too. Even though they were still in his sea of consciousness, they seemed to have real bodies. Flows of grey energy wound around their bodies, which were like human bodies, giving people a feeling of vitality. Roar! 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 Inside the sea of consciousness, the five devils were roaring just like demonic beasts who had sensed the scent of fresh blood. They were gliding around and around, trying to escape his sea of consciousness. Shi Yan's pupils shrank, while his face changed. He restored his sound mind, releasing his soul consciousness to the surroundings to check what had attracted his five devils. Are you okay? Cherry was astounded her eyes suspicious as she didn't know what was happening to him. This man halted in the middle of the way. Before that, he had been flying smoothly with her. But then, his eyes went blank. Does he have any disease he doesn't want to tell about? Or have the dead souls possessed him? Cherry suddenly felt tense, while her deep blue eyes chilled. She instinctively kept a distance from Shi Yan. When one was possessed by the dead souls, he would become wildly evil, and would attack every creature near him. At that time, he wouldn't feel pain or have a fear of death. Most of the ones who got possessed would instantly vent out their most violent attacks, using brutal and deadly ways to kill every living thing around them. The dead souls didn't have a body, so they didn't worry that the explosion of the body they possessed would affect them. What they needed to do was to utilize all skills to kill the others. Then they would draw the other's souls into the dead soul's evil lairs to create new dead souls. As Cherry lived in the dead soul mountain range, she understood the features of the dead souls pretty well. When she saw Shi Yan's posture, she started to put up her guard. A lozenge blue crystal that looked like a flame emerged from her palm. The immense blue light was moving inside the crystal, shining like the stars in the sky. The blue light expanded inaudibly, shining on Shi Yan. SSSSSSSSS. When the blue light touched Shi Yan, 
it was like it got burned, turning into smoke and scattering. Cherry was frightened, screaming inside. As she could sense something wrong, she was about to leave. Her soul-checking crystal could check whether a warrior was possessed or not. When the light of the blue crystal reached the ones who got possessed, it would be evaporated instantly. Why was he possessed? There's no aura of dead souls around. Sigh, it's pretty bad this time. How can I answer my teacher? Cherry felt as if she had just swallowed bitter juice. She thought that she should leave Xi Yan and run away. She knew Xi Yan had the third sky of Sky Realm. After the dead soul possessed him, if he burst out instantly his power to kill everyone around, she wouldn't be able to endure it. Also, the treasures she had could hardly resist his strength. So, she didn't want to do the useless things, and wanted to get back to the Spirit Potion Valley first, and then plan the next move. Right when she had flown a hundred meters backward, Shi Yan's body shook as he shouted. Hey, why are you running back? Cherry's soft body shivered, her face discoloring with fear. She didn't dare to stop and even sped up. Shi Yan was surprised as he had no clue. What are you doing? While he was talking, Shi Yan flew like lightning, shooting towards her. He shouted, What the heck you are doing? I'm not going to harm you. Why do you wear a face as if you have seen a pervert? Well, it's true that your appearance is attractive to perverts, but you shouldn't think that every man is a pervert, right? Ah! Cherry screamed, looking at Shi Yan blocking her way with shock. She muttered suspiciously, when the high-level dead soul possesses someone, one can still talk like normal people. But should they talk vulgar things like that? Dead souls in the dead soul mountain range divided into many levels. Low levels dead souls didn't have strong soul erosive power. Even if they could possess the warrior, they couldn't talk. Only dead souls at high levels with intimidating soul power could use the host to communicate with people. However, even if it was a high level dead soul, it could only say some simple things, and it wouldn't be fluent enough. He was possessed by the highest level dead soul, perhaps? Legends said that the highest level dead soul had the same intelligence as mankind. When a warrior was taken over by this kind of a dead soul, the dead soul's behavior wasn't much different from humans. Anyway, this sort of dead soul was rare. Not many people had seen them for hundreds of years. Would her luck be that bad today? Cherry was frightened and surprised at the same time, but she didn't continue to flee away. She understood that if she encountered the highest level, dead souls, let alone herself, even her teacher couldn't escape death. Usually, the highest level dead souls would show up when the dead souls' evil lairs had some changes. Once this kind of a dead soul appeared, all the alchemists and blacksmiths living in the dead soul mountain range would join hands, and they would even invite the experts from the radiant god cult, the pure land, and the devil valley around to help them encounter the enemy. That kind of a dead soul was the most formidable existence. Rumor said that only the absolute true god realm warriors knew the method to exterminate them. She was just a sky realm warrior. If the high level dead souls used the soul consciousness to control her soul, she couldn't do anything. You. Who are you? Human or dead soul? Cherry regretted it now. She cursed her teacher under her breath. Why he had assigned her such a mission? It's just been a while. Why did you have such big change? Shi Yan was quite happy. Did you see ghosts? You saw ghosts? Cherry barked. Then she was astounded, looking at him. You. Aren't you possessed by a dead soul? But why did my soul checking crystal say that you have other souls in your sea of consciousness? Only the sinister dead souls can burn the light of the soul checking crystal. Having hearing her say that, Shi Yan immediately responded. Turned out the existence of the five devils had her in doubt. The things inside my head aren't the dead souls. They're something else. The features of their souls are somehow similar to the dead souls though, explained Shi Yan. Cherry was startled, her face odd. You're a freak. If one has no reason, 
who would keep strange things in their heads. Don't you know that when you're wounded or careless, they can take over your soul and control your body? I know. And, I have the method to deal with that, Shi Yan didn't explain further. The Nine Serenities' soul-devouring flame lived in his host's soul, which could swallow all kinds of soul-like beings. Even if the Five Devils were more dangerous, they didn't dare to act rashly in his sea of consciousness. Or else, they would be purified by the flame of the Nine Serenities' soul-devouring flame. With such a tremendous existence to rely on, no matter what kind of souls or strange things entered his sea of consciousness, they would be just finding a way to death for themselves. What happened to you just now? Cherry was dumbstruck. She frowned, asking him as curiosity filled her blue eyes. Nothing. I just found something. Shi Yan smiled, looking at one direction. We'll go there and check it out. Something interesting is happening there. Cherry followed his line of sight, and her smiling face faded. She spoke up with a serious face. That's the place the dead souls' evil lairs often appear. Dead souls linger there a lot. Why do you want to get there? To learn about the dead souls. Aren't you afraid that the dead souls would erode your soul? I've seen a lot of young men like you get possessed by the dead souls because they acted rashly and intruded the forbidden area. Their own souls were expelled. I advise you not to take risks. It's okay. I believe nothing would happen to me. Strange light sparked in Cherry's deep blue eyes. Hesitating for a while, she took out a rock panacea, handing it to Shi Yan while feeling painful inside. You should take this rock panacea. It will harden your soul as solid as a rock. Most of the dead souls can't attack you then. I can't refine this type of panacea yet, and my teacher gave me this. Remember, you owe me now. No need. You should keep it. I don't need the support from medicines. Shi Yan shook his head, and didn't talk more as he flew towards the direction that the five devils had induced. Chapter 533, Hunting Dead Souls the Dead Souls' evil lairs were the most mysterious exotic area of the Dead Soul mountain range. However, these evil lairs wouldn't stay still. They moved, and someday it would disappear leaving no trace, only to reappear somewhere else. Normally, only the Dead Souls could sense the exact location of the evil lairs. The region where the evil lairs often appeared would attract many Dead Souls. This kind of an area in the Dead Soul mountain range was the forbidden place. Warriors who didn't have the absolute confidence would never dare to operate alone in these regions. The five devils sent Shi Yan their roars, then completed their transformation, in which their power seemed to advance one step further. Then, they sent him their thoughts and said that they wanted to get near to that area. This surprised him. He hesitated for a while, then came to that area to check the situation. Although Cherry didn't feel good about this, she couldn't change his thoughts. So, she had to follow him to the forbidden area where the dead soul's evil lairs appeared. It was a valley covered with thick grey clouds. There was no sunlight shining on the valley, even though it was still daytime, which gave people a dark, gloomy atmosphere, irritating them. There were many wild blades of grass in the valley, some of which looked like scythes. Bushes jutted from the ground just like sharp swords grown on the ground. That's the bone-picking grass. So dangerous. When a human falls into the bushes, they will swarm together and scrape the meat out of their bones to suck the marrow inside. Cherry arrived, her face solemn. She pointed at the grass underneath and advised him. Don't fall into the bone-picking bushes. Even if you are excellent, it's hard to escape. Shi Yan smiled and nodded. Looking at the bone-picking grass under his feet, he said, can we use this strange grass as medicine? Cherry's brow arched as she beamed a faint smile. You have a good imagination. The bone-picking grass is a strange flora. How could we use it to refine medicine? Ah, no. If you need some poisons, the juice from that grass can help. It can erode the bones and marrow, which stiffens people's limbs. Does anyone collect the bone-picking grass? I'm not sure. 
I've never tried to refine poisons, so I don't care about it much. Cherry's blue eyes glared at him with strange light as she was shivering inside. This man, is he interested in making poison? Alchemists who created poisons weren't welcomed in the Dead Soul Mountain range. If he were interested in making poisons, he could be a sinister guy, too. She should be more cautious. There's some battling. Shi Yan's pupils shrank. He attentively looked at the direction ahead of him, speeding up. Cherry hurried to follow him. Inside the valley covered with ash gray clouds, five Sky Realm warriors were using secret treasures to fight against three clusters of dark green mist. The three clusters of mist floated vaguely. Sometimes, they appeared like the ferocious demonic beasts. Sometimes they wore hollow human faces, which never stopped changing. From the block of dark green mist, evil, cold aura exuded out, as if it could penetrate into people's minds. The clusters of mist had changed many times, their shapes unidentifiable. They shot out the cold, evil aura, which formed invisible soul attacks, rippling like waves of water, and affecting all corners. Among the five Sky Realm warriors, there were males and females. However, they weren't alchemists. Each of them was like they were fighting against strong enemies. The secret treasures in their hands all had yang attributes. The halos around them were scorching red. Dead souls. Cherry let out a low scream to remind Shi Yan not to go closer. She whispered, they're hunting dead souls. You shouldn't go there and mess up their business. Hunting dead souls. Shi Yan was surprised, frowning. Didn't you say that the dead souls are really evil and they will erode human souls? If they are that sinister, what do they need to hunt them for? Although the dead souls are dangerous, they aren't useless. They're precious materials to a blacksmith. Cherry stood away from them, explaining with low voice. When they want to make their weapons which have intellect, they can apply some different methods. Among those, the way to make their weapon absorb the natural power of heaven and earth to gain the intellect is the most difficult and mysterious. She paused for a while, and then continued, however, most of the blacksmiths can't do that. So, it's easier to find the things that are similar to the soul and seal them in their weapon. It's the popular method to make the tool gain intellect. The dead souls are a sort of sinister souls, as they have a strong fighting will. If they can fuse the dead soul and the tool, the power of that tool will be increased marvelously. A mystery level treasure can be advanced one level to reach the profound level. So, you mean they are hunting the dead souls to forge weapons? Shi Yan was amazed. They aren't blacksmiths though. Perhaps they want to find some blacksmiths to forge weapons. And because they want to have intelligent weapons, they have to hunt the dead souls. Cherry understood the situation of the Dead Soul mountain range well. They will erase the independent consciousness, then seal the dead soul in the treasure. Afterward, they will use a special method to activate the ferocious nature of the dead soul, which could increase the power of the treasure. The higher the level of the dead soul is, the stronger the treasure will be. People always do that in the Dead Soul mountain range. Not really. It's not easy to hunt the dead souls. They have to equip the right secret treasures to subdue them. And, they also need the rock panacea. Because, they have to make sure the dead souls can't possess them first. If they can have the right chance, they can catch them. This is very dangerous. If they encounter the low-level dead souls, perhaps they can succeed. But if they have a bad luck facing the dangerous dead souls, they will have to use their lives to make it up. While they were talking, it seemed the five warriors ahead of them had almost gotten what they wanted. The three dark green dead souls had low levels, they didn't even have a shape. Under the continuous attacks by the nemesis treasures, the three dead souls were struck scattered. Gathering them again was a hard job to do. The three dead souls were divided from the center. Just like ragged cloth, they were floating and fluttering in the air, trying to escape. The five warriors wore serious faces, not daring to relax. The treasures in their hands were constantly sparking fire, 
forming a firewall that could block a piece of space. When the dead souls were divided, their powers reduced massively. They didn't dare to cross the firewall, but just increased their erosive soul attacks. The five warriors paled. Sweat beaded on their foreheads. Apparently, this kind of erosive soul attack had troubled them seriously. Be persistent. One of them said through his gritted teeth while he was drenched in sweat. These three dead souls can't gather again. We just need to resist the last wave of their soul attacks and we can get them. Don't let your efforts be wasted. Endure it. Those five Sky Realm warriors had big age gaps. The leader seemed to be around 50 years old. One of the other four was roughly 40. Some looked like they were in their 30s, and there was a young girl about 17 or 18 years old. She looked pretty young. As the five of them had joined hands, their treasures constantly moved, generating more flames, which made the three dead souls struggle harder. The dead souls are afraid of the powers of flame and lightning. Usually, they don't dare to come close to the flames, but it's hard to burn them to death. Only lightning is their archenemy. In the dead soul mountain range, when it thunders, the dead souls will hide away. Cherry explained to Shi Yan about the features of the dead souls while looking at the situation ahead of them. It's not hard to find the weapons with flame attribute. However, the weapons with the lightning power are scarce. Even in the Dead Soul Mountain range, this sort of secret treasures is still rare. Warriors who have the lightning attribute treasures won't need to worry about the Dead Souls in the Dead Soul Mountain anymore. As long as they see the treasure, the Dead Soul will run away in fear. They won't dare to come close. Shi Yan nodded, feeling more secure. With the Earth Flame here, he didn't need to be afraid of the Dead Souls. At the same time, the Nine Serenity's soul-devouring flame was the nemesis of this kind of soul beings. If he encountered some brave dead souls, he just needed to release the Nine Serenity's soul-devouring flame to purify them. Roar roar roar! Strange roars came up from his sea of consciousness. He hadn't had time to do anything, and the five dark silhouettes had shot out from the back of his head. They then jumped through that firewall agilely grabbed the three dead souls and swallowed them. Seconds later, they had finished the whole three dead souls. Seeing their efforts about to be fruitful, the five warriors had been ready to capture the dead soul. However, they suddenly felt dizzy and immediately found five other grey figures inside their fire wall. These figures then besieged and devoured the dead souls. Shi Yan changed his visage as he felt bad inside. Strange light flashed in Cherry's blue eyes. She instinctively looked at the back of Shi Yan's head, her face disbelieving. The five devils had flown out fast. Although she stood next to Shi Yan, she only saw five silhouettes dash out from behind Shi Yan. Thus, she wasn't sure that they came from Shi Yan's body. God damn it! The fifty-some old man clenched his fists and gritted his teeth indignantly looking at the five figures behind the fire wall. He scolded, what the heck are those? Dare to take our goods. Go die. The sword in his hand suddenly gushed out a ten meter long fire, shooting towards the five devils. The other four reacted timely. They clenched their jaws and urged the powers of their secret weapons to attack the five devils. To hunt those three dead souls, the five of them had spent half a year to borrow enough secret weapons. They had also waited for more than a month in this area to find dead souls. After a hard struggling time, they'd almost got them. It wasn't easy to back them into the corner. And now, someone had snatched the spoils of their strenuous war. How could they press down the anger? The five of them joined forces again. Fiery flames shot out from the flaming attribute weapons, striking toward the five devils. After the five devils had swallowed the dying dead souls, they didn't feel pleased yet. They didn't concern about the scorching flaming attack, turning back into the five dark, grey shadows, gathering in front of Shi Yan and asking him to find more dead souls to fill their stomachs. Chapter 534, Gigolo The five gloomy silhouettes didn't have any real bodies, floating next to Shi Yan like five grey ribbons. 
Cherry had a surprised face. She blankly looked at the five gloomy shadows. At this moment, she knew that she hadn't been dazzled. Now she knew the things that had devoured the dying dead souls came from Shi Yan. The five of them had done many things, but got nothing in the end. As they were about to shout and scold, they realized that those five gloomy thieves seemed to have a master. The five of them were astounded for a while. First, they tried to sense Shi Yan's cultivation base from afar. After they got to know that Shi Yan had only the third sky of Sky Realm cultivation base, their guts got bigger. They then came close to Shi Yan with rage. Kid, those five energy ribbons came from you, right? Time you, the leader, snorted with an indignant face. Don't you know the rules? We've kept an eye on those three dead souls for half of a year. Do you know how much effort and crystals it costs to catch them? The other four including three men and a young girl all looked at him wickedly. It seemed they could take action at any minute. Time Yu, a third Sky of Sky Realm warrior, was leading a group of the other four second Sky of Sky Realm warriors. The five of them had joined forces and wasted a lot of their powers to gain the upper hand, which gave Shi Yan an impression that the dead souls were tough to deal with. According to Cherry, those three dead souls were at a low level. If the high-level dead souls appeared, would even the spirit realm warrior able to catch them? Kid, are you mute? I'm talking to you. Time you shouted, his face impatient. Give the dead souls back to us. I won't trouble you. Otherwise, don't blame me for having no mercy. I'm sorry. I can't give them back. Shi Yan responded, beaming a faint smile. Things that were eaten can't be spat out. I can't return the dead souls intact. After he finished, the five people of Time Yu's group were enraged. They clenched their jaws and gritted their teeth, as they seemed to attempt to risk their lives with his. Cherry's blue eyes sparkled. She frowned and then said, He's our spirit hall's distinguished guest. We will be responsible for this. When we come back to the spirit hall, We'll compensate for your loss. Is it okay? Spirit Hall. Time you discolored. He scrutinized her and then said, Are you Master Jalin's disciple? Cherry smiled naturally and gave him a slight nod. Even Master Jalin can't bully people like that. Time you's visage darkened. Say it. How will you compensate us? Your Spirit Hall doesn't need the dead souls. Will you be able to give me three dead souls? Our spirit hall doesn't have the dead souls, but we have something to exchange for them. Cherry snorted arrogantly. Although the dead souls are rare, those three were at the lowest level, so their values aren't high. Don't you think that our spirit hall doesn't have anything equal to make it up for you? Harumph, if you've been strolling around the dead soul mountain range, you should know about the capacity of the spirit hall. Time Yu's face became better when he heard that. I know your spirit hall has big capacities. However, we only need the dead souls. There are many blacksmiths in the precious Tool Valley. Many of them should have dead souls. When I return to the Spirit Potion Valley, I will ask my teacher to collect three dead souls for you guys. How does that sound? Cherry frowned impatiently. In the Dead Soul Mountain range, the alchemists and the blacksmiths had high status. When they treated the other warriors, they always felt that they were one class higher than the others. No matter how tremendous the experts were, they always needed them to refine medicines and weapons. It happened that way for so long they eventually developed an arrogant attitude that they could control the other warriors. The alchemists of the Spirit Hall had a higher status than other alchemists. In the Spirit Potion Valley, Cherry had a good reputation too. Many people had to be obsequious to her, and not many of them dared to provoke her. This also contributed to her arrogant face when dealing with ordinary warriors. If you ensure that you can collect three dead souls for us, we will let it go. If not, I want to take this kid's life as our compensation. Time you snorted. Cherry harumphed. She was about to agree with him. In her eyes, it wasn't a big deal. 
Shi Yan smiled while listening to their conversation, but he didn't give any opinions. However, as he heard Tai Mu threaten him, his face got colder, speaking up faintly. Using my life to make it up? Do you think your three dead souls have that high value? Well, to me, your life isn't much value as compared to those dead souls. Tai Mu smiled, his face sparkling with wicked light as if he was making a joke. Kid, you are living off a woman. Don't tell anyone that. Otherwise, they will look down on you. Understand. After that snatching event happened, Cherry was always the one who talked to him. In Tai Mu's eyes, Shi Yan was an incompetent boy who depended on Cherry. They instinctively assumed that Shi Yan had done something to seduce Cherry and make her clean up his mess. After Tai Mu said that, the other four burst out laughing with disdain on their faces. They all looked at him with the look they gave to Gigolos. Is that so? Shi Yan felt funny. He shook his head, talking to Cherry. You don't need to be bothered with my stuff. You don't need to find the dead souls for them. Well, I want to see what they can do to me. He knew he was wrong when the five devils swallowing the weakened dead souls. He didn't want to take in for granted so he was thinking what he should use to compensate Tai Mu's group. However, Tai Mu had spit out just bad words. His dark mind and bullsh asterisk tea talks irritated Shi Yan. Thus, he decided to be a B asterisk starred. Ah, Cherry smiled. Interest appeared on her face as she giggled, looking at him and stepping aside. Up to you. I don't want to help you either. You should solve it yourself. Anyway, be careful. Although they haven't restored their powers fully, it should be difficult if you fight alone against them. Since Zhaolin assigned her to bring Shi Yan to the Flying Cloud Summit, she was curious about him. The Flying Cloud Summit was the cultivating place of Li Zhengrong. Among the elders of the Spirit Hall, Li Zhengrong was the most mysterious person. He hadn't come to the Spirit Hall for almost ten years. It seemed he rarely went out. As he was a high-level alchemist, Li Zhengrong had connections with the strongest warriors of the Pure Land, the Radiant God Cult, and the Devil Valley. He was always haughty, and disdained the others a lot, not even wanting to throw them a look. Since Zha Li had asked her to take Shi Yan there, he seemed to confirm that Li Zhengrong would definitely meet Shi Yan. This made her suspicious. She made some assumption about Shi Yan's identity, and always thought that this young man was mysterious enough to make her think he wasn't as simple as he looked. Thus, when she heard Shi Yan say that he would take care of this mess himself, she didn't worry much. Actually, she was anticipating seeing how dangerous Shi Yan was through this. Kid, do you really want to court death? Tai Mu's face twisted, his eyes dark and gloomy. The flame of anger was burning in his heart, urging him to kill people. Court death. Shi Yan curled his lips. Are you talking about yourself? Anger flooded Tai Mu. He didn't hesitate anymore. The flaming sword in his hand shot out a column of light, lighting the area. After a while, hundreds of flaming swords torrentially dashed towards Shi Yan, just like fire burning half the sky. Interesting. Shi Yan kept a cold face. Suddenly, he opened his mouth and spurted out a cold air current, which looked like a silky white ribbon. The cold air splashed on the hundreds oncoming flaming swords. All flames were put out, revealing a real sword without the scorching flame. Its spiritual aura was frozen as well. Floating in the air, Shi Yan extended his left arm. A cold current swiftly shot out. Beams of crystal clear icicles darted like lightning towards that flaming sword, instantly covering it. Shi Yan leisurely grabbed the sword and pinched it. He shook his head, smiling. No intellect. The flame power in it is too feeble. This sword can be reluctantly said to be a grade 2 profound level treasure. How could it hurt me? Time you, we've borrowed this fire cloud sword. Don't break it. We don't want to compensate that big an amount. One of them yelled. Time Yu's face changed. He scrutinized Shi Yan again. 
Shi Yan smiled, urging a bit of his negative power. The energy around him suddenly increased, as a wild, sinister aura rippled from his body. Tai Mu was terrified. He discolored as he recognized that there was a furiously dangerous energy covering Shi Yan. Still want to hit me? Shi Yan was calm and steady. He threw a faint glance to the other four, then said neither hurriedly nor slowly. You can join hands. If you think you can kill me, you can try. The other four had only the second sky of Sky Realm. Although they all heard what Shi Yan said, they didn't dare to act rashly. Hey you! What do you want? You are the one who did wrong things, said the young maid who was about seventeen or eighteen of that group indignantly. She was wearing a short green dress, which exposed her arms and slim waist. Well, it's true that I did wrong things. Shi Yan didn't deny it. He squinted while smiling, looking at Tai Mu. If he could keep his mouth clean, I would be a nice guy to talk with. Of course. I would make up for your loss. But it's different now. I'm sorry, I was a snobbish son of AB asterisk TCH to have disdained you. Time you assessed himself pitifully and tried to force an ugly smile. Friend, please give back the fire cloud sword. About the dead soul. He couldn't continue. Even though the dead souls were important and he wanted them, he understood that he couldn't trouble the power that Shi Yan had shown them. So, he didn't know if he should finish his saying or not. Take back this fire cloud sword. Shi Yan snorted. If you weren't the disciples of the Radiant God cult, I wouldn't be letting you go that easy. Although these five Sky Realm warriors were borrowing the power of the treasures to use the flame, the energy flowing in their body was the flaming sun execution of the Radiant God cult. Shi Yan got it crystal clear. He still had good feelings towards the Radiant God cult. However, because of his mutated martial spirit, he didn't dare to visit the Radiant God cult. Anyway, Zhao Feng and the other members of the Radiant God cult had helped him in the dark magnetic noxious mist, so he appreciated them. Swoosh! A beam of earth flame poured into the sword. The flame, which had disappeared burned again on the sword, and it looked even more blazing. Tai Mu's eyes brightened, his face surprised and joyful. Take back your fire cloud sword. Take me to the place of the dead souls. I'll help you catch three more, Shi Yan assigned them coldly. Chapter 535, Precipitous As they heard that Shi Yan wanted to help them catch the dead souls, the five people of Tai Mu's group didn't show that they were happy. Quite the contrary, they all wore panic-stricken faces. It's too dangerous. We'd better not go there. We can wait for another chance to catch the dead souls. If we lose our lives, it will be too bad. Tai Mu shook his head continually. He seemed to have an extreme fear of that area. Shi Yan was surprised. What do you fear? Not only low-level dead souls, there should be some at high levels there as well. If we have to go there, we can't endure them for sure. Tai Mu smiled miserably. Shi Yan, you shouldn't take risks. It's easy to deal with the low-level dead souls, but it's tough to deal with the high-level ones. You shouldn't go, Cherry advised with a low voice. People living in the Dead Soul Mountain all knew that the dead souls were dangerous. If they encountered the low-level ones, they could use the rock panacea to secure their souls, preventing them from being eroded. However, the high-level dead souls could directly penetrate into the warrior's sea of consciousness to nib their souls, despite the pellet they had taken. If they weren't at spirit realm, it would be tough to defend the soul erosion effect of the high-level dead souls. Be it Cherry or Time Yu, they only had the Sky Realm cultivation base. Once they faced a high-level dead soul, they couldn't save their soul from being eroded by the dead soul, even if they had the rock panacea. Once their soul started to be eroded, they couldn't urge any beam of energy to counter. At that time, they could only gawk at the dead soul feasting on their souls. Eventually, their souls would be destroyed. Thus, when she heard that the area had the high-level dead souls coming back and forth, Cherry also felt scared. She didn't want to go there. 
Shi Yan had the Nine Serenities' soul devouring flame and the Five Devils protecting him, so he wasn't afraid of the dead souls. When he knew Tai Mu's group didn't want to lead the way, he frowned, thought for a second, and then said, All right, then you can just show me the exact direction. I'm going there alone. You shouldn't take such risks, advised Cherry. Shi Yan's face was still cold and persistent. Tai Mu contemplated. Under the attraction of the dead souls, he pointed towards a shade of a mountain in the southwest. There's a cave hiding behind a big pine. When you get there, you should be more careful. The dead souls often travel through the entrance. Inside the cave is gloomy, of course, there are more dead souls there. As the four other disciples of the Radiant God cult heard that Shi Yan wanted to take the risk, they all made it clear that they didn't want to accompany him. They showed him respect, but kept a distance from him. And you? Shi Yan smiled at Cherry, are you afraid of high-level dead souls, too? I'm just an alchemist, nodded Cherry. She then answered him soundly. Fighting is not my strength. Especially in a fight with dead souls, I can't be of help to you. Regarding powers and strength, the alchemists were one level lower than the normal warriors, and their knowledge and cultivation of soul weren't as deep as the warriors who had specialties. In the Dead Soul Mountain range, some high-level dead souls loved to trouble the alchemists. Since the endurance of the alchemists' souls was weak, when they seized the chance, they could attack the alchemists' soul easily, much easier than attacking the ordinary warriors. Shi Yan would never force Cherry if she were reluctant. He nodded while smiling, All right, you can stay here. After I grab some dead souls, I'll come back here to find you. You should be careful. The three recent ones were just the low-level dead souls. It's not easy to deal with the high-level ones. Cherry could see that her advice was no use, so she could only reluctantly see him off. And, although the high-level dead souls rarely appear, it doesn't mean that there are none of them dwelling in the dead soul mountain range. If you have the bad luck of meeting up the highest level dead soul, I advise you not to trust your luck. Run away as fast as you can. Never linger. Usually, the strong dead souls can't operate too far from the evil lairs. As long as you can run fast enough, and far enough from the dead souls' evil lairs, I think the highest level dead souls won't chase after you. So, are there any distinctive differences between the normal dead souls and the highest level dead souls? Yeah, but we can't identify it, Cherry shook her head. According to my master, when your soul cultivation base reaches a certain level, you can use your soul consciousness to sense the differences between them. Warriors who encountered the highest level dead souls almost have no chance to run away. One or two of them had successfully escaped, but they wouldn't want to share the details they had observed. So, the others couldn't know much. It was no help at all. Shi Yan smiled, and didn't continue. He waved his hand at Cherry, then departed in the direction Time Mu had shown him. It was an area covered with thick, dark grey clouds, like a grey curtain that hindered people's vision. Shi Yan released his soul consciousness, and immediately found that his sensing was weakened, as he could only sense the soul fluctuations within hundreds of meters around him. His soul consciousness couldn't extend any further. Shi Yan became more alert. He slowed down his flying speed and observed here and there cautiously. He also checked the space underneath him. The valley underneath him had vibrant bushes of bone-picking grass, growing densely, just like the scythe of death, waiting to harvest people's lives. Under the shade of the mountain ahead of him, clusters of grey clouds became thicker, which obstructed his vision and soul consciousness more. Flows of cold and despondent aura flooded from ahead of him. It felt like some small, pale hands were stroking his body, making his hair rise simultaneously in fear. Taking a deep breath, he didn't hurry to intrude the place, but called the earth flame and asked it to fly in front of him, in case some dangerous dead souls would ambush him. The earth flame was like a small sun, shining a blazing light and scorching heat, which washed away the cold. It turned into a beautiful firing line, leading the way. 
Shi Yan activated the Star Shield and the Dark Light Shield. Covered in two protection layers, he quietly gathered his power, flying cautiously behind the Earth Flame at a moderate speed, always on alert. Fifteen minutes later, he arrived at the place Tai Mu mentioned, the shaded area of the mountain. A big pine tree that needed five people to circle appeared near the cliff. The tree looked like a giant monster under the shade of the mountain, which could ferociously swallow all creatures. Flows of sinister and cold air flooded out from the place hidden behind the pine tree. Sometimes, people could see the little luminous green spots fly out like the jack-o'-lanterns floating and disappearing into thin air. The flying speed of the earth flame suddenly became sluggish, just like an extremely slow snail. Some things there. The earth flame was quite intelligent. As it sensed something abnormal, it immediately sent him a message. Yeah, I know there should be something. Could you sense what it is exactly? Replied Shi Yan. I don't know. I have never seen this kind of a creature before. They don't have a tangible body. They are sinister and hostile. They want to take everything. The earth flame was uncertain, so its description was unclear. Roar roar roar. The floating five devils suddenly became excited. They meandered over his body just like tentacles. Half of their bodies coiled around his waist, and the other half was probing around, just like the strange snakes ready to attack. Swoosh. The ice-cold flame turned into a bunch of crystal clear white lights, shooting out from the blood vein ring. It then condensed into a block of ice crystal, covering his left arm and sending him its thoughts. They are some sorts of evil souls. I have never met such things before. They don't belong in this continent, either. This kind of evil souls are bloodthirsty, and they have a strong possessive desire. It seems they can erode creatures' souls. That's all I can sense. I'm not sure I could sense further. Shi Yan's brow slammed together. He became more careful, adjusting his speed as slow as the earth flame. Eventually, he bypassed the pine tree, and saw a cave hiding behind the root of the tree. The entrance was small, but the shutter looked big. It was really dark, and he could see nothing but the vague green light inside. The green light was despondent, which suited the place's ambience pretty well. This made people sink into an extremely depressing feeling. Whiz whiz whiz. The five devils were like demonic beasts who had smelled the fresh scent of blood, turning into a thick group of grey smoke and drilling into the cave. Shi Yan's discolored, but he couldn't stop them timely. He sped up, dashing towards the cave. Don't go. The earth flame and the ice cold flame sent him their thoughts simultaneously. They seemed to be terrified. At the same time, the five devils, who had been eagerly entering the cave, were turning back to Shi Yan with a faster speed. Seemed like they had seen something really intimidating. Each of them showed itself, trying to get back into his body. However, it seemed there was a strong suction force coming from the cave, trying to draw them back. They tried to struggle, but couldn't get out of the cave. In the entrance, a green light suddenly brightened fiercely. Thanks to that evil, gloomy green light, Shi Yan finally saw what were inside the cave. Inside the unknown deep cave, countless deep green dead souls gathered. There was a dozen of them at the entrance. Entering deep inside, the dead souls there were like a green dye clutching on the stone wall. They were seeming as if they were suddenly awakened. At the deepest place of the entrance, Shi Yan vaguely saw something like a big chunk of meat, which had many small holes drilling into the block, where blood was bleeding unceasingly. Under the chunk of meat were piles of many dead warriors. The base of the meat block extended into the center of the dead body piles, as if it were sucking some kind of energy from those corpses. The dead souls in the cave gathered around the meat block. It seemed they were guarding over it, which looked quite strange. All of a sudden, an extremely gloomy and evil aura burst out from the other end of the cave. The green light inside became even more dazzling. Gathering his spirit, Shi Yan found that the dead souls inside the cave were connected to each other by green fibers, just like a big spider web. At the same time, 
when countless dead souls started swelling, they started to release the soul erosive energy which was invisible to naked eyes, entering Shi Yan Sea of Consciousness. At that short moment, he was dragged into illusions. He saw so many dead souls nibbling, tearing his body and sucking his blood. They wanted to drag him into the cave. The earth flame burst out. The earth flame which was as big as a palm abruptly released a scorching flame. The sea of fire torrentially flooded into the cave. Numerous dead souls started to scream with a strange SSSSSS sound, as if the earth flame was burning them to the acme of pain. Seizing the chance, the five devils struggled harder and escaped the cave, immediately hiding themselves in Shi Yan's sea of consciousness. The moment the five devils got in his sea of consciousness, Shi Yan didn't think much, fleeing away with his max speed. Using star brilliance and electric shift, he turned into a flow of starlight, zooming over Ten Li like an arc light. Chapter 536, Unhurriedly Enter the Mountain After 15 minutes, Shi Yan came back to where Cherry and Tai Mu's group gathered, his face bitter. How was it? Did you catch any dead souls? Asked Tai Mu with caution. No, Shi Yan shook his head, his face darkened. I met the souls there. That cave's full of dead souls, hundreds of them. Some of them should be at a high level. I'm lucky that I acted quickly. Otherwise, I could have been captured. There were so many dead souls inside the cave, and the aura they released was tremendous. When that large number of dead souls struck together, even the Nine Serenity's soul-devouring flame couldn't burn them all in a short period of time, he supposed. If he were careless and the high-level dead souls took that chance to enter his host's soul, what he gained would never make up the loss he had to bear. Hundreds of them. Cherry's face changed as she affirmed, it should be the dead souls' evil lairs near there. Otherwise, it's impossible that so many dead souls could gather at the same spot. I think you had a bad fortune, but still were lucky enough. At least, you came back alive. I have never seen so many dead souls like that, Tai Mu was more frightened. Just three low-level dead souls and we had to shed blood already. The five of us couldn't even resist ten of them, let alone hundreds. Well, I have no way to catch the dead souls for you. Later on, you should find Cherry and ask her. Shi Yan rubbed his nose, feeling a little bit embarrassed. The five people of Tai Mu's group nodded wearing a forced smile. Shi Yan had used his strength to prove that he could kill them at any minute. Under this circumstance, no matter what Shi Yan said, they had to agree. They didn't want the backfire. All right, don't wear that bitter face. We didn't say that we won't compensate you guys. It's just the three low-level dead souls, not a big deal, snorted Cherry. Tai Mu and his group smiled at her. We should go to the Flying Cloud Summit now, Cherry looked at Shi Yan. Yeah. Let's go. Three days later, Cherry stopped in front of a grand mountain. She eyed the mountain hiding in the clouds with a longing face. That's the Flying Cloud Summit, the richest mountain in the Dead Soul Mountain Range, with so many precious products. And, only the character like Elder Lee deserves a summit like this. People who can visit the Flying Cloud Summit are all big men. They're the elders of the Radiant God Cult, the Pure Land, the Devil Valley, or other famous warriors of the continent. Small people like me have never had a chance to climb this mount. Shi Yan was amazed. The Flying Cloud Summit was more than 10,000 meters high. White clouds bobbed in the middle of the mountainside. Strange animals like the white red crowned crane were flying here and there. Heaven and earth aura here was dense and pure, which comforted people. From the foot of the mountain, they could see that the flying cloud summit had many green patches where they grew spiritual herbs. They were so many herbs and of various types that it dazzled people. A rugged mountain path led directly to the flying cloud summit. In front of the gateway stood a giant green stone, which had some big old-style calligraphy words. No unauthorized entry. Let's go. We should climb up now. Shi Yan smiled. While he was still talking, his body had already floated in the sky, 
attempting to fly directly to the peak. Don't. Cherry stopped him. Shi Yan was bewildered, looking at her, having no clue. There are many banned things in this flying cloud summit. Although there are no barriers in this mount, we can't just fly there directly like that. Cherry explained him with a respectful face. This is our spirit hall Grand Elders cultivating place. When the elders of the Radiant God cult or the Pure Land come here, even they have to mount that path. Anyone who flies up directly will violate the rules here. Elder Lee will never meet them. So, he has a high price. Of course. Cherry told him with a serious countenance. The Flying Cloud Summit is the holy land of our spirit hall. Small people like us don't even have the right to come and say hello. Even if it is my teacher, without the prior permission of Elder Lee, he doesn't dare to come here. Since we are small people, we should follow the rules. Pausing for a while, she continued. Are you confident that Elder Lee will meet you? If you are unsure, don't do rash things. Elder Lee doesn't like to be disturbed. Moreover, he has recently told us that without his order, no one is allowed to bother him, including the experts of the Pure Land and the Radiant God cult. Don't worry. If he doesn't want to meet me, I'll leave. Shi Yan smiled. If I'm not sure about that, how can I go there and claim shame on myself? Having heard him say so, Cherry could relax. She nodded and said, All right, you should go there. I'll wait for you here. Anyway, my task was to bring you here. It's accomplished now. I have no other tasks. Cherry was a bit disappointed and somewhat fascinated at the same time. She looked at the peak in the clouds as if she was waiting for something. Shi Yan couldn't help but laugh as he understood that she was waiting for him to invite her to go with him. Let's go. It's been hard for you to take me here. If you don't mind, we should go there together, shall we? Cherry's eyes brightened, her face joyful. She giggled. You are inviting me to go with you. Yet. Yeah. Thank you. Seems you still have a conscience. Don't babble. Let's go. Shi Yan took the lead to the mountain. Along the way to the peak, they saw many spiritual farms where rare and precious herbs were planted. Shi Yan didn't know about more than half of them. Cherry's blue eyes sparkled as she greedily eyed at the spiritual herbs along their way. She couldn't help but compliment. Elder Lee's worth the Grand Elder of the Spirit Hall. He's like a god. Only the great alchemists like him could grow these spiritual herbs. Look at this spirit-breaking grass. They say that it only grows in the snowy mountain. This igniting fruit can only bear fruits in the wall slit of the magma rock. These spiritual herbs require the extreme conditions to grow. I don't know what method Elder Lee's used to nurture them in the Flying Cloud Summit. Cherry didn't talk much on the way they got there. However, when they arrived the Flying Cloud Summit, she was like a radio at the correct frequency, and couldn't stop speaking. She showed him the herbs and complimented non-stop. She idolized Li Zhengrong so much she regretted she couldn't make him her teacher. Zhaolin's your teacher. Do you want to betray your school? Shi Yan teased her. If Elder Li makes me his disciple, I think my teacher will be proud of me too. He won't stop me, but do his best to have a good relationship with me. Cherry wore a fascinating countenance, strange light twinkled in her blue eyes while she was smiling. Shi Yan didn't bother to talk with her. He felt that alchemists were the sort of people one couldn't reason with. Each of them was odd enough. So, no one dreams about those spiritual fields. On the way to the peak, Shi Yan didn't see anyone watching over the fields. As he was curious, he asked the girl. Who dares to dream of the spiritual farm of the Flying Cloud Summit? Cherry looked at him as if she were looking a dummy. Elder Lee's the peak alchemist of the whole Dead Soul Mountain range. All alchemists respect and admire him. The great elders of the Radiant God Cult, the Pure Land, or the Devil Temple have to be servile to him. If they mess up with Elder Lee, it's no different from creating grudge with half of the forces in the Grace Mainland. Who dares, 
you say. If they are invincible experts, they won't lay their eyes on these herbs. The low-level thieves don't dare to come. So, even if they don't set any barriers here, it's safe enough. Shi Yan blamed himself for the stupid question. During the mountaineering, Shi Yan didn't say any useless words. Half a day later. After they had passed hundreds of spiritual fields, Shi Yan and Cherry were about to reach the peak of the Flying Cloud Summit. At this moment, a clear but cold voice arose although there were no other people on the road. Intruders, who are you? Haven't you heard the notice? Within three years, no one can enter the Flying Cloud Summit. Didn't you bring your brain with you? Cherry reddened embarrassedly. She bowed her head, not daring to answer because she was frightened. Shi Yan's eyes lit up. He laughed slightly, Lin Xiao Mei, little sister TL, long time no see. Well, do you want to stop your friends who have crossed a long way to get here at the door? He recognized the one who was talking with them from a secret place somewhere was Lin Ya Qi, who used to visit the Endless Sea. The little girl with a big bosom was Ye Chong Feng's older sister. You are, that B asterisk starred Shi Yan. Lin Ya Qi contemplated for a while. Seemed she was trying to remember the identity of the intruders. Later on, she smiled charmingly. Well, friends from the far land. You B8STARD, weren't you staying in the Endless Sea? Why did you leave that place and come to the Grace Mainland? Why are you here? In the middle of the giggling, a thick magma dike split open. Lin Ya Chi appeared in a white light. She looked at him from above and chuckled. You're strong indeed. Well, since you can come here, you should have some good tricks. Shi Yan felt a little bit funny. Ye Chong Feng gave me the token. He told me to visit the Spirit Potion Valley and show them the token. They would take me here. All right, where is my buddy Ye Chong Feng? Oh, I almost forgot, Lin Ye Chi spatted her head. She snorted, don't mention that little B asterisk starred. He seized the chance our teacher was secluding and cultivating to sneak out and have fun somewhere. I haven't seen him for almost one year. Our teacher said that after he finished his cultivating period this time, he would give him a good lesson. I want to meet Elder Li. Is it convenient? Shi Yan's face was solemn. I have something I want to ask him. Lin Ya Qi expression showed that it was a bit difficult. Our teacher is still cultivating. He said that no one is allowed to bother him. Well, if it's you, I can notify him. But I'm not sure he could meet you immediately. Shi Yan smiled and nodded. Okay. Get in. Have some tea and take a rest. Lin Ya Chi waved her hand. Then her look shifted to Cherry. Who's that? Your woman? Tisk, you fella are a real womanizer. Wherever you go, you have pretty chicks to be your company. Such a B asterisk starred. Cherry blushed throwing Shi Yan a strange look, shaking her head to explain. No. I'm not his woman. I, I am from the Spirit Hall. Spirit Hall. Lin Ya Qi face got colder. She answered arrogantly. Sorry. This is not the place you should be. You should return using the old way. Although she's from the Spirit Hall, she's my woman, too. Don't talk too much. I'm tired. This trip has been long enough. You should bring me tea quickly. Shi Yan said with a natural face, smiled, then pulled Cherry's small hand, walking toward Lin Ya Chi. Cherry reddened. She tried to wiggle a bit. However, since she had a desire for this holy land, the Flying Cloud Summit, she didn't struggle too much as she let Shi Yan grab her hand, walking forward with her head bent down. You should have said it earlier. Lin Ya Chi rolled her eyes at him and then let them pass. I know it. You B asterisk starred aren't a good man. You tease the flowers and the moon everywhere. Never have a moment to calm down. My little brother told me that you weren't a good guy in the dark magnetic noxious mist too. You seem to have an ambiguous relationship with a woman of the Aok family. 
Mother Fasterisker. That kid has slandered me. Shi Yan wore an angry expression, scolding the other. Chapter 537, Li Zheng Rong Inside the flying cloud summit's mountainside, there were many large stone chambers that could be seen. Multicolored gems were inlaid on the wall, illuminating the whole room as bright as daylight. Although they were in the mountainside, it didn't look dark at all. Air flowed everywhere, together with the dense spiritual qi. Strange and miraculous herbs were present in the stone chambers, kept in special containers. There were some tools holding the fresh, green leaves, and they seemed to be still growing. There was a spacious room as big as a basketball court, matted with thick rugs, where an incense burner was exuding fragrant smoke. The room had its wall carved with many magical spiritual formation and spells. Different colored flows of spiritual chi were moving slowly inside the formations, looking like some snakes slithering. Shi Yan and Cherry were seated in this large stone room. Lin Ya Chi gave them some good tea with a smile, Hey, you, why do you want to visit the Dead Soul Mountain? I heard that your endless sea has had a big change. Why don't you stay there? The threats in the endless sea were solved. Within 100 years, members of the fourth demon area and the seven-layered underworld won't come back to the endless sea. The sea tribes are fine, too. I don't need to worry about them. Shi Yan smiled as he sipped his tea, and you, when we were in the middle of the dark magnetic noxious mist, why did you disappear? I was going with my teacher, so I didn't have time to visit those two exotic lands. Lin Ya Ki beautiful eyes brightened as she said suddenly. I heard that you had a big catch in the exotic lands of the dark magnetic noxious mist. Could you show me some? Let me get the profit at your expense too. Well, Elder Li takes a good care of you. Why do you bother with my small toys? Don't tease me. Shi Yan shook his head, his face serious. Hey, please notify Elder Li. Tell him that I want to ask him for a favor. Hearing him say so, Lin Ya Chi didn't continue to be lengthy. She nodded and said, Make yourself home. I'm going to report to my teacher. Yes. Lin Ya Chi swayed her body, entering a bright lit channel which led into the mountain wall. She disappeared shortly. Shi Yan took in his tea while watching the walls with great interest. Sometimes, he shifted his eyes to Cherry, looking pensive. After they got in this room, Cherry hadn't spoken a word as she put all of her attention to the spiritual formation on the walls. Her eyes brightened as if she had found the hidden treasures. She was trying to memorize them all, not wanting to leave even a single formation. Cough cough. Shi Yan let out a light cough. After he successfully received Cherry's attention, he beamed a faint smile and then probed. You seem to be interested in those formations a lot. Do they give you any clues for your medicine refining job? Cherry's soft body shivered. Her blue eyes twinkled beautifully as she nodded earnestly. Of course. Those spiritual formations are the ways the alchemists transport their soul consciousness, and that's how the medicine revolves during the process. They include the most mysterious intent domain of an alchemist. If I can comprehend the subtle features of this magical formation, my attainment will enter a new stage immediately. Shi Yan was amazed. Cherry explained him quickly. When the alchemists refine pellets, we have to pour our soul consciousness into the cauldron, using it to carve the spiritual spell that activates the herbs and promotes their efficacy. A magical formation or spell is the most important link in refining medicine. If this link doesn't work or fails, even if you have good ingredients, you are just wasting them. When an alchemist understands the formation or the spell thoroughly, not only can he save the herbs, but also increase the power of the medicinal efficacy of the pellet. Thus, an excellent alchemist should have a deep understanding about the marvelous formations with a high realm. So, what's your realm? Shi Yan asked with surprise. Me. Cherry forced a smile, shaking her head. I'm bad. Even my teacher Zhaolin doesn't know many formations, and he couldn't understand them thoroughly either. 
The alchemists like Elder Li are familiar with the spiritual formations and spells, which helps them promote the effect of the pellets to the peak. After Cherry finished her explanation, she continued gazing at the spiritual formations on the wall, not caring about him anymore. People who could meet Li Zhengrong were all the peak warriors of the Grace Mainland or the excellent alchemists. Even Zhaolin hadn't had the chance to visit this place. It was hard for Cherry to have this chance. She was willing to let Lin Yachi misunderstand her so she could have a chance to look at those formations. To alchemists who were passionate in refining medicines, the spiritual formations on the walls here were the biggest treasure. It was similar to the martial techniques of the warriors. As long as she could understand them, her career would be widened and brighter. If she could make it smooth, she could enter a new realm as well. Shi Yan wasn't an alchemist so it was hard for him to understand her persistence. Seeing her focus on studying the magical formation, he didn't bother her more, just letting her absent-mindedly look at the wall. One hour later, Lin Yachi got back to the room. She stood at the entrance of the channel, waving at Shi Yan to signal him to come alone. Shi Yan stood up, and he noticed that Cherry didn't realize his activity as she was still paying her full attention to the wall. While smiling, he tiptoed towards Lin Yachi as he was afraid that he would bother the girl. Then, he walked with Lin Yachi into the quiet stony cave. After they had left for a while, Lin Yachi cocked her head and rolled her eyes at him. You, you really care about that woman, right? Not only you took her here, but also don't want to disturb her. Spit it out honestly, what is the relationship between you two? She's my woman. I told you, right? Devil buys it. When you took her hand, she was startled. It isn't natural at all. Do you think that I didn't see that? So, why didn't you comment at that time? Because I had to give you face. B asterisk starred, you don't appreciate me at all, do you? Ah, uh, no no. Thank you, thank you. Then tell me. What's the relationship between you two? Nothing. The spirit hall assigned her to take me to the Flying Cloud Summit. She took care of me along the way. She wanted to visit the place, so I played the good guy's role and gave her a hand. Lin Yachi was naive and innocent. It seemed she was interested in the affectionate relationship between men and women. Along the way there, she continually asked him about it. She even probed Shi Yan's private affairs, asking him how many women he had been with. This irritated Shi Yan. As they had just finished halfway, Shi Yan decided to zip his mouth. No matter what she inquired, he kept his mouth shut. Lin Yachi clenched her teeth, rolling her eyes at him angrily. I'm just curious. Can't you satisfy my little curiosity for a while? You know. My evil master controls me tightly. That brat Ye Chong Feng often has chances to get out. But I don't have his big guts. I'm lonely here. It's so boring. Shi Yan was surprised for a while. Your teacher doesn't allow you to go out. In my realm, when he doesn't ask me to go out, I'm forbidden. Lin Ye Chi drooped her head, her face dispirited. Wait until you reach the third sky of Sky Realm and your alchemist attainment reaches the profound level. I'll let you go out for three years. A leisurely, friendly laughter came from behind the wall in front of them. The wall then split open, revealing a tunnel decorated with gems. All of them were sparkling dazzlingly. Hurry up! The evil old man heard us. Lin Chi tucked her tongue out, speeding her pace swiftly forward. Shi Yan followed her. Inside a spacious cave, he saw more than ten cauldrons with different sizes and colors. Mysterious patterns were carved on the cauldrons that looked more like the tadpole scripts. More than ten cauldrons occupied half of the space in the cave. Outside the place, there were piles of bottles, jars, and containers which were full of spiritual herbs. In the center of the cauldron area lied a fat man with a lazy appearance. He was fat like a small mountain of meat. The man squinted his small eyes, beaming a smile that seemed to be of no harm to any creature. 
He smiled at Shi Yan, then slightly raised his arm. Little buddy, you are Shi Yan? Thank you for your drop of life original fluid. Haha, <laughs> you came from the endless sea. You're my distinguished guest. Li Zhengrong moved his body, reluctantly leaning against a big cauldron to sit up. He smiled awkwardly. I'm too fat. It's hard to move, and I'm lazy to exercise, too. If I can sit, I won't stand. If I can lay down, I won't sit. Many years ago, I used my body to test the drugs I refined. At that time, my realm wasn't high enough, so among the medicines I refined, many of them didn't meet the standard. I took them too much and got sick. Now, I'm getting fatter over time. Big headache. Elder Lee, just make yourself comfortable. No need to mind me. Shi Yan smiled friendly. He then walked leisurely to each of the cauldrons to take a look. After that, he asked the fat man with great surprise. These cauldrons show your progress of refining, right? Light shimmered from Li Zhengrong's small eyes while his fat face trembled. He laughed cheerily. Why you ask so? He seemed to study Shi Yan, as if the young man had just touched his interest. His small eyes became livelier. When Elder Li refined pellets those old years, I guess you had used the biggest cauldron. Shi Yan said with a solemn face, walking to that cauldron. At that time, your realm wasn't high enough, which made you dependent on the tools. And, your knowledge of refining pellets wasn't sufficient. That's why you needed a big cauldron to carve the formation to promote the efficacy of the herbs. As your realm improved, your understanding of spiritual formation and the attainment became more brilliant. Later on, you realized that the cauldron was just a container during the medicinal refining process. Then, you didn't use the big cauldrons anymore, but started to comprehend a higher Upanishad of refining method. Since that time, you'd started to use the smaller cauldrons. When Elder Li's realm reached the peak, you didn't need the cauldron anymore. You only used the fiery flame in your body to refine the earth-shaking pellets. At that moment, Elder Li was no longer dependent on using cauldrons. You've become a great master. Naturally, you don't need to use the external tools anymore. Now, you are using your body as the cauldron, your soul consciousness to be the leading medicine to gather and condense the heaven and earth aura, which could promote the efficacy of the herbs to the acme. This is the top realm of medicinal refining. Kid, you do have good knowledge. Li Zhengrong's small eyes brightened. He nodded continually, trying to clap his fat hands. He seemed to reassess Shi Yan. No wonder why that buddy Chong Feng told me you aren't ordinary. Although our little A asterisk shoals a bit stubborn, he still has good knowledge. As I've met you today, I finally get it. Shi Yan smiled modestly. I'm not going to go around the bush. I'm coming here today to ask you to help me take a friend of mine back from the pure land. I can use the life original fluid to exchange. Li Zhengrong was astounded for a while. Eventually, he sat upright and said seriously, no matter what you offer, the pure land won't return your friend. I'm sure about this. Chapter 538, She's Really Great Shi Yan's face darkened in the middle of the room full of cauldrons. Lin Yichi was astounded. She hesitated for a while then asked, Master, last time you told us that the life original fluid is very precious. Isn't it enough to exchange for that woman? Nothing can exchange for her, Li Zhengrong sighed. One year ago, Elder Jin Chuang of the Pure Land came to me. He asked me to help them refine the levitating immortal pill for that little girl. It's not easy to refine the levitating immortal pill. It needs so many types of spiritual herbs. Many of them aren't available. They need to search for them in other regions. They are scarce in our divine great land, too. Levitating Immortal Pill Lin Yichi wore a surprised face. She tucked her tongue out. The Pure Land's really a big spender. Is the Levitating Immortal Pill precious? Shi Yan frowned. 
The levitating immortal pill is the pill to enhance the profound chi. One pellet of the levitating immortal pill can make a first sky of sky realm warrior earn the profound key density of a second sky of sky realm. The levitating immortal pill needs 97 rare herbs of medium grade and a rare water spirit. The process is really complicated, and the failure possibility is high too. A cauldron of levitating immortal pill with abundant herbs, refined by a sacred level alchemist, could produce only 5 pellets with the number of herbal ingredients required for 100 pellets, explained Lin Ya Chi. Shi Yan was dumbstruck. Putting ingredients for 100 pellets, but it could produce only 5. It was tough to refine the levitating immortal pill, indeed. At that time, I asked Jin Chuang what did they need the levitating immortal pill for. He told me they wanted to improve the strength of that little girl. Since my relationship with Jin Chuang isn't shallow, he told me that the reincarnation martial spirit of that little girl has the soul memories of some previous generations. They took the girl to the pure land and sensed. Finally, they found that little girl's soul memories have the memories of an ancestor of the pure land who lived in the antiquity era, said Li Zhengrong. Shi Yan's face changed. I heard Ye Chong Feng say that she has just a soul imprint of an ancestor of the Pure Land in her memory. Is it true? It's the memory of the latest generation, Li Zhengrong took a deep breath. Seniors of the Pure Land usually have the spirit realm cultivation base. They aren't too dangerous. However, the ancestors of the Pure Land in the antiquity era had the God King realm cultivation base. That little girl's realm and powers aren't high enough to restore all the memories of that ancestor. That's why Jin Chuang's group had to rush and be excited at the same time. They really want to increase her strength. Pausing for a while, Li Zhengrong continued, Once that little girl reaches the true god realm, she will gradually recall the martial Upanishads of the realm related to that ancestor in the antiquity era. As long as she has enough essence qi to support, her cultivating path will have no significant obstacles. She will go directly to the God King realm. At last, when she reaches the true God realm, she can remember the Upanishads of the techniques of the God King realm warrior. At that time, she will become the most precious treasure of the pure land that can benefit all their warriors. Shi Yan's brows slammed together. He kept silent. I can only say that that little girl's too lucky and her good fortune's boundless. You should feel happy for her. Those people from the Pure Land had intended to use the secret treasures to help that ancestor's soul replace her soul directly. However, thanks to her fate, no one dares to do that in the Pure Land. Now, she can keep her soul and use the properties of the Pure Land to cultivate and break through with unimaginable speed non-stop. That Pure Land's ancestor's soul won't replace hers. No. It won't. You can relax. It's been tens of thousands of years. That ancestor's soul will soon be scattered. The only things that remain are the deep understandings of the martial arts. So, your little girl can keep her soul, and she can seize the chance to thrive directly. Shi Yan was stunned, but now he could relax his tense nerves. All experts of the Pure Land are protecting her as if she's their most precious treasure. All cultivating resources in that sect are available for her. As long as she can absorb the pellets, which could increase her essence chi, they will give them all to her. They need her to progress to the highest realm within the shortest time. Li Zhengrong sighed then shook his head. That little girl's so lucky that I have no words to comment. When Jin Chuang came here, she was at the second sky of sky realm. It's been one year, and with the pure land's resources, I think they have some other alchemists to refine the levitating immortal pellet for her. I think she should be in the spirit realm now. With the sufficient supply of pellets to increase her essence chi and the advantage of having no obstacles hinder her way, she will progress significantly daily. Shi Yan was frightened. He had assumed that his cultivating speed was the extreme one in this world, but now Li Zhengrong had told him that Xia Xi and Yan's progress was much faster than his. He and Xia Xi and Yan were two extreme beings indeed. On his cultivating path, he didn't need to worry about the supply of essence qi. 
he just needed the essence chi of the dead warriors after slaughtering them to be purified by his mysterious martial spirit, his essence chi would increase unceasingly. His essence chi was always ahead of his realm. Xia Xian Yan's case was different. She didn't need to worry about her realm. What she had to care was to make sure that her essence chi could match up with her realm, which would help her break through constantly, without having the bottleneck like other warriors. Her way would be straight and smooth. One wouldn't need to worry about the amount of essence chi and the other wouldn't be bothered with the realm. The cultivating path of these two was marvelous indeed. You don't need to worry about her. To her, staying in the pure land only benefits her. No harm at all. All experts of the pure land treat her as the most precious treasure of theirs. She's the queen on the pure land's chessboard now. If she continues to thrive this way, one day, she will become the paragon of the pure land, and the future master of the divine great land. She will reach the god king realm at that time. I think it won't take more than fifty years later, Li Zhengrong admired. Yl was stunned. Fifty years. She needs only fifty years. The Pure Land is constantly collecting the pellets to increase her, her cultivation base. She doesn't need to worry about that, just take the chance and take them in. Well, that little girl's a little monster, Li Zhengrong shook his head, his face longing. Shi Yan, your pressure is huge. Lin Yachi was stunned for a long while before she spoke up again. That woman will become the peerless expert of the whole continent. As her good friend, have you prepared yourself well? Will you feel small? Will you feel that you don't deserve her? It's normal, I guess. There's no one in the divine great land can be paired with her. Tisk, hold your emotion and go with the flow. Shi Yan felt big pressure, indeed. But he was both happy and anxious at the same time. He had never thought that Xia Xian Yan could have a sudden opportunity. When he had first entered the Endless Sea, he had told her firmly that he would surpass her soon to be with her officially. Well, from the current situation, this process would be lengthened to infinity. It was uncertain whether he could achieve his dream in this life or not. Li Zhengrong and Lin Yaqi didn't talk more, looking at him with sympathy in their eyes. In fact, they all knew the relationship between Xi Yan and Xia Xian Yan. To men, when their women, the ones they had their hearts and souls fallen for, had reached the sky with a single bounce and became the strongest warrior, they would have to face a huge pressure. If his will weren't firm enough, he would find it hard to continue to break through due to this kind of pressure. Xi Yan's eyes lit up. He pondered for a while then asked, Can I meet her in the pure land? They will not allow it, Li Zhengrong shook his head, this period is the critical time for her to grow up. The Pure Land won't allow anyone to disturb her. I suggest that you shouldn't meet her at this time. On the one hand, it will increase your pressure. On the other hand, it can affect her spirit and soul, too. No matter it's for you or for her, it's better not to meet up at this time. Shi Yan felt lost. He sighed unable to cry or smile. It was a big pressure indeed. Master, the dead souls often cooperate these days. I've met a lot of them in the region. They are so many. Do you think they have a leader now? Lin Yaqi was kind enough to change the topic, as she was afraid that Shi Yan would feel hurt more. They often cooperate. Li Zhengrong's small eyes flashed. How often? Ah, yet. When I came here, I found a cave where many dead souls gathered. There should be hundreds of them. I'm sure there's a high-level dead soul behind the scene. Shi Yan walked out of his loss feeing and intervened them. Hundreds of dead souls. Li Zhengrong's visage changed. So many of them there like that. Yeah, in a cave. The dead souls stick on the walls were as dense as spider webs. Deep inside the cave lied a chunk of meat. It was dark green too. Its roots pierced into the dead bodies of so many warriors. I think it was sucking the nutrition from those bodies. It looks so strange, explained Shi Yan. Li Zhengrong shot up from his seat. 
It was the first time he wore a frightened countenance. You saw a dark green block of meat? It was sucking the nutrition from the warriors' bodies? Are you sure? Of course, I'm sure. Not good. Li Zheng Rong was panicked. His face changed. Big problem. What's happened? Where did you find them? Under the shade of a mountain. Go. Take me there. Immediately. Why you are so hurried? We can't waste even a second. Li Zheng Rong shouted then assigned Lin Ya Qi. You shouldn't stay here. Go to the Spirit Potion Valley and report what Shi Yan had said to the people of the Spirit Hall. Ask them to notify the other elders. What's wrong? Don't ask too much. Do what I said first. Li Zheng Rong acted as if he had a fire burning his butt. He talked to Shi Yan urgently. Take me there. We'll go immediately. I'm not sure if we can seize the chance. Shi Yan felt suspicious. He didn't know what was going on, but from Li Zheng Rong's complexion, he knew something terrible was about to happen. At this moment, he was more determined, and didn't say any extra words. He nodded to Li Zheng Rong and flew out of the flying cloud summit at the max speed, heading towards the cave where the dead souls had gathered. Chapter 539 Great Changes Are Approaching As soon as Li Zheng Rong left the flying cloud summit, he couldn't wait and grabbed Shi Yan, then shot out at a speed as fast as the light of the galaxy streamer. It was a bit rough to Shi Yan, making his breathing quite difficult. At this moment, Shi Yan knew that Li Zheng Rong had lied to him the whole time, saying that his body was too fat to move conveniently. Although Li Zheng Rong hadn't broken through to the true god realm, once he ran at max speed, he was like a meteor chasing after the moon, extremely fast. He and Cherry had spent three and a half days to reach the flying cloud summit from the Dead Souls Cave without a rest stop along the way. However, it took Li Zheng Rong only two hours in bringing him to the target place, the cave where the Dead Souls gathered, under his navigation. Right when the fat Li Zheng Rong arrived, he took out an emerald armor, which looked like a stream of water flowing around his outfit. Green waves were rippling on it. This was a sacred level secret treasure with water attribute. After he got into the cave under the shade of the mountain, Li Zheng Rong's small eyes got colder. His face darkened as he said glumly. We're late. The cave was empty. No dead souls remained, neither did a single blade of grass. The green dot that looked sinister and gloomy on the wall were all gone too. Only the cold, strange aura stayed. It's been just three days, Shi Yan walked to the deepest area of the cave, searching carefully. He pointed at a concave area. I saw the green meat block here. I'm sure that I wasn't hallucinating. Li Zheng Rong didn't doubt him as he nodded, I trust you. His brows furrowed tightly, revealing a seriousness he had never revealed before. He walked back and forth inside the cave many times. His small eyes were as bright as two dazzling diamonds in this gloomy cave. Afterward, Li Zheng Rong exhaled begrudgingly. Big troubles. What has happened? Shi Yan didn't understand. There must be a big change in those dead souls. Li Zheng Rong turned around, contemplated for a while, and then explained, Forty years ago, a formidable dead soul had appeared in the dead soul's evil lairs. We had joined hands with the Pure Land, the Devil Valley, and the Radiant God Cult to kill that dead soul. In that battle, many spirit realm experts from the Pure Land, the Devil Valley, and the Radiant God Cult died. Their souls were dragged into the dead soul's evil lairs. A warrior of the Devil Valley, thanks to his bizarre soul technique, could endure for a short while in the evil lair. Before he lost his mind, he reminded us not to let the dead soul give birth to an entity at any cost. At his last moment before turning into a dead soul, he said that the dead souls have some secret method that uses the warrior's dead bodies to nurture their entity. Once a high-level dead soul could have a body, its power would increase tremendously. And, its cultivation base would be enhanced several times stronger. Shi Yan discolored. The Sky Realm warriors can't deal with the typical dead souls. 
a relatively high-level dead soul can toy the spirit realm experts in its hands. Regarding this max-level dead soul, only the true god realm warriors can save their souls from the erosive power. If you want to destroy it, you have to use the secret treasures with the lightning attribute. When the max level dead souls have a body, they will be complete. At that time, they won't need to depend on the dead souls evil lair anymore. They can leave the evil lair and it will be a big catastrophe of the dead soul mountain range. This can even spread to the divine great land. Li Zheng Rong was anxious and kept sighing. Shi Yan kept silent, not saying a word. I have to contact the experts in the mountain range shortly and notify the elders of the Pure Land, the Radiant God Cult, and the Devil Valley. Before that dead soul completes its body, we should destroy the chunk of meat that could become its body. We can't linger even a second. Li Zheng Rong pondered and then suggested, you should leave the dead soul mountain range as soon as possible. I think it would be very dangerous in the coming time. The dead souls know what that body means to them, so they will protect it with all of their abilities. The dead soul mountain range will have a big battle, in which I don't know how many would die. Sigh, too bad I haven't entered the true god realm yet. I still need one more year. This event has happened before time. I got it, Shi Yan replied naturally. Yeah, at first, you can go to the spirit potion valley or the precious tool valley. But you shouldn't stay there for long. Li Zheng Rong was worried as if he had a flame burning his heart, and didn't dilly dally. I should prepare immediately. About that little girl, you shouldn't be hurried. It's useless to be anxious, too. I think you can wait for the right time. Even if you don't find her, she will come to you. You two still have time to meet. Then, Li Zheng Rong left quickly. It seemed he wanted to check the caves around the area to see if he could find the gathering point of the Dead Souls. The Dead Soul mountain range had almost 1,000 mountains, situated in a vast area. Not all the Dead Souls were stupid. When they knew they should hide their auras, they would be more careful. Shi Yan thought his search would be negative, and that he couldn't find the new gathering spot of the Dead Soul in just a short time. After Li Zheng Rong left, Shi Yan didn't linger. He pondered, then decided to return to the Spirit Potion Valley and the Precious Tool Valley. He could ask for more details and traces there to keep track of this strange event. Three days later, he came back to the Spirit Potion Valley, but didn't go to the Spirit Hall right away. He made a tour around the Spirit Potion Valley and then headed to the Precious Tool Valley. The Precious Tool Valley and the Spirit Potion Valley were neighbors. There were shops that sold the materials for forging treasure around the place. People in the Precious Tool Valley were all blacksmiths. In the Precious Tool Valley, they also had the same structure as the Spirit Hall, which was called the Tool Hall, managed by some sacred level blacksmiths of the Dead Soul Mountain Range. After he arrived the Precious Tool Valley, he visited each store to find some strange spirit crystals. Little Buddy, You've been wandering half a day already but you haven't bought anything yet. You don't like anything in my store. In a ware shop named Universe, the owner was a third sky of Nirvana realm warrior with messy hair, a red nose, and opaque, squinted eyes just like he was still sleepy-headed. The owner had looked at Shi Yan for half a day. Eventually, he couldn't help but ask him. Hey shopkeeper! Are there any blacksmiths in the precious Tool Valley who know how to use the magical formation? Shi Yan leaned against a shelf, smiled and asked him. What's that formation? Asked the owner. Teleporting type. The shop owner was astounded. Afterward, he smiled oddly and said. Friend, have you just arrived the Dead Soul Mountain Range? Yes. The blacksmiths who could build the teleporting formation are really amazing. In the Dead Soul Mountain Range, there are several who know how to make this formation. If you want to find them, go to the Tool Hall. I think the elders should know something about it. Anyway, it cost a fortune to build the teleportation formation. First, you will need the Nether Crystal. I hear that the Nether Crystals exist only in some space cracks. They are so rare. 
really tough to find. Shi Yan was startled. That year when he had entered the Chasm Abyss battlefield through the teleport formation, he had seen the scenes changing unceasingly. That ancient teleportation array had left a deep impression on him. In the Endless Sea, the Three God Sect and the Yang family also had a small-scaled teleportation formation. Although the distance was limited, Shi Yan knew how important it was to a strong force. He wanted to build a big teleportation formation that could connect the Ice Emperor City and possibly, forming the connection with the Endless Sea in the future. That's why he wanted to find an excellent blacksmith to buy a teleportation formation. From the shopkeeper's explanation, he got to know that the blacksmiths who could build the array were rare. He bid farewell to the shop owner and then spent another two days in the precious Tool Valley to ask for the information from other blacksmiths. But he couldn't find anyone who knew the method to build the formation. All the blacksmiths he had asked told him that only the elders of the tool hall knew how to build the teleportation formation. When he told him that the formation he wanted to build should be able to teleport through the sea, the blacksmiths looked at him as if they were looking at a monster. They then told him clearly that even the elders of the tool hall could only build small scaled formations, which could transport to 10,000 li at max. Beyond this distance, it would be quite tough. Shi Yan was totally disappointed. He then borrowed a small gravitational room in the tool hall to train his body, trying to drain the mysterious energy in his muscles in the 40 times heavier gravity room. He hoped that he could maximize his bearing capacity. Time flew fast, as 10 days passed like a blink of an eye. He had exhausted himself in the gravitational room. Thoughts flickered in his head as he recalled the experience in blacksmithing of the blacksmith from the ice-cold flame's memories. The related secrets of refining treasures were moving in his head like three-dimension pictures. After searching for half a day, he still couldn't find any memories related to the teleportation formation. He felt dispirited as he opened his eyes wider while sinking into his thought. Blacksmith's Secrets of Success After a while, Shi Yan's eyes brightened. He shot up from his seat. He suddenly recalled the ancient book he had gotten from the mysterious exotic land The Blacksmith's Secrets of Success. That mysterious land had so many rare treasures. In the center of the two galaxies, he got that book, which had some seal he couldn't open. It seemed the blacksmith's secrets of success was really old and mysterious. Perhaps, it would have the method to build the ancient transmission formation. The ancient teleport formation was a big-sized one, as it could transport things over a big distance. If he had the method to build the formation, he would gather the materials and do it himself. His mind flickered and the blacksmith's secrets of success flew out from the storage ring, floating in front of him. The four big words written in ancient calligraphy on the cover sparkled. He reached out his left hand and gently put it on the blacksmith's secret of success. A vehement shiver rippled from the book, creating a strong force that pushed his hand aside. He then urged his soul consciousness. However, he was pushed back by a soul energy before he could reach the book. It repeated several times and he still didn't know how to access the book. You can't access this thing simply. This book comes from the antiquity era. You need to use the soul dividing technique, which also comes from the antiquity time, to open the book. The ice cold flame turned into a beautiful white light, emerging from the blood vein ring and sending him its thoughts. Chapter 540, Soul Dividing Soul Dividing Technique it was a secret technique of the experts in the antiquity time. This technique would divide the host soul into parts. When they forged the puppet, they would put a part of their host soul into it. This would make the puppet have the soul and memory imprints of the owner, which would help it to perform as marvelously as its master. The secret weapons of a great blacksmith or a warrior required a part of the soul pouring in to be opened. As long as he had his soul enter the tools and the books, he could officially control the tools and read the books. It wasn't hard to learn how to divide the host's soul. However, most of the techniques were lost. Only some members of the old factions knew how to do that. The ice-cold flame showed itself and then lectured Shi Yan about the subtle features of the soul-dividing technique, then continued, 
this book should come from the antiquity era too. If you want to access it, you have to divide your soul and put your part into the book. Otherwise, you can't see the miraculous contents inside. Shi Yan was surprised. He pondered, then smiled. Do you know the soul dividing technique? A little bit. Tell me. Well, I just know the surface of the technique, which can't help you refine a clone. But to open this old book, it's not too difficult. Then don't babble more. All right. The ice-cold flame regarded him. It thought for a while, then connected its soul to Shi Yan's. Then, the flame found the secret techniques related to the soul-dividing method, turning them into the memory fluctuations and transmitting them into Shi Yan's head. To practice the soul-dividing technique, at first, he needed to train his host's soul, making it disappear and then reorganize. During the time the host's soul got mutated, he would use a special method to draw a beam of the soul. That beam then would be nurtured in the sea of consciousness, using the power of the soul consciousness to keep it warm. After a while, it would grow into a feeble hollow soul. The hollow soul wasn't the host soul, as it was just a projection of the latter. So, it didn't have the attainments of the host soul. When the hollow soul was destroyed, it didn't affect the host soul. However, it had a connection with the host soul. No matter how far the hollow soul was, the host soul would always know its position and everything it had experienced. There were some other ways to strengthen the hollow soul. For example, he could collect the murderous aura, the yin qi, or other bizarre energy in heaven and earth. If the hollow soul could grow non-stop to a certain level, when it stayed in the puppet or the clone, it could urge the power of the host soul. When the hollow soul reached the highest level, it could even replace the host soul. The ice-cold flame knew how to divide the soul and train the hollow soul. However, its knowledge in cultivating the hollow soul wasn't enough to practice. To Shi Yan, at this moment, he just needed to create the hollow soul. He didn't hurry, using the method to start to cultivate his host soul step by step. Firstly, he would nurture his soul with the nutrients from the soul consciousness which would promote the change of the host soul. When his host soul was strong enough, he could divide it. In the gravitational room, he stopped training his body and started to sink into the cultivation of dividing his soul. The Spirit Potion Valley Recently, many experts from the Pure Land, the Radiant God Cult, the Devil Valley showed up in the area. They were rushing with gloomy faces. In the Precious Potion Valley, some famous alchemists of the Divine Great Land were affected. They often walked back and forth in the valley. Sometimes, they sighed begrudgingly. Although many low-level warriors in the Dead Soul mountain range didn't know what was happening, they vaguely felt the danger like a breeze before a big storm. People who knew the secret told their disciples and friends silently. Some warriors who had regularly visited the Spirit Potion Valley and the Precious Tool Valley left the area without leaving any trace. They didn't dare to stay in the Dead Soul Mountain Range for any longer. For the time being, while so many low-level warriors left the Spirit Potion Valley, many big characters whom they had rarely seen in daily life came to the place. More and more people recognized that the Dead Soul Mountain Range was about to face a big event. Inside the Spirit Hall, Five people, including Li Zhongrong, Zhang Mu, Kun Xi, Gai Ji, and Mike, all wore a glum countenance. As the five sacred level alchemists behind the spirit hall, among them, Li Zhongrong was the focus of the public attention. He was the person who had the real power of the Dead Soul Mountain Range. All alchemists had to admire and bow to him. Old Li, still nothing. Zhang Mu turned the ring on his finger staring at the other agitatedly. It had been half a month. Many experts had searched and raked through all the areas which had the Dead Soul's evil lairs in the Dead Soul mountain range. They were trying to find the gathering spot of the Dead Souls and destroy that chunk of meat before it gave birth to the body of the Dead Soul. However, half a month had passed, but the Dead Souls which often appeared everywhere in the mountain range seemed to have all disappeared. Seeing time flying fast and the entire community of the dead souls secluding, 
Zhang Mu's mood became worse. During the battle dozens of years ago, Zhang Mu was still a profound level alchemist. In that battle, his teacher was killed in the hands of an intimidating dead soul. His soul was dragged out, drawn into an evil lair, and then disappeared. That year, Zhang Mu had had only the Sky Realm cultivation base. He had no choice but to stare at the scene where his teacher's soul was drawn out. That battle had left a deep shadow in his heart. Until now, every time he recalled that battle, he felt fear inside. He had a deep grudge against the dead souls, and always wanted to kill all the dead souls in the Dead Soul Mountain Range. All have disappeared. I think the dead souls have gained experience. Certainly, there's a strong dead soul behind them. Otherwise, the situation would be totally different. Li Zhongrong's body had a lot of fat. When he talked, even the fat on his cheeks trembled. The tool hall is working on it too. I guess they have no findings either. Or else, they would have already told us. Seems the big change is coming. Kun Xi was as thin as a stick, his face sinister and vicious. Sharp light sparked in his eyes. Don't know how many people would die this time. You guys, we're sitting here now, but we're not sure who could survive. After he talked, everybody became more grimaced. You should seize the chance and impart your inheritance as soon as possible. Li Zhongrong's squinted eyes raked through the room. The Dead Soul Mountain range is the place we have been invested with much effort. We will never abandon it. The situation this time will be different from last time. If those dead souls can nurture a real body, this will be a catastrophe. Even if we leave the Dead Soul Mountain range, we won't be able to escape it. The other four nodded with a cold face. All of them knew the secret from dozens of years ago. They knew that the dead souls were dangerous. Once they gained a body, the power could rock it. At that time, the dead souls won't be dependent on the dead souls' evil lairs anymore. They could leave the dead soul mountain range and go to the divine great land. The lowest level dead souls had the ability to take the soul of the warriors easily. It was more like a piece of cake to the higher level dead souls. Once those dangerous dead souls could leave the dead soul mountain range and come to the divine great land, the warriors who didn't know about them beforehand wouldn't be able to resist. Their souls would be taken one after another, and they would become the new dead souls. At that time, the heaven and earth would have a big transformation. The dead souls would replace warriors and pollute this rich land, turning it into the world of dead souls. Thinking about the possible future, the five of them shivered without feeling cold. I've notified the leaders of the Pure Land, the Devil Valley, and the Radiant God Cult. Once the Dead Soul's real body appears, the leaders of these three forces will come to the Dead Soul Mountain Range, said Li Zhongrong with a low voice. The four of them relaxed a little bit. Kun Xi hesitated, and couldn't help but ask, Old Li, where's the boy who found this mess? And, how is he related to you? Weren't you cultivating in seclusion? Why did you agree to meet him? How can I know where he is? Li Zhongrong snorted and continued impatiently. He has a connection with me. Kun Xi and the others were astounded. They wanted to ask for more, but as they saw his winced face, they couldn't inquire further, shutting their mouths begrudgingly. Outside the spirit hall, Lin Yachi was toying the potted flowers with her arrogant complexion. She asked coldly, Shi Yan didn't come for you. No. After I came back from the Flying Cloud Summit, I have never met him again. Cherry always lacked confidence facing her, as she felt that she was one grade lower than the other girl. Perhaps he has left the Dead Soul Mountain Range. Since they know a big disaster will come soon, anyone who can run has already run away. The ones who haven't moved yet are ready to move. Since Cherry knew the mutated dead souls would become more wild and sinister, she was afraid and wanted to leave too. Unfortunately, she was the hall guard of the spirit hall. Without the permission granted by one of the five of Li Zhongrong's group, no one was allowed to leave the spirit hall when the dead souls appeared. Once they were busted, their names would be erased from the spirit hall forever. 
Being an alchemist, it was okay not to join the spirit hall. But when the spirit hall erased one's name, his or her reputation was gone too. The community would scoff him as the worst among the alchemists. If he comes to see you, you must notify me. I have something I want to discuss with him. Lin Chi arched her brow. To make it up for you, about the formation you've seen in my place, if you have something you want I ask, I can help. Cherry's blue eyes brightened as she nodded continually. Gravitational chamber. Shi Yan sat emotionlessly just like a rock that hadn't moved for ten thousand years, still and quiet. During half a month in this gravitational room, he had been sinking into his mind, wholeheartedly focusing on training the hollow soul, and didn't relax for even a second. Just recently, with the soul-dividing technique the ice-cold flame passed him in a blurry state, he had successfully divided his soul drawn out a strand of soul and created a phantom of his host soul in the sea of consciousness the hollow soul. Right when the hollow soul appeared, he immediately urged the soul consciousness to keep the hollow soul warm. That vague hollow soul was like a projection. After it received the soul consciousness, it turned into another image of the host soul in the sea of consciousness. However, it didn't have the intellect and the vitality of the real host soul. More soul consciousness was poured into the hollow soul. After an unknown time, the hollow soul became clearer. Besides the lack of vitality, it looked similar to the host soul. At this moment, the ice-cold flame sent him a message. It's enough. You can access the blacksmith's secrets of success now. Shi Yan was struck. He started to guide the hollow soul, dragging it little by little out of the sea of consciousness. The spooky phantom was as vague as a ghost, with thick yin aura slowly appearing in front of his eyes. When the hollow soul got out of the sea of consciousness, it became fragile as if it were about to vanish. The hollow soul can't be exposed for a long time. Guide it to the ancient book immediately. Or else, the hollow soul will vanish. The ice-cold flame reminded Shi Yan. Shi Yan's face changed. He didn't dare to observe more took out the Book of Secrets and began his move. Chapter 541, Waste More Effort The hollow soul appeared as a thin grey smoke, floating and flying towards the blacksmith's secrets of success. It then disappeared silently, like a drop of water falling into the sea. Boom! He felt a rumbling tremor in his brain, after which, a wonderful feeling flooded his sea of consciousness. His sea of consciousness was as if it had a big crack, from where flows of soul consciousness streamed through, getting into the blacksmith's secrets of success and pouring directly into the hollow soul. A link was formed between the host soul and the hollow soul. The host soul was still submerged in the sea of consciousness, but it got all the things the hollow soul was watching. The hollow soul was floating in an immense area. There was a light road like an ecliptic soaring to a distant place. With the vision of the hollow soul, he found himself in a strange new world. That marvelous ecliptic was like the heaven staircase, leading to a faraway, mysterious place. Bright lights sparkled along the road. In the white void, big seals were tumbling like clusters of clouds. Strange, miraculous lights crossed each other, carving the ancient magical formations on those seals. Refining medicine and weapons were similar. The experts should understand the strange and mysterious formations. As long as they had a deep understanding of drawing those formations, they could improve their attainment in refining. Ancient formations along the ecliptic were shining dazzlingly. They were the explanation of the most important secrets of tool refining. Each of them was moving lively, as they were transferring the truth of heaven and earth. The meanings they were conveying were surreptitious, including types of power. Clusters of refining formations were spinning along the ecliptic road. All of them were explicit and radiant like the meteors. They kept changing, and didn't have a determined nature. The hollow soul stood at the beginning of the ecliptic. It didn't have any strange moves, and was absorbing the soul consciousness in his sea of consciousness really quickly. Within the short period of three breaths, flows of soul consciousness in his sea of consciousness were sucked out by one-tenth, 
and the consumption speed was still increasing. Shi Yan was scared. He gathered all of his soul, spirit and qi, quieting down his mind and letting aside the impure thoughts. He concentrated on the magical, mysterious formations on the sides of the light road. Each formation was a method to refine weapons. They were in many complicated shapes. They varied strangely, which was hard to learn in just a short time. Burned to separate water formation, the Grand Soul Gathering Formation, Original Universe Life Formation, Three Soul Defense Formation. Names of the formations crossed his head fast, and gave him a shallow understanding. Each formation was mysteriously unpredictable. At first glance, he thought they were so marvelous that he couldn't comprehend them in short time. Once those ancient formations were carved on the treasures, it would rocket the power of the weapons, giving them the special abilities or subtle powers. As long as he could gain the truth of those formations and use them fluently, a blacksmith only needed one of those formations to earn a great living. Each formation was vastly obscure, and he couldn't obtain in a short time. Many of those had been lost for thousands of years. Some names of the formations had been listed in the ancient books of the blacksmiths. They had only a name, without any particular details. However, in this wonderful space, these formations were changed, following the subtle changes of the heaven and earth. To comprehend the true meanings of the formation, the blacksmith needed to reach a certain realm. If he were careful and detailed to study them, he could have a good grasp of the real magical features of the formation. Refining weapons wasn't Shi Yan's life goal. Shi Yan delayed at the beginning of the ecliptic for a while. Then, his hollow soul turned into an incomplete silhouette, moving swiftly. Teleportation formation. Teleportation formation. He repeated the name in his head. The hollow soul didn't stop, continually moving on the light road. If it found that the formations around weren't the teleportation formation, it would retreat immediately and continue walking forward. At the same time, his soul consciousness was flooding over like a broken dike with amazing speed. While his soul was muddy, his hollow soul had a glimpse of a formation that looked like a cluster along the ecliptic. The drawings of that formation were clear, expanding like a spider web in the void. Beams of silver light interweaved. At each intersection, words written in ancient calligraphy flashed from time to time. Ethereal crystal, fine earth stone, golden gong bead. Rare ores float under the light intersections of the formation. They flashed, and then disappeared. On the cloud, rows of characters were arranged neatly, sparkling in a dark golden hue, and twinkling like stars. They decided the way to portray the mysteries of this formation. Teleportation Formation He wanted to check it out carefully, but he suddenly felt dizzy. His sea of consciousness trembled. Thud! The blacksmith's secrets of success dropped on the floor. Shi Yan woke up from his neat sitting position on the ground, sweat beating his face. He looked ashen and exhausted. His soul consciousness was consumed too much. The room was dark but Shi Yan's pupils were shining with a divine light. He panted, but he was smiling brightly. Time wouldn't fail people who had high aspirations. The blacksmith's secrets of success did have the teleportation formation. Not just a description, but a whole direct observation of the method. As long as he could understand the revolution maze of the formation and collect enough the tools and materials, even if building the teleportation formation was complicated, it wouldn't be too troublesome. However, the overconsumed soul consciousness was beyond his estimation. He had never thought that reading an ancient book, which had the weapon refining methods, could use up his soul consciousness that fast. At this moment, his sea of consciousness was empty. The area was reduced, no bigger than one fourth of his previous area. The sea of consciousness seemed to have dried up. The host soul and the dormant five devils also looked dispirited. Both the host soul and the five devils depended on the sea of consciousness to live and cultivate. If the sea of consciousness were large, the host soul and the five devils would grow fast. If the sea of consciousness was narrow, 
the space the host soul and the five devils had for their cultivation would reduce, which would limit their growth. If his sea of consciousness went arid one day, the host soul and the five devils would bear the brunt, immediately being suffocated. To the host soul and the five devils, the sea of consciousness was the fountain of their beings. Without this origin of life, they couldn't survive for a long time. He felt dizzy while he was about to check out the miraculous features of the teleport formation. It was the sign of a dried sea of consciousness. As his host soul could feel the situation was wrong, it immediately cut the connection with the hollow soul, firmly dragging him out of that wonderful scene. Shi Yan sat still on the ground. His was mentally and physically exhausted, but his eyes were bright. As he had found the teleportation formation, when his sea of consciousness restored, he could save strength and time to find it next time. Although he had taken risks this time, his harvest wasn't bad. But, he needed to recover his soul consciousness first. With that thought, he sat still, adjusted his breath and fell asleep. The typical way to supplement the consumed profound chi was to condense the chi of the heaven and earth. However, to recover the soul consciousness, besides the precious pellets that people drooled for, the simplest method was to sleep and relax. One day and one night passed as fast as a blink of an eye. Shi Yan woke up worried. He sensed his sea of consciousness, then shook his head miserably. Sleeping was a simple way to supplement the soul consciousness. However, since it was too simple, its effect was the smallest. After sleeping for one day and one night, his soul consciousness had restored so little that he wanted to cry. The process of sensing the blacksmith's secrets of success had consumed 70% of his sea of consciousness. This sleep helped his soul consciousness recover, but not even 5%. Anyway, he couldn't sleep all the time. After one day and one night, he was sober, and to put himself to sleep again was impossible. Shi Yan calculated that if he used sleep to restore his soul consciousness, with this speed, he would need one month to fully recover. One month. Shi Yan got a headache. It was just the first time he had read the blacksmith's secrets of success as the information was flowing swiftly in his head. After his soul consciousness restored, he didn't know how many times he had to drain his sea of consciousness to perceive the subtle features of the teleportation formation. In this wonderful world, the consumption speed of soul consciousness could be considered terrifying. To comprehend the Upanishad of the teleportation formation, he needed to visit that world more often to digest the details slowly. With this speed of consumption, his full soul consciousness was just enough to endure one hour. What he could do in one hour. If it needed one month after one time of observing the formation, how much time did he have to spend to gain the subtle features of the teleportation formation? No, he had to find another method. Shi Yan stood up and went out of the room. Looking at the spirit potion valley afar from him, he saw many alchemists hurrying back and forth with worried faces. Alchemists. His mind was moved, and his eyes brightened. He couldn't help but smile. Where was he? The Dead Soul Mountain Range. Things that were abundant here were alchemists and their pellets. It would be hard to find the pellet to restore his soul consciousness somewhere else. But in the Spirit Potion Valley, he should be able to find some, right? He was moved, so he immediately gave up the idea of sleeping to recover his soul consciousness. Then, he strolled towards the Spirit Potion Valley. A strand of his soul consciousness caressed the storage ring, swiftly touching each of the sparkling crystals and tools. He was considering what he should use to exchange for the pellets to recover his soul consciousness. The Yang family was filthy rich. After that battle in the Endless Sea, the cultivating materials and crystals he collected from other forces were too many. When he left, his storage ring was packed. There were 3,000 top-grade essence chi crystals, 15,000 high-grade essence chi crystals, and the other materials piled up like small mountains. Even if he was in the Divine Great Land, he was still a young rich man. Only the most outstanding disciples of the seven factions could be able to compare to him in terms of wealth. He didn't need to worry about the essence chi crystals. 
After Shi Yan left the precious Tool Valley, he was surprised, and his face changed a little bit. He could sense that there were at least seven spirit realm experts in the Spirit Potion Valley. Also, there were strong aura that were hiding, just like the firm, Grand Mountains. Their energy fluctuations were heavy, but they were concealed. However, Shi Yan still could still sense them. So many strong warriors. It had been half a month. What had happened to the precious Tool Valley and the Spirit Potion Valley? Why were there so many strong warriors gathering here? Dead souls. Recalling the grimaced face of the elder before, Shi Yan seemed to get the problem. The danger of the dead soul should have been spreading out, which gathered the warriors living around the dead soul mountain range in the Spirit Potion Valley and the Precious Tool Valley. In the two valleys, besides the aura of the spirit realm experts, many cold-faced warriors were walking on the streets. It wasn't an exception. Those warriors had followed the path of cultivating their powers. They were masters in bloody fighting, but they weren't alchemists or blacksmiths. Whenever the dead souls had some great changes, precious treasures would fly out from the dead souls' evil lairs. Many of them were the top-grade ones in the divine great land. The oncoming catastrophe from the dead souls made some chicken warriors leave, but it attracted some with big guts too. People died for money, and the birds died in pursuit of food. As long as they could earn some benefits, to the warriors, there was no dangerous place they couldn't enter. They all knew that the dead soul mountain range would be a dreadful place. Thus, many of them still came for the greed of treasures. Of course, the ones who dared to come here weren't nice. They looked vicious and had a murderous aura. Shi Yan couldn't help but stare at them. I should go to find the pellets to restore my soul consciousness first. Shi Yan thought and sped up, walking straight to the Spirit Potion Valley. Chapter 542 Evil Wind Turbulence What? No? Not even a single pellet. Shi Yan clenched his jaw in a shop his face angry. You guys don't even have the pellet to restore the soul consciousness, what the heck are you selling? Doesn't this store sell pellets? I'm sorry, sir. Besides that type of pellet and medicines, we have everything else. For example, we have the pellets to restore essence chi, strengthen your physique, stable your realm to prevent bedevilment, etc. We have plenty of them here. You can choose anything you want. We can always deal the price. The shopkeeper smiled humbly, bowing his body. Shi Yan wore a cold face, then left while snorting. Fifteen minutes later. Standing in the middle of a crowded street in the Spirit Potion Valley, Shi Yan felt dispirited. He had visited ten stores, and none of them was an exception. They didn't have even a single pellet that could do something with soul consciousness. The threat from the dead souls had been spread out all over the dead soul mountain range. The first thing the warriors did when they came here was to buy the pellets and medicine that could help restore and strengthen their soul consciousness. The dead souls could erode the soul, which depended on the sea of consciousness. If a warrior's sea of consciousness weren't stable, his soul would be weakened, and thus, the dead soul could easily attack him. All warriors understood the nature of the dead souls as they knew how important it was to strengthen their soul consciousness. Within five or six days, all pellets that could help strengthen the soul consciousness in the Spirit Potion Valley, even if they had their price rocketed, were all sold out. These sorts of pellet became scarce now. Alchemists who could refine them had stopped supplying to the shop. They wanted to keep the medicine for themselves. All of a sudden, in this big spirit potion valley, no store could supply this kind of a pellet or medicine. Even if they were willing to buy with a good price, the alchemists didn't want to sell. The news regarding the dead souls had been spread out fast in the two valleys. The more they talked about it, the more dangerous it became. The powers of the dead souls were amplified continually by the news they were telling each other. People felt insecure and the alchemists and the blacksmiths didn't dare to leave the valleys. They were concentrating on refining pellets and forging weapons for themselves. They had to improve their willpower at any cost. At this moment, 
the pellets that could supplement the soul consciousness became the treasure to protect their lives. None of them agreed to sell even a single pellet. The warriors came here for the dead souls had used a lot of money to collect the goods. Shortly, there was no stock in the entire Spirit Potion Valley. Shi Yan had so many Essence Qi crystals to spend, but he couldn't find a supplier. He had a big regret now. He was the first one who got to know the anomaly of the dead souls. If he had been smarter, he could have collected more medicines of this kind right when the news was still concealed. Too late to regret. The feeling of having a lot of money but not being able to buy the goods he wanted agitated him. Along the streets in the center of the valley, warriors were walking back and forth with gloomy faces. Their eyes were ferocious when looking at the others, just like a starving wolf, as if they considered all strangers their enemies. The valley where people used to live in harmony and peace now was at daggers. The atmosphere was tense too. Although Shi Yan had stomped his feet in regret, it was of no use. He gradually gathered himself together, and squinted his eyes with a cold look on his face. He was about to find one or two guys who didn't have a good vision to rob them. He wasn't a good guy, his hands had been soaked in blood. Once he was determined, killing a man and destroying his body wasn't a thing to him. As the goods were scarce and he could buy them from nowhere, if he wanted to have the pellets, the only way to do was to snatch the things he wanted. He didn't have a mental barrier when stealing or snatching things from other people. Once he spotted the target, he wasn't afraid of killing in mass scale. Most the warriors in the valley now weren't good guys. While killing these sorts of men, he wouldn't feel guilty. When he was observing pedestrians with an evil look, a familiar figure appeared in his vision Time Yu. Five people of Time Yu's group hadn't left the Dead Soul Mountain Range. They knew of the oncoming deadly event, but because of the three dead souls, they were still waiting for Cherry to compensate them. Time Yu saw Shi Yan standing at the corner and was terrified, keeping his mouth shut. He instinctively wanted to get rid of that young man. At this moment, Shi Yan's face was thin and pallid. His look was cold and dark, while the corner of his mouth curled a little bit, just like a cold knife. He looked as savage as a beast waiting for its prey. Other people didn't know Shi Yan, but Tai Mu had experienced it. As he saw Shi Yan's look, he wanted to run away as fast as possible. Come here. Shi Yan snorted, then made a gesture with his finger. He sneered, where do you want to hide seeing me? Are you afraid that I'll eat you alive? Tai Mu was timid, his face long as if the other had asked him to kill a child. Shi Yan Ji, we aren't going to ask you for the dead souls. What do you want? Help me buy some pellet to restore the soul consciousness. I don't care about the price. Shi Yan searched his storage ring. Translucent top grade essence Qi crystals emerged one by one in his palm. They were sparkling beautifully under the sun like precious gems. I don't have them, Time Yu shook his head bitterly. Really? I don't have them. When I arrived at the Spirit Potion Valley, they had stopped selling them. Anyway, Cherry told us that three days later, she would give us some pellets of this kind. We're waiting for her. That's why we haven't left yet. Cherry. Shi Yan was startled. He curled his lips into a smile. His figure faded, then disappeared in just a blink. That slaughtering star, sigh. I really thought that he wanted to eat humans. Those who are having bad luck getting this guy watching over them would never be able to leave the dead soul mountain range. I don't know why I feel scared just by looking at him. Time Yu swept away the beads on his forehead and muttered, he said that he forgave us because we're the members of the gods sect. Do you think he's a disciple of the gods sect, too? Assumed the young girl. If he were one of the gods sect's disciples, why would he stay anonymous? Time you objected. I think he knows someone from our sect and his impression of our sect isn't bad. But it's certain that he isn't a member of the gods sect. With his realm at his age, as long as he's one of us, he'll be famous. It's impossible that no one knows him. His friends thought, then nodded in agreement. 
Spirit Hall. Is Cherry here? Shi Yan stopped a guard and asked him without manners. You are. The guard was dizzy. He was bewildered for a while then replied to Shi Yan with respect. I'll call her for you. This guard had seen Shi Yan before. As he saw that Zha Lin was servile to him, he understood that Shi Yan wasn't a small character. He didn't linger, and hurled himself out of the hall. Not long after that, Cherry arrived. She invited Shi Yan to get inside with a smiling face. Old Li's here, too. Cherry took him to the corner, then lowered her tone. The other four elders are here too. Why haven't you left yet? I heard that you have the pellets to recover the soul consciousness. Give me some. I'll pay you a good price. Shi Yan wasn't interested in Li Zhengrong and his men, asking for the pellets directly. Cherry was surprised. Do you want to find the dead soul's evil lairs to test your fortune, too? No. I need them for another purpose. Shi Yan shook his head. While he was talking, pieces of top-grade essence chi crystals had been put into a gold-threaded gunny sack. Shortly, the gunny sack was filled with top-grade essence chi crystals. There were hundreds of them at least. He directly threw the sack to Cherry and told her, no matter what price you offer, I'll take them all. Cherry was full of regret since she didn't know why he was so hurried. Here, take these three bottles of the Soul Restoration Pellet. Each bottle has seventy pills. Thanks, Shi Yan smiled at her, didn't turn his head back and left immediately. Hey! Cherry called out. But by the time her voice arose, she didn't see his shadow anywhere. This B asterisk starred, what's he doing? Why he's so hurried? Cherry stomped her feet. Looking at the sack of top grade essence chi, she was surprised and happy at the same time. Being a hall guard, her salary for one year was just 50 top grade essence chi crystals. This gunny sack of essence chi was a huge fortune to her, as much as her wages of three or four years working at the spirit hall. However, this wasn't what she wanted. She was suspicious, and she wanted to meet Shi Yan to make it clear. But Shi Yan disappeared instantly, and didn't even give her his address. Cherry, who's that kid? Why did he give you so many essence chi crystals? Are you too? A thin alchemist with a gloomy face had witnessed all the things. He approached her quietly and asked. None of your business. Shi Yan snorted with his cold appearance. She didn't pay attention to that alchemist, taking her crystals and walking to the hall. What? He came. In a quiet chamber behind the spirit hall, Lin Ya Chi jolted up. Where's he? Left. When I wanted to chase after him, I couldn't see him anywhere, explained Cherry. Lin Ya Chi didn't look happy as she asked the other girl arrogantly. What did that A asterisk shoal come for? He wanted to buy the soul consciousness restoring pellets. I gave him. Cherry narrated. Soul consciousness restoring pellets. Lin Ya Chi chuckled. She squinted her eyes and then said smilingly. Seems he's interested in the dead soul's evil lairs too. Well, excellent. In several days, a young generation of experts from the Pure Land, the Radiant God Cult, and the Devil Valley will gather. I don't like some of them, but I'm not their match. That A asterisk shoals here too, so I will ask him to teach them a lesson. Lin Ya Chi was thrilled. Cherry kept her mouth shut, not daring to talk much. The news of the young experts from the Pure Land, the Radiant God Cult, and the Devil Valley were about to arrive had been spread out all over the Dead Soul Mountain Range. Those people would come together with their full power. On the one hand, they wanted to kill the dead souls, and on the other, this was a good chance for them to practice their skills. Also, they had a secret hope of collecting strange treasures from the dead souls' evil lairs. Young hot shots of these three ancient factions in the Divine Great Land always had keen eyesight. Their men were domineering, and the women were arrogant. Each of them had brutal deeds that made people fear them. Although Cherry was an alchemist, her rank wasn't high enough. When she saw those people, 
she had to behave and not dare to quarrel with them. Lin Yaqi, as Li Zhengrong's disciple, of course wasn't afraid. Anyway, her realm was relatively low, so she wasn't their opponent. In the past, whenever they had a dispute, she always bore a bit of a loss, which she still kept in her heart. However, she had no way to counter them. But now she knew Shi Yan was here, she immediately wanted to use the relationship with Shi Yan to ask him to take revenge for her. The precious Tool Valley and the Spirit Potion Valley are just that big. As long as he still stays in the valleys, I can always drag him out. Harumph! Lin Yaqi contemplated for a while. She squinted and smiled. Later on, she didn't tell Cherry but left the spirit hall alone, walking around the valley where evil wolves were playing. Cherry waited for her to leave further, then hurried to find Zhaolin to report him that the girl had left. After Shi Yan got the soul-restoring pellet, he stormed into the chamber he had rented and started to restore his consumed soul consciousness as fast as he could. He was preparing to probe the mystically subtle features of the teleportation formation once again. Chapter 543, Calamity Mount Heaven Whistle Inside a gloomy cave in the center of the mountain, countless dark green dead souls hung on the walls, covering the entire surface. A pond of corpses situated in the middle of the cave where bodies piled up. Dark green blood was constantly oozing. Many blocks of meat were stuck into the corpse refining pond, sucking the nutrition from the dead bodies. They kept enlarging continually. Dark green dead souls were floating around the pond, emitting their cold, evil aura as if they were guarding it. Mount Heaven Whistle was a small and poor mountain among almost 1,000 mountains of the Dead Soul Mountain Range. The heaven and earth aura here was faint, and no warrior stayed on this mountain to cultivate. Inside some caves in Mount Heaven Whistle, green light columns as big as tree trunks were shrinking, and a large amount of yin qi was overflowing from them. Flows of this kind of an evil aura poured into the big cave in the center of the mountain one by one. Dead souls inside the cave were spurting out a dark green, viscous liquid onto the meat chunks. This liquid then turned into layers of energy, getting absorbed into the meat chunks. Time passed quietly. Crack. The cracking sound of an egg hatching rose. The membrane covering the meat chunk cracked, then fell on the ground piece by piece. A green, short-limbed creature which was as tall as a ten-year-old child emerged from the meat chunk. Its skin was wrinkled like an ugly toad. Its three pupils had a deep, cold, dark green hue, and its look was sinister to the extreme. It was a humanoid creature, with a pointy head and no ears. There were many holes on its cheeks, and its nostrils moved as if it were breathing the evil aura of this cave. Dead souls in the cave suddenly got excited. They led that short-limbed creature towards the dead soul's evil lair. Hundreds of dead souls joined hands and fiercely pushed that creature into the dead soul's evil lair inside the cave. Swoosh! The first body of the dead soul that was refined from the corpse refining pond had been pushed into the dead soul's evil lair. A sinister green halo expanded from the evil lair as its center, rippling out. The size of the evil lair doubled in just a blink. From outside the evil lair, it looked like numerous dark green tentacles were piercing into the dead soul body, transmitting the evil energy just like a drip feed. The dead soul body grew quickly. Immense green light shot out from the holes in its cheeks, as it gradually gained the size of an adult. Deep inside the dead soul's evil lair, a flow of green light zoomed over from a distant area, hitting the body instantly. The bizarre, cold eyes of the dead soul body became more evilly intimidating after the dead soul had entered it. A gloomy evil aura shot out from the evil lair. Crack crack. Crispy cracking sounds echoed from the evil lair. A dead soul body was occupied. It then struggled out of the evil lair and descended in the cave of Mount Heaven Whistle. Hundreds of dead souls surrounded the evil lair and cheered. Their sounds were sharp, their whistles seeming like thousands of ghosts crying miserably. An aura of resentment soared to the sky. Inside Mount Heaven Whistle, blocks of meat enlarged fast. Soon, another dead soul body was born. The first dead soul with its body got out of the evil lair, 
then walked to the pond in the cave. Countless green tentacles extended from its waist like worms, and pierced into the newborn dead soul bodies. Evil energy quickly poured into the newborn bodies, enlarging them. Not long afterward, excited high-level dead souls floating around all stormed over at the same time, choosing a body and entering their new hosts. Dead Soul Mountain Range It'd been half a month, but not many warriors and alchemists left the place because of the Dead Soul event. They decided to stay and cultivate. However, some of them started to disappear into thin air. During half a month, hundreds of warriors, alchemists and blacksmiths seemed to evaporate. Some people had taken risks intruding the Dead Soul mountain range to hunt the Dead Souls and harvest the treasures from the Dead Souls' evil lairs. They all disappeared one by one. Have you heard the news of Zhang Yu and his team? They were operating in the east of Mount Heaven Whistle. It's been seven days, and they haven't returned yet. I heard that not only Zhang Yu, but also a group of members of the Radiant God cult led by a First Sky of Spirit Realm expert went missing. No one can contact them. My master told me that many of the alchemists and blacksmiths living in some mountains have gone missing. A group of warriors was discussing quietly in a shop in the Spirit Potion Valley with frightened faces. The same discussions were repeated in some corners of the Precious Tool Valley and the Spirit Potion Valley. Recently, warriors, alchemists, and blacksmiths had gone missing continually. The others couldn't contact them using the sound stone, and no one found them either. The anomaly of the Dead Soul mountain range became more terrible at this moment. Some people who had intended to wait and watch the change in silence started to leave the place at their fastest speed. Some of the ones who decided to leave vanished even before they could get out of the Dead Soul mountain range. The news of their missing status came to the Precious Tool Valley and the Spirit Potion Valley, which made the ones who hadn't left yet scared, giving up the thought of running away in their heads. The situation became grimmer day by day. Li Zhengrong the blacksmiths of the Precious Tool Valley, together with the experts from the Pure Land, the Radiant God Cult, and the Devil Valley discussed daily to identify the news of new missing people. These days, according to the statistics of the Spirit Hall and Tool Hall, at least 700 warriors went missing. Warriors living in the two valleys all felt insecure. Li Zhengrong was so busy, and was even having a serious headache. When he went out searching for the dead souls, he didn't dare to go alone, and often departed with hot shots of the Tool Hall. It was unknown why when his group came out searching in the regions of the Dead Soul Mountain Range, they usually didn't find anything abnormal. Even a single dead soul was hard to see. This doesn't fit the common sense. Before the dead souls had the anomaly, they could easily meet the dead souls near the area of the evil lairs. It was impossible that they couldn't find even a single dead soul for several days. After the dead souls had some big changes, according to normal sense, this should be the time the dead souls operated more crowdedly, and slaughter everywhere. After several failed searching missions, Li Zhengrong and his group became more panic-stricken. People still kept going missing mysteriously. This situation hadn't stopped yet. Gradually, Li Zhengrong recognized a fact he found it hard to accept. It wasn't true that the dead souls had stopped all of their operations. They were still slaughtering everywhere else. The reason why they hadn't met them was that the dead souls had sensed their presence and missions beforehand to stay away before they reached the area. Also, this meant the dead souls hadn't gathered enough power. They understood that they didn't have sufficient force to battle with the human warriors. So, they were hiding and waiting for the chance to snatch other groups of human warriors. After he'd confirmed this finding, Li Zhengrong and the blacksmiths of the Tool Hall started to feel scared, as their worries about the dead souls swelled up in their hearts. The Spirit Potion Valley and the Precious Tool Valley were sealed up. To prevent more warriors from going missing when they went out, the Tool Hall and the Spirit Hall had announced the common curfew. Whoever was staying in the Spirit Potion Valley and the Precious Tool Valley had to stay inside, as they weren't allowed to go out of the valleys. Once a warrior's soul was eroded, he would become a newly dead soul, and be a part of the dead soul's formidable force. To prevent the dead souls from being stronger, 
Li Zhengrong and his group had to set up this poor plan. They were now guarding the precious Tool Valley and the Spirit Potion Valley, as they were waiting for a face-to-face -face battle with the dead souls. In fact, even if they didn't set up the curfew, no one had such big guts to go out. When the news of the searching teams going missing mysteriously was leaked, the warriors living in the two valleys finally recognized the dangerous situation. Everybody feared death. When they found out that the experts stronger than them had disappeared after leaving no trace, they became more well-behaved. At the same time, the Spirit Hall and the Tool Hall had sent the message to the warriors cultivating in the surrounding mountains, asking them to come to the valley quickly. The ones they couldn't contact, they couldn't do anything more for them. At the same time, after the Pure Land, the Radiant God Cult, and the Devil Valley sent their elders to the site, they couldn't help but pay more attention to the moves of the Dead Soul mountain range tightly. Some said that true God Realm warriors of these three factions had gradually come back from their secluding cultivation. They would hurry to the Dead Soul mountain range soon. All of a sudden, the Dead Soul mountain range had become the focus of the entire Divine Great Land. After the ancient factions got the information of the anomaly in the Dead Soul mountain range, they all used their ways to collect the news from there. The Ice Emperor City Bing Ching Tong, Shuang Ziyuzhu, Lang Dan Qing, and Han Kui had been cultivating in the bone-chilling ice chamber. When they woke up from their cultivation, Bing Ching Tong received the news from the General Union. Her smile ceased. Sister, what's up? Han Kui let out a light laughter. Her beautiful eyes brightened, as the cold aura ameliorated her shining smile with an outstanding bearing. There's a big change in the Dead Soul mountain range. According to the General Union, it's a big calamity. Bing Ching Tong narrated the news she received in detail. After the bad experience with Yu Li Ming and Ning Du Chuan, the bond between the four sisters had restored. They had no grudges now. They had spent time together to cultivate in the ice chamber. Both their realms and ice jade technique were improving fast. At the moment, Bing Ching Tong seemed to have entered the peak of the spirit realm. Han Kui had a significant improvement as well. Furthermore, Shuang Yuzhu and Lang Danqing now could urge their ice jade technique more fluently. After they had a notable increase in their realms, the general union showed them a better attitude, much better than before. When they received the news of the Divine Great Land, they would immediately send to the women here. Ning Du Chuan actually wanted to trouble them more. But when he knew that the women's realms had been much improved, he couldn't help but give up his attempt, washing away the thought of declaring war. The Ice Emperor city had changed. Didn't that bastard go to the Dead Soul mountain range? With his speed, he should be there already. What should we do? Han Kui was scared. She shot up from her seat, her face worried. Shuang Yuzhu and Lang Danqing slammed their brows together. We should go and look for him, Lang Danqing stood up, her face agitated. No, Bing Ching Tong shook her head, the situation of the Dead Soul Mountain range is much complicated now. We can't get there on time. With his capacity, Shi Yan can protect himself. We shouldn't worry about him that much. We'd better keep an eye on the information. I think he would be okay. Anyways, even Ning Du Chuan had no way to catch him. If it isn't a true God Realm warrior, I think he will be alright. Hearing Bing Ching Tong say so, Shuang Yuzhu and Lang Danqing contemplated, then nodded. However, they still wore anxious faces. Precious Tool Valley Lin Yuqi approached a house which was specialized in offering quiet chambers for warriors to cultivate. She didn't keep the smiling face as usual, frowning while quietly walking to a gravitational room. She called with a low tone, Shi Yan, open up. I have something I want to tell you. Let me in. Quickly. Chapter 544, Provoking Shi Yan's face was thin and pale. There was no light in his eyes when he woke up in the gravitational chamber. He had only one bottle of soul-restoring pellet left from the three bottles he had received. However, 
his understanding of the teleportation formation had just crossed the threshold. At this speed, it wouldn't take long for him to comprehend the subtle features of the teleportation formation thoroughly. The rapid draining of soul consciousness every time he was in that strange world scared him. Although he had the soul restoring pellet, every time he got in that world, it took him three days to recover his soul consciousness. Seeing that he was about to use up the soul restoring pellet, he started to think about the supply one more time. At that moment, the stony door of the gravitational chamber was banged loudly. Lin Yaki's anxious voice still arose. He pulled himself together, got up, and then opened the door to let her in. He frowned, What do you come here for? You're here, indeed. Lin Yaqi exhaled, then observed the gravitation room. Then, she said, the Dead Soul Mountain range is really dangerous at this moment. I'm worried that you didn't know the situation clearly and have left the valley. I am here to notify you. Then, Lin Yaqi told him in detail the situation of the Dead Soul Mountain range. When he heard that more and more warriors went missing every day, Shi Yan was scared. While he was unconscious, the situation of the Dead Soul Mountain range had turned bad. I will not leave for the time being. Don't worry. Oh yeah, do you have the pellets to restore soul consciousness? If you have, give me some. We can deal the price. Shi Yan poured out some soul restoring pellet from the storage ring and took them in all. While he was sensing his soul consciousness being restored a bit, his face looked a bit satisfied. If you don't leave the valley, why do you need the pellets? Lin Yaki's eyes were suspicious. She scrutinized him from left to right, then asked all of a sudden. Are you practicing some techniques that depend on the soul consciousness? No. I know it. Only the seven ancient factions know how to cultivate the techniques using soul consciousness. Even my teacher doesn't know these techniques. These techniques are too scarce. The ones who know them are as rare as phoenix feather or unicorn horn. If you know how to cultivate your soul consciousness, you don't need many pellets to restore it. Shi Yan's eyes lit up. The technique to cultivate the soul consciousness? The soul consciousness was the most basic treasure trove. A strong soul consciousness gave way to a strong host soul. The stronger the soul consciousness was, the more sensitive the sensing was. To the alchemists and the blacksmiths, the soul consciousness was an important matter. On their way practicing refining medicine and forging weapons, if their soul consciousness was strong and keen enough, when they refined things, they could control the aura of heaven and earth better, and the formation or the spell they carved on their products would be more exquisite. Their speed was also strengthened overall. Cultivating the soul consciousness could give the host soul a big space. The soul consciousness was really magical. The more it was refined, the better it would be when the warrior urged his power. When Shi Yan was in the quiet cloudland and endless sea, he had never heard about a technique specialized in cultivating the soul consciousness. Their soul consciousness could only grow after they had broken through a new realm. Hearing this from Lin Ya Qi, he was overjoyed. To understand the mysteries of the teleportation formation in the blacksmith's secrets of success thoroughly, he had to consume his soul consciousness continually. If he had the technique to cultivate the soul consciousness, it wouldn't take much of his effort when comprehending the teleportation formation. At the same time, refining and condensing the essence of the soul consciousness also had a big impact on his martial arts. In the Divine Great Land, do only the seven ancient factions have the techniques to cultivate the soul consciousness? Shi Yan was moved. He didn't conceal, asking directly. Does anyone sell this kind of techniques? No, Lin Ya Qi shook her head, besides the seven ancient factions, there are some mysterious experts who know how to cultivate the soul consciousness. However, finding them is harder than finding the seven ancient factions. You shouldn't think about it much. Shi Yan didn't speak, but was contacting the Ice Cold Flame. The Ice Cold Flame had had several masters, and each one of them was a genius. They were the peak realm experts, or the blacksmith at a far-reaching level.
These kinds of characters could know how to train their soul consciousness hopefully. When the ice cold flame was integrated fully with its master, although it would be limited, once the master died, it could gain all the hidden and mysterious memories of its master. Shi Yan thought that perhaps the ice cold flame knew something. No. If I knew it, I would have told you already the first time you tried to access the blacksmith's secrets of success. My previous masters had only focused on their powers. They didn't put much effort into training soul consciousness and the host soul. So, I can't help you, the ice cold flame replied shortly. Shi Yan cut the connection with the flame, his face disappointed. He closed his eyes to contemplate for a while, then spoke to Lin Ya Chi, OK. So, do you have the pellets or medicines that can recover the soul consciousness? I have the original soul pellet. It's much more precious than your soul restoring pellet. I can give you two bottles. Each bottle has 50 pills. One original soul pellet is more effective than 20 soul restoring pellets. Lin Ya Chi chuckled, explaining the differences between the two pellets. The soul restoring pellet can only restore the consumed soul consciousness. However, not only can my original soul pellet recover the soul consciousness fast, but also help it increase. My teacher's an alchemist. Even though he doesn't know how to train the soul consciousness, he has used the pellets to improve his soul consciousness. Of course, pellets are just medicines, they aren't specialized techniques. The improvement made by the pellets is limited. Normally, a warrior can use only three bottles of the original soul pellet to strengthen his soul consciousness. After that, even if he uses more pellets, he can't make it progress further. At that time, it can only be used as a pellet to restore the consumed soul consciousness. Of course, its recovering speed is much faster than the soul restoring pellets. Shi Yan's eyes brightened. How many essence chi crystals do you want? I don't need the essence chi crystals, Lin Ya Chi smiled like a little fox, squinting her eyes. You help me with this stuff, and I'll give you two bottles for free. What stuff? Shi Yan was quite alert. I have to say that although I need the original soul pellet, I won't waste a lot of my strength for you. Help me teach someone a lesson. As long as you can satisfy me, besides these two bottles, I can find two more for you. How does it sound? Who? Some jerks of the pure land, the radiant god cult, and the devil valley. Lin Ya Chi gritted her teeth, her eyes sparkling with resentment. These years, those assholes have often bullied me. Although I'm a warrior, my master has grounded me and asked me to study the spiritual formations for refining medicine. I don't have enough strength, so I'm not their opponent. Pure Land, Radiant God Cult, and Devil Valley were the three forces with their names spreading throughout the entire Divine Great Land. Normal, people felt scared whenever they heard these names. In the whole Divine Great Land, the powers of the seven ancient factions had been stood firm for tens of thousands of years. With their profound history, people found it hard to estimate their internal resources. A generation of successors nurtured by the seven ancient factions, no matter it was in terms of the techniques, martial arts, experience, or treasures, they were always on top. These young people of the ancient faction were more powerful than the leaders of some small sects. And, they were all arrogant, swaggering around the divine great land with no fear in their hearts. You want me to offend these three forces at the same time? Shi Yan beamed a forced smile as he suddenly had a headache. If you don't dare, I'll keep my original soul pellets, snorted Lin Ya Chi. Recently, it's like finding the needle in a haystack when you want to find the restoring soul medicine in the spirit potion valley. Unless you snatch from someone, don't think about using a higher price to buy the medicines. Of course, I know that you have the guts to mess up with other people. Perhaps you will use force to take them. But if you do so, you'll be the common enemy of the whole Spirit Potion Valley and the Precious Tool Valley. Currently, people in the Dead Soul Mountain Range were flustered. Under the arrangement of the Spirit Hall and the Tool Hall, many warriors had gathered. 
If someone started to slaughter the warriors, of course, it would enrage the hot shots here. At the moment, besides the sacred level alchemists and blacksmiths in the two valleys, there were spirit realm elders from the pure land, the radiant god cult, and the devil valley staying in the spirit potion valley and the precious tool valley. Even if Shi Yan were more confident, provoking the patience of all warriors in the two valleys was an unwise move. You think about it, Lin Ya Chi smiled, looking at him without any hurry. Cold light flashed across Shi Yan's eyes. He kept silent for a long while, then lifted his head to talk to her. What cultivation base do they have? Around the peak of Sky Realm, I assume. Not much different from yours, Lin Ya Chi smiled at him tenderly. Little Yan, I know you're at the peak of Sky Realm, too. But your real competence is more tremendous than theirs. I believe that those jerks from the Pure Land, the Radiant God Cult, and the Devil Valley aren't your match. Don't worry, I'm not going to ask you to provoke the freaks at Spirit Realm. Hee <laughs> hee. Deal. Shi Yan suddenly shot up from this seat, extending one hand to the girl. First, give me two bottles of the original soul pellet. Wait until I restore my soul consciousness. I'm going there to help you. Deal. Lin Ya Chi was frank enough, and immediately gave him two green bottles. Use warm water to take the pellet. Once it gets in your stomach, you should urge the medicinal efficacy to enter your soul consciousness. Then, you'll know what to do next. I'm waiting for you in the gravitational room. Ten pellets are enough to supplement all of your consumed soul consciousness. Shi Yan received the bottle, taking out ten pills. Then, he took out a jade china bowl from the storage ring. A fire sparked from his fingertip and shortly, the water in the jade bowl became boiling hot. Shi Yan swallowed the original soul pellets with hot water. He then sat down in front of Lin Ya Chi and started his recovery. Where's that little girl? Outside a manor, how high of the Devil Valley asked while caressing a dragon-shaped jade pendant, his eyes cold, raking around the place. She got in. Emerald jade silky fibers shot out from Ming Mei's slender fingers. They flew one round around the manor, which helped her confirm the information. The medicine she sold me last time had poison in it. After I took it, I almost fell into bedevilment. How high gritted his teeth. That girl's eviler than warriors cultivating demonic methods like us. If I didn't react fast, not to mention breaking through the new realm, my cultivation base would have decreased. That damn little girl, even if Li Zhengrong protects her, I still have to give her a lesson. You deserve that. Ming Mei laughed cheerily. Her graceful body swayed on the spot, with green waves lingering on her body. Well, I had quietly sent my signals to you, but you didn't care. You only wanted to tease her. If you didn't want her, why would she always sells medicine blended with poison to you? Harumph! I'm willing to be poisoned rather than messing up with you. How has face became colder? I don't want to die without a known reason. Then, how high took a deep breath, entering the manor Linya she had gotten in. Chapter 545, Cousin The original soul pellet was much more effective than the soul-restoring pellet indeed. After he swallowed ten pills, they turned into a warm current, flowing toward his sea of consciousness. The sea of consciousness seemed like it was watered with a fluid of growth, being restored rapidly. The consumed soul consciousness had been supplemented quickly under the magical effect of this warm current. When using the soul restoring pellet to recover the consumed soul consciousness, it required more than half a day. However, the original soul pellet needed only 15 minutes. His soul consciousness was recovered. After sensing it, Shi Yan could confirm that if he had more original soul pellets, after his soul consciousness was restored, it would enlarge a little bit more. However, Lin Ya Chi didn't give him more time. As soon as his soul consciousness had been restored, Lin Ya Chi immediately screamed out, calling him to get out of the gravitational room and take revenge for her. Xin Yan was in high spirits, narrowing his eyes. Cold light sparkled in his pupils, 
while he curled his lips. No need to bother, they've come for you already. Lin Yachi smile froze as she snorted. That quick? Seems like they always keep an eye on me. Those jerks do have bad thoughts. Indeed, none of them are nice. Shi Yan stood up, facing Lin Yachi. He then took off his dirty greenish-gray warrior clothes and changed into a pure black one. Adjusting his collar, Shi Yan kicked the door open and strode out. Outside the room, Hao Hai and Ming Mei stood there with their electric sharp eyes and deep, gloomy aura. Third Sky of Sky Realm Shi Yan's eyes lit up. Just at first glance, he recognized their cultivation base precisely. Hao Hai and Ming Mei were wearing silvery a grey armor and scarlet armor respectively. Their precious armors covered half of their bodies, and light sparkled shiningly from their arms and knees. Vaguely, people could see energy fluctuations from these spots. There were some sorts of strange and evil formations carved on their armors, which could gather the heaven and earth chi. Although the two stood still, heaven and earth chi in the surroundings gathered proactively towards them, entering the formation on their armors and getting absorbed into their bodies. This supported them to condense the essence chi at any minute. They both wore storage rings and another five-colored ring on their fingers. These rings shimmered with tender, translucent halo, which indicated that they weren't just normal items. Worth their identity, the successors of the ancient factions. Shi Yan complimented them in his head. Their clothing, accessories, the storage rings, and the rings on their arms were most likely all priceless items. They should have some special effects that could enhance their strength while fighting. The third sky of Sky Realm cultivation base of these two people was full of the aura of the ancient era. Their essence chi was pure, which was obviously higher than the ordinary third sky of Sky Realm warriors. While his eyes were raking through Hao Hai and Ming Mei, the other two were observing him too. A jet black warrior cloth covered a muscular body with a cold attitude. His long black hair draped over his shoulders. His eyes were like two stars shining and oppressing people's minds. Hao Hai and Ming Mei were shaken inside, but still kept their faces stiff. They could feel the brutal aura exuded from Shi Yan while his breath was filled with clear murderous intention. Not a soft persimmon. Not the type of person that could be bullied easily tl. Just at first glance, Hao Hai and Ming Mei understood something. They then could see the fear deep in each other's eyes. The murderous aura couldn't be gained through cultivation. A warrior could only obtain it from fatal fights and slaughter, in which he had to kill many other warriors. If others sensed them carefully, they could see the murderous aura on Hao Hai and Ming Mei too. However, it was much less than Shi Yan's. Who was this man? Hao Hai and Ming Mei exchanged looks, their hearts filled with surprise while they were searching for the identity of young and outstanding men in the divine great land in their heads. Names of prominent young men crossed their minds fast. Shaking his head, Hao Hai realized that none of the outstanding young men in the divine great land matched with the bearing Shi Yan had. Lin Yachi let out a light chuckle. She slowly strolled out of the gravitation room, throwing a glance at how high. Her beautiful eyes showed her disdain towards the young man. She snorted and said impatiently, You come here again. For what? How high was enraged. A cold light slowly crossed his phoenix eyes that could scare people. The pellet you sold me contained an extreme poison. I almost fell in bewilderment. You tell me what I come for. Ah, Lin Yachi didn't change her face. On the contrary, she giggled. When I gave it to you, didn't I remind you that I didn't refine it? I remember I told you that already. Remembering it or not, it's your responsibility. An interesting smile hung on Ming Mei's face as she was retreating her graceful body, keeping a distance with Hao Hai. Then, she spoke mildly, Ya Chi Mei Mei, I'm here just to watch the fun. You don't need to be bothered with me. Lin Ya Qi face was cold. She snorted and muttered something under her breath, as if she was cursing someone else. Turns out I can't reason with you, how high wasn't angry. He seemed to be calmer, nodded as he said, 
give me back the materials I've given you to refine pellets. Or, give me the real pellets. Otherwise, I won't let this slip away. Regarding me getting poisoned, as long as you apologize, I won't trouble you more to give old Lee face. In your dreams, Lin Yachi cracked a mocking smile, her face full of disdain. How Ha's countenance became tenser. He took a deep breath. The ring on his arm had many black fibers which looked like seaweed in the deep ocean, extending and winding around both of his arms. Those black fibers were moving with some mysterious trajectory, forming tiny but dense demonic patterns on his arms. After the patterns were formed, they started to absorb the essence qi in his body. The black, fine fibers forming the patterns became more exquisite after receiving the essence qi. Now, they looked like the shiny long black hair. Sizzle sizzle sizzle. Strange sounds echoed from his armor, as energy fluctuations expanded everywhere. Heaven and earth qi was suddenly restrained. The overflowing rich heaven and earth aura seemed to be separated by an invisible barrier. Not only the space surrounding them, but also the heaven and earth aura surrounding Shi Yan and Lin Ya Qi were cut off. A space twisting energy appeared next to Hao Hai. Space then started to crumple as if it were about to collapse, giving people a strange feeling of shrinking. Trace of grudge sparkled in Lin Ya Qi eyes. She stepped backward quietly until she reached the door of the gravitation room. Then, she smiled, pointing at Shi Yan. This is my cousin. He said that, as long as he's here, no one can bully me anymore. Cousin? How Hai and Ming Mei were suspicious. Since when did she have a cousin? As they were all the young talents of the Divine Great Land, it wasn't the first time How Hai and Ming Mei visited the Dead Soul Mountain Range, or the first time they had contacted Lin Ya Qi. They knew that Li Zhengrong's two disciples were both orphans, whom Li Zhengrong had been taken care of since they were little. How could an orphan have a cousin all of a sudden? Well, nowadays, cousins are things we can't clarify. The one I love, I could call him cousin too. Ha <laughs> ha. Ming Mei beamed a tender smile, looking at Shi Yan and Lin Ya Qi with dark thoughts showing on her face. How Hai got it, as his face turned colder. He liked Lin Ya Qi, and Ming Mei knew that well. He was still suspicious, but after Ming Mei stirred up the matter, he got it immediately. B asterisk TCH. Lin Ya Qi glared at Ming Mei with hostility as she was cursing the girl in her head. Actually, she had mouthed the word, but she didn't make a sound. Lin Ya Qi wasn't an idiot. She understood that Ming Mei burned it up on purpose. The relationship between Lin Ya Qi and Hao Hai used to be a bit harmonious. If Ming Mei hadn't added things at the wrong timing, which provoked Hao Ha's mood, Hao Hai wouldn't have misbehaved with her. It would not accelerate to a violent dispute like right now. The hatred she had for Ming Mei was deeper than what she felt for Hao Hai. If it weren't that Ming Mei was more dangerous than Hao Hai, she would have taken action against that woman earlier. Cousin, they want to bully me, Lin Ya Qi called out with her soft voice and innocent appearance. She pointed at Ming Mei and Hao Hai. These two aren't good people. They harm other people daily. Well, especially the one who always pours oil into fire, I think she regrets that she can't kill some girls who are more beautiful than her. Well, you know. That sort of people are the most disgusting ones. Ming Mei's pupil shrank. She curled her lips and snorted. Are you talking about me? Women always cared about their appearances, especially pretty women. Lin Ya keywords, of course, got the other girl on her nerves. Nah, how dare I talk about you? Everybody knows that you are the most beautiful woman. Ming Mei, yeah, right. You are so beautiful, Lin Ya Qi mocked with a cold face. Ming Mei let out a light chuckle, but her eyes shimmered with cold light. She was a bit gloomy as she was looking at the other girl, seeming to be thoroughly provoked. Do you want to interfere in others' business? Although Hao Hai was enraged, he still had his clear mind. He could recognize that Shi Yan wasn't just an ordinary man. I will not interfere in others' business. Smiled Shi Yan. 
Hao Hai relaxed his stiff face, while Lin Yichi got angry, rolling her eyes at him. Ming Mei found it interesting, chuckling and looking at him. It's my cousin's business, how I can consider it other people's business. Shi Yan smiled faintly. He stood upright and curled his lips, his manners as sharp as a knife when he shouted, Stop babbling. If you want to fight, move your a asterisk s. I don't have much time for you. In that fraction of time, the indignant feature on Lin Yichi's face vanished. She smiled cheerily until her body shook. I knew it. My cousin likes me the most. Shi Yan felt his hair raising as he beamed a forced smile in his heart. However, he still appeared cold as usual. How high was enraged? Cold light sparked like electric currents in his eyes. The aura on him became more murderous, but his face was getting calmer. Brilliant hotshot! Shi Yan exclaimed in his head. It was the first time he showed his serious countenance. Now he knew that the young generation nurtured by the seven ancient factions were really tough to deal with. During a fight, the more one got angry, the more chances one had to fall into the disadvantaged circumstances. When the hot shots fought, they competed each other in aura, mood, experience, and intelligence. During a battle, if the opponent could control the mood, one's aura would change accordingly, which would affect the whole picture of the battle. When a warrior had rage affecting his mind, he couldn't react with clarity. Losing the mind meant losing the grasp of the whole situation. Right before the fight, how high could restore his sound mind, which was what a typical hotshot would do. I don't care if you're her cousin or not. Frankly speaking, you irritate me. If I don't feel good, you shouldn't expect to feel good either. How high gave him a faint smile, his face calm and relaxed. However, his aura became more dangerous. Replying to how high, three words came from Shi Yan's side, come beat me. All of a sudden, how high moved like a thunderbolt tearing the sky. Strong, determined, evil, and brutal. Chapter 546, One Strike to Rout How high moved slightly. The demonic patterns on his arms shot out countless black lightning bolts, looking extremely fearsome. The smell of blood exuded from his armor, shining with a cold light that could make people shiver. Those beams of light poured into his palms as strong as a rising rainbow. Two spheres of black energy were spinning in his palms, as big as a grinder. They looked malicious and brutal, full of a murderous aura. Demon electricity was activated. This was a killing strike of how high. If everything was smooth enough, he could use one strike to rout the enemy. Ming Mei smiled brightly. But her eyes were as cold as ice, gazing at Shi Yan while waiting to see him be wounded badly. Hao Hai had been practicing this strike for really long time. He had learned it from watching the ghost bloody dance in the ghost bloody cave in the Devil Valley. When added with the demon electric power from the demonic patterns, all the elders in the Devil Valley had to admire this strike of his. Ming Mei knew the power of this strike. She understood well that if Hao Hai weren't enraged completely, he would never use it in the first attack. Let's see what do you do to counter. Ming Mei sneered inside as she was thinking about what to do to provoke Lin Yichi after Shi Yan was defeated. Lin Yichi was also worried, her face anxious. She didn't expect that Hao Hai would use the killing strike straight up like that. Now, she regretted it that she didn't tell Shi Yan clearly how dangerous Hao Hai was. If she had told him, Shi Yan could have used all of his strength to counter right at the beginning. She thought Shi Yan would find it hard to parry the opponent now. Lin Yichi had heard Ye Chong Feng bragging about Shi Yan's skills many times, but she had never seen it with her own eyes. Thus, she still kept a suspicious attitude towards the man. Anyhow, Shi Yan came from the endless sea. She understood well that martial arts and endowment of the warriors there were far behind that of the warriors in the divine great land. How high came from the Devil Valley, the ruthless fellow that successfully walked out of the 36 terminating caves in the Devil Valley. Warriors in the Devil Valley had to compete with each other ruthlessly. The strong would win, and the weak had to accept their defeat. 
Disciples who could walk out of the Devil Valley had to step on countless bloody bodies after they had perceived some kinds of evil powers in 36 terminating caves. It was no exception that all disciples who could escape the Devil Valley became the objects to receive the intensive training from the Devil Valley. And, in the future, they would become the key persons of the Devil Valley, too. The 36 terminating caves of the Devil Valley hid danger at every step. Bodies and bones of losers filled the place, while some sorts of evil powers hovered everywhere. Under such circumstances, if a warrior wanted to survive, he had to deal with something much more dangerous than fighting with the experts. It could be said that the area was hell where devils dwelt. How high was among the warriors who had successfully proven himself? Swoosh swoosh swoosh. Demon electric currents shot like shuttles moving back and forth weaving a shield without the smallest split that could cover both the sky and earth. The shield was stretching from above. Linya Keyheart felt like being hung tightly. However, Shi Yan stood still like a ten thousand years old mountain. His eyes were cold and brutal, indifferently watching the intertwining demon electric currents slowly descending like a bunch of snakes from the sky. The corner of Hao Ha's mouth hung a cold smile. That man was done. If the torrential demon electric currents covered him entirely, among the same level warriors, no one could successfully escape this strike. They could only be eroded bit by bit. How high was confident. However, at this moment, numerous palm leaf fan imprints appeared in the air. Shi Yan's figure faded, and then divided. Shortly, there were ten Shi Yan, each of them looking cold and ruthless their eyes fierce with torrential fighting will. Phantom change. Thousand-handed change. Countless hand imprints as big as a small mountain piled up in the void rumblingly attacking every corner. Boom boom boom. They then saw the demon electric currents how high had released being smashed instantly. Numerous black electric currents were destroyed with a smack. Ten Shi Yan piled up on each other, moving fast. The hand imprints became thicker in the sky, just like a shower of leaves covering the whole space. Rumble rumble rumble. Cripsy explosions reverberated, as the space between the two of them exploded with an ear-splitting thunder. A burning smell spread out in the air. The ground under Shi Yan's feet cracked, as green stones scattered here and there. The training courts around were slightly shaking, while the tiles on their roofs flew randomly. Shortly the phantoms in the sky retreated. The hand imprints faded out like vanishing shadows until they disappeared completely. Dust settled. The chaotic situation calmed down, and the field revealed little by little. Oh! Ming Mei covered her mouth, her visage frightened. Her eyes bulged as if they were about to fall off her sockets. Lin Ya Chi was struck. She burst out laughing as she was overjoyed. Surrounded by debris, Shi Yan stood still at his spot as if he had never moved. His face was as cold as usual. How Hai was covered in blood, trembling and about to collapse. His face was gloomy and sinister. Two trickles of dark blood dripped down on his face that he couldn't control. It seemed like he got beaten by many people. His clothes were pieces of rags, and his armor was broken. The demon patterns on his arms dimmed, no more light sparkled or any torrential energy that surged. Bruises of hand imprints appeared on his chest, arms, and abdomen, which left deep concaves on his body. How high trembled, and then fell. The vicious light in his eyes dimmed as he fainted. Ming Mei changed her visage, flew over and grabbed him. She lifted her head, fear crossing her eyes briefly before disappearing. She put How high on her shoulder and then moved swiftly, running away from the scene. Warriors who were cultivating in the training courts near there craned their necks from the doors and watched the scene with astonishment. Lin Ya Chi wore a smiling face as if she had won a big prize. She kept giggling as she was happier than ever before. For four bottles of the original soul pellet, I'll help you deal with four people. He's the first one. Shi Yan frowned, throwing a glance at Lin Ya Chi as he notified the girl. He didn't mind the surrounding warriors watching them, getting back to his gravitational room. Lin Ya Chi arched the end of her brows and smiled until her eyes squinted, 
looking at the general direction where Ming Mei had left. After a while, she walked into the gravitational room with satisfaction. Spirit Potion Valley In a building exclusively for the people from the Devil Valley, Feng Biao was toying with the original demon beat in his hands while explaining the characteristics of the dead souls. Feng Biao was a third sky of spirit realm warrior, an elder of the Devil Valley in the Divine Great Land. He was also a famous brutal character. Lining in front of him were five young people. They were all wearing gorgeous attires, but their aura were gloomy and eccentric. Their faces were stubborn as they were listening to the older man impatiently. These five young people were the hot shots of the Devil Valley who came out from the 36 terminating caves. Four of them were at the peak of Sky Realm, while the fifth one was a handsome young man who surprisingly was at the first Sky of Spirit Realm. Lai Feng was the most famous young expert of the Devil Valley. He had reached the Spirit Realm when he was 30 years old. Since he was 10 years old, he had been training in the 36 terminating caves, killing many people. He had a pair of silver eyes and grey hair. Everybody was afraid of him. Although Feng Biao was the elder of the Devil Valley, Lai Feng apparently didn't respect him. His face showed that he didn't care. He was the devil kind who had a greater chance to grasp the top power of the Devil Valley in the future. Although his position was low, he was extremely ominous. Young people in his generation only submitted to him. If they didn't obey his order, it would be much more terrible than going against their teacher. His authority stemmed from the 36 terminating caves. Each generation of brilliant warriors who had been cultivated in the terminating caves in the Devil Valley together with him and could get out of that evil place with him all submitted to him. If they didn't follow him, he would keep them in the caves forever. Lai Feng leaned against the wall. It seemed like he was about to doze off at any minutes, his face idle. Feng Biao clenched his jaw. While he was lecturing about the dead soul's characteristics, Lai Feng obviously didn't pay attention to him, which irritated him a lot. Although he didn't like it, Feng Biao didn't dare to show his real feelings. Lai Feng was too brutal and violent. Also, he was a devil kind. In the coming time, he would surely become the lord of the Devil Valley. If he created a grudge with Lai Feng now, his future wouldn't be so bright. He understood Lai Feng's characteristics pretty well. Thus, even if he felt more irritated, he wouldn't dare to expose it. Bang! The door was banged open. Feng Biao got enraged, shouting with his gloomy face. What are you doing? Ming Mei carried Hao Hai stormed into the room crying with her hoarse voice, Elder, please check how high. I'm afraid he can't endure any longer. That's why I had to rush. Both young and old men of the Devil Valley in the room changed their faces. Who did that? Feng Biao asked with a ferocious face as he instantly jumped to how high and checked his situation. He immediately put many pellets into his mouth and urgently helped him to swallow them. Then, he shouted coldly, wounded badly. If you didn't arrive on time, even if he could recover, he would still have an ailment that would be hard to treat thoroughly. Who did that? Ming Mei didn't dare to conceal. She hurried to tell them everything in detail. One on one? Normal battle? How high got screwed in just one strike? Feng Biao's face became darkened. He tried to press down his anger, asking through his gritted teeth. Ming Mei nodded. Who's willing to take back the face of our Devil Valley? Feng Biao took a deep breath, asking with a cold face. Since he dared to provoke us, no matter where he comes from, we need to use blood to teach him. Feng Biao raked through the people present in the room. Lai Feng pouted his lips, indicating that he wasn't interested in this case. Cheng Ji, you're one grade stronger than Hao Hai. You shall go. As Feng Biao saw Lai Feng's expression, he knew that the other wasn't just joking. So, he had to take a step back and ask the other to take this mission. Cheng Ji, a peak sky of Sky Realm, had trained in the 36 terminating caves with Hao Hai. He had visited 12's caves alone and got out wounded badly. He was one grade stronger than Hao Hai, 
and had gained more than what Hao Hai got from the terminating caves. In general, his competence was one level higher than Hao Has. Rubbing his nose, Cheng Ji knew that he couldn't dodge it. Well, Elder has assigned me, so I don't dare to go against you. I'm going now. Then, Cheng Ji didn't linger, strolling away towards the precious Tool Valley. He's just a kid at the Sky Realm. I'm not interested in him. Well, I want to meet him when he reaches the Spirit Realm. Li Feng's face was cold. He walked out of the room and said leisurely. I'm tired. I'm going to take rest. Call me if you need me. Hmm, yeah, if nothing's important, don't call me. My Demogorgon technique's about to have a breakthrough. Feng Biao hated him and feared him at the same time. He hated Li Feng's attitude, and was afraid of his understanding and tremendous potential. His Demogorgon technique was about to break through again? How long had it been? How did he train himself? Was he human? Feng Biao was startled. He was a hot-tempered person, but he didn't dare to vent out his anger in front of Li Feng. He tried to press down his anger. Waiting until Li Feng was gone, he threw an indignant look at the others and scolded. Why don't you try your best? Look at Li Feng, his Demogorgon technique is about to break through again. How about you guys? What are you waiting for? Move your A asterisk S. Train yourself more. The group of people who got blamed felt like they were amnestied, fleeing away. Only how high was left lying on the ground. That brat was so brutal. The spirit hall and the tool hall put a curfew on fighting, and he almost made how high bleed to death. Who is he after all? When all the people left the room, Feng Biao muttered to himself with a darkened face. Chapter 547, Comprehend His hollow soul was floating erratically in the blacksmith's secrets of success. The teleportation formation appeared with many large circles linked together. The outermost was made of crystal stone. In the spaces between the circles appeared the light condensed from some admixture, which could transmit the energy from the crystal stone. A circle of crystal stone paired up with a circle of supporting light. There were 66 circles, including 33 circles of crystal stones and 33 circles of auxiliary light that guided the energy of the crystal stones. In the center of the circles was a triangular sacrificial altar made of ethereal crystals, which had a mysterious, complicated formation. That formation was the essential key to the teleportation formation. This formation had many nodes and rays connected with each other to gather the power of the ethereal crystal at one spot. Rings of energy from the crystal stone around would urge and lead the energy from the ethereal crystal to create the instant space change, which was the teleportation effect. There weren't many different arrangements between the 66 circles of crystal stones and auxiliary light. He only needed to pay attention to their locations, the size of the crystal stone to be inlaid and the condensing characteristics of the rings of auxiliary light. The most difficult arrangement was the sacrificial altar, which was made of the ethereal crystal. To be exact, the complicated thing was the formation carved on the altar. Countless nodes of the formation looked like the starry night. Each node held the energy of the ethereal crystal, and there needed to be a precise distance between two nodes. However, the distances between the nodes weren't similar. Even if he wanted to learn by heart, it would cost much of his effort. The nodes were connected to each other using rays, which were the power of the soul consciousness. So, he had to urge his soul consciousness to join the nodes together. The hollow soul sank into the middle of the node to probe the ancient technique of the teleportation formation. Shi Yan was concentrating quietly to perceive the mysterious space of this formation. His soul consciousness drained rapidly. Phew! Shi Yan exhaled. When half of his soul consciousness had been consumed, Shi Yan opened his eyes. The teleportation formation was wide ranging and profound. While comprehending the formation, he vaguely felt that his host soul would sometimes have a resonance with the heaven and earth. His realm had a sign of breaking through again. He was at the peak of Sky Realm, 
and his pure essence qi in his body had been accumulated sufficiently a long time ago. Now, all he needed was a flash of recognition, and then he could make a big step further, entering the spirit realm. He got stuck at this pass. This time, while he was comprehending the teleportation formation, his realm was increased a little bit. Although this growth was slow, he could feel it earnestly. He had a feeling that when he could finally perceive the mysteries of the teleportation formation, it would be the moment he entered the spirit realm. Shi Yan took out five original soul pellets, closing his eyes to adjust his breathing. While his soul consciousness was being recovered, his mind was still tense, lingering at the previous location to learn and feel the mysterious features of the formation, quietly digging to its deepest layer. He had his own experience regarding the subtle, mysterious characteristics of the teleport formation. After each time he had accessed the blacksmith's secrets of success, while his soul consciousness was consumed rapidly, his realm was also increasing fast. The teleportation formation was some sort of a new Panishad that used the true meaning of the most mysterious power of the space. In the Sky Realm, breaking through a new realm would require the complete understanding of the powers of the Earth and Firmament. It didn't matter what type, but what mattered was the level of the comprehension. In the Divine Great Land, warriors at the Sky Realm could use different kinds of Upanishad to break through their Sky Realm. However, using the comprehension of the space power from the teleportation formation to break to the spirit realm was a precedent that no one had ever heard about. From sky realm to spirit realm, using the comprehension of the power, he could break through instantly with a wide-ranged growth. At that time, in the spirit realm, he could use the essence of the power's deep meaning at a profound level. In other words, if he used the mysteries of the teleportation formation to break through to spirit realm, Shortly, his understanding of space power would rocket to a high level. In spirit realm, space power could become a source of his powers. Perhaps it could be the main force, which had more room to grow further. Space power and time power, these two kinds of powers were always the rarest and the most difficult to master. Even in the divine great land, no one had ever heard that anyone could control these two powers. Blacksmiths had studied teleportation formation, but they didn't focus on increasing powers. When a blacksmith entered the spirit realm from sky realm, the power comprehension they would pay attention to was the deep meaning of fire. No matter they were blacksmiths or alchemists, fire was the most important partner in the future. Understanding the power of fire could determine the grade of the fiery flame in their bodies. The deeper understanding of fire powers they had, the stronger the flame in their body could become, which would help them refine higher graded weapons and medicine. Fire was the foundation of blacksmiths and alchemists. Even if the space power was miraculous, it wasn't much valuable to these refiners. Someone who knew the miraculous features of the space power but didn't master the teleportation formation must need a very particular situation to perceive this sort of power. This made many warriors who wanted to use the space power to improve furthermore from the sky realm find it impossible to enter that door. Thus, the possibilities that some peculiars could use the space power to enter the spirit realm were really rare. Anyway, Shi Yan was absolutely of a strange kind. The original soul pellet was worth the name of the sacred medicine that could restore the soul consciousness. Not long after that, his consumed soul consciousness had been almost fully recovered. Lin Yuqi held a smile on her face. She stood opposite to him, feeling so bored she had to watch things from here and there while toying with a refining formation in her hands. She often checked him. Having restored his sound mind, light sparked in his eyes strangely. Shi Yan woke up, throwing a glance at her leisurely. Your trouble comes again. Lin Yuqi wasn't scared but quite happy at the same time. She shot up from her seat while giggling. So good. I was so bored here. I was just hating it that they didn't come earlier. Shi Yan was surprised. He adjusted his clothes and then got up, pushing the stone door open. Cheng Ji was holding a narrow blue sword, which had the cloudy ghost and blood ghost coiled around the handle. These two strange creatures melted into the sword, revealing a deep blue of the ocean. Neat and eccentric, 
yin aura and murderous aura piled up, exuding an evil, bloodthirsty breath. Cheng Ji and Hao Hai were similar. They were both at the peak of Sky Realm. However, Chang Ji had better powers and treasures. Cheng Ji. Lin Yichi rolled her eyes while snarling, I don't think I have any grudge against you, right? Chang Ji had a thin and long face. His eyes weren't big, and he was wearing white clothes. He wasn't considered good looking, but his bearing was tender, which was much different from the others who came from the Devil Valley. Sorry. Elder Feng got angry, so he sent me here. Chang Ji held his fist, beaming a forced smile as if he had no other choice. I don't dare to not follow my teacher's order. Miss Lin, please forgive me. Hey brother, I'm here to discuss only. I don't want to risk my life with you. Don't treat me like you treated Hao Hai. Don't beat me to near death. That Feng Biao old fogey, he does like to hide his shortcomings. Lin Yichi snorted, then turned to Shi Yan. Cousin, how has Feng Biao's disciple? He has a deep relationship with him. Now that Hao Hai got hurt badly, of course, Feng Biao won't let it slip away. However, Cheng Ji isn't Feng Biao's disciple. He's just a Zhou. You have to control. Don't let him not be able to go back. Shi Yan's brows convulsed while he kept silent. He had used only one strike to beat Hao Hai, which was a lucky defeat. He was good at using wild energy impact. When his own power added up to the negative power, it was like finding the way to die if a warrior at the same level wanted to compete with him on using power. The strike Hao Hai used was to pile up energy, using the strongest power to kill him instantly as fast as thunder and lightning. Bumping into him, Hao Ha's method was the worst choice. Using power to resist power, under the circumstances that Shi Yan had used the formidable thousand hand change, his power from his body, and the negative power, along with his essence qi bursting out at the same time, Hao Hai had no way to counter it. He got hurt severely in that instant. It could only say that his fortune was really bad. Obviously, Chang Ji wasn't the same type of warrior as Hao Hai. Chang Ji's blue ghost sword had the cloudy ghost and the blood ghost. He could control the bloodthirsty and vicious aura, but he appeared as an elegant gentleman. People who didn't know him could think that this guy came from the pure land. His entire bearing gave people a vague feeling that they couldn't probe this man's identity. This man knew how to hide his breath. Possibly, he could drift and move swiftly. Facing this type of an opponent, the gravitational field was the best option. While Shi Yan kept silent, he had inaudibly built three gravitational fields that normal people couldn't see, arranging them on his sides and behind his back, leaving his front unshielded. If Chang Ji dashed towards him from the front, he wouldn't meet the gravitation field. In face-to-face -face fighting, Shi Yan wasn't afraid of anyone. If he used some kinds of swift moving techniques and attacked him from two sides or from the back, it would suit Shi Yan the most. Once he got into the gravitation field, if he hesitated for just a fraction of time, Shi Yan would give Chang Ji a defeat that was even worse than Hao Has. Please be merciful, Chang Ji held his fist. When his words faded, he disappeared. Shi Yan's face changed. Clenching his fists, his punches were like a mountain as they violently and arrogantly hit the ground. Boom! Rock chips and dust scattered. The ground now got a deep fist concave, which was eye-catching. A low shout arose from underground. Swoosh! A sword shimmered with gloomy blue light by the cloudy ghost, blood ghost, and a murderous aura slashed the ground, crossing the void. A cold blue light stabbed towards Shi Yan's chest. PFFF! A bloody flower bloomed on Qi Yan's chest as big as a thumb while blood gushed out like a stream. Lin Ya Qi was frightened, covering her mouth in fear. Too fast. As soon as Chang Ji disappeared, no one knew how he got underground that fast, which made all the gravitation fields Qi Yan had created fail. The sword light carried together with the Yin Qi and the blood aura that could pierce through any strong defense invincibly. 
people just saw the light flash and Qi Yan got hit. The wound had numerous beams of Yin Qi on its cut. The blood aura was like a spider fiber, eroding his vessels and tendons quickly. An aching and numb feeling spread out in his entire body. Poisonous aura. Shi Yan's face became darker. Chong Ji looked tender, but he turned out to be so vicious. This guy was good at ambushing with his hiding talent. He could kill people instantly within one strike, and even his weapons had poison on them. Chong Ji appeared friendly just to hide his instant kill strike. Shi Yan took a deep breath. He had gotten angry now. If he didn't have the petrification martial spirit, his chest would be bored under this attack. At that time, even if he didn't die, he would be hurt badly. Basically, Chong Ji didn't come here to discuss anything. This was using all deeds to ambush and kill him. Friend, you're evil enough. I got my lesson indeed. Shi Yan quickly gathered himself. His eyes flashed with cold light as he arched his brows. Come here, mate. Chapter 548, The Second Battle Ming Mei arrived again. Under a tree shade next to the gravitation chamber, she stood there with a contented, smiling face. She was so excited. Cheng Ji didn't fail her, indeed. He was worth the name of the warrior who understood ambushing the best in this generation. With only one strike, he had wounded Shi Yan severely. This would surely save the face of the Devil Valley. Warriors who were staying in the training courts near there showed up in silence. They were watching the fight there with great interest. Cheng Ji was the young expert of the new generation in the Devil Valley. Many people here knew him. They were boisterously discussing with each other and guessing when Shi Yan would lose his resistance. Lin Ya Qi was confused. She shouted, Cheng Ji is good at sneaking. Don't fall into his trap. Shi Yan curled his lips. His muscular body gradually floated until he was around 30 meters from the ground. He cocked his head to look down. Cheng Ji could hide himself underground. This variable was beyond his estimation, which made him pay a big price. If he didn't have a strong body, he would have lost within one strike. The Devil Valley was always the Devil Valley. The ones who came from the seven old factions weren't soft persimmons. The easy defeat of Hao Hai made him underestimate the others. However, through Cheng He's counterattack, he understood that he should never underrate the seven ancient factions, which had been standing firmly in the Divine Great Land for 10,000 years. Cheng Ji didn't hurry to attack him again as he was hiding underground. Releasing his soul consciousness, Shi Yan started to search underground, but he couldn't locate Cheng Ji's position. This man was truly a stealth assassin who was more dangerous than Hao Hai. Even under Shi Yan's sensing, he still could hide. Although his soul consciousness wasn't completely pure, the way he used to utilize his soul consciousness was much profound than ordinary warriors. This was thanks to the soul Upanishads of the Demonic Sound Clan. At that abandoned area, he had learned many special techniques using soul consciousness from the soul Upanishads of the Demonic Sound Clan. The soul searching technique was the secret soul technique of the Demonic Sound Clan. Using the soul consciousness as a net, it was extended to every direction, then slowly retreated to see any creatures in the coverage range of the soul consciousness. However, his soul-searching technique couldn't locate Cheng Ji. This meant this man had something special to hide his soul consciousness. Since he couldn't find Cheng Ji, he didn't hurry to take action, just waiting for Cheng Ji to show himself. Hot shots who were good at hiding his aura would not linger at one spot, they would always move. He understood that Cheng Ji wouldn't stop, but keep changing his location constantly while gathering energy to prepare for a deadlier strike. He's waiting. Indeed. Gloomy, dark shadows emerged one by one from the ground, as if they were sprouting, while a cold, bloodthirsty aura flooded the area instantly. Cloudy Ghost and Blood Ghost Among the devil breeds that were nurtured in the 36 terminating caves of the Devil Valley, the Yin Soul Thorn belonged to the Cloudy Ghost, and the Blood Sucking Remembrance was a skill of the Blood Ghost. They were both soul attack skills. 
creatures without a tangible body were always good at using soul. The cloudy ghost and the blood ghost weren't an exception. At that moment, a cloudy ghost and a blood ghost floated up, drifting in the void towards Shi Yan. Yin soul thorn and blood sucking remembrance from the cloudy ghosts and blood ghosts shot out towards his sea of consciousness all of a sudden in an attempt to disorder it instantly. What Cheng Ji needed was only an opportunity. Once Shi Yan's sea of consciousness became chaotic because of the Yin soul thorn and the blood sucking remembrance, Cheng Ji would attack Shi Yan with irresistible forces. Each cloudy ghost and blood ghost was like the ghost shadow. They were vague, floating everywhere. Smell of blood and yin aura filled the whole space. Shi Yan shivered, while his eyes showed that he was struggling. It's time. An electric current cracked the ground, thrusting towards Shi Yan. It was as fast and robust as a sharp knife. The cloudy ghosts and the blood ghosts swarmed over like a rising tide covering Shi Yan, tying his soul down. Cheng Ji's attack didn't stop, jabbing into Shi Yan's chest in just a blink. Lin Yachi felt like her heart was hung by a thread. She knew the situation was bad. At that instance, Shi Yan's dull pupils suddenly radiated with a glorious light, his face bright and shining. Flames like lotuses bloomed in the air dazzlingly and beautifully. However, they were scorching hot. Sizzle sizzle sizzle. Each cloudy ghost and blood ghost turned into smoke. After a wind blew by, they vanished into thin air. Shi Yan cracked a smile which was as sharp as a blade, cold and dangerous. Boom! The death and life seals were released, piling up. Death intent domain expanded, as the trees and grass in the manor started to shrivel and die. Cold light dots exploded like fireworks, flying everywhere like shattered stars in the sky. The death and life seals had many cold light dots. Under the death intent domain, the destructive power slaughtered and erased everything that was covered under that cold light. Cheng Ji was exposed. He was holding the blue demon sword, his face frightened as he was trying to retreat. Three gravitational fields combined into one, and activated at once, covering Cheng Ji entirely. Chaotic Essence Qi Cheng Ji seemed to see ghosts in daylight. His silhouette flickered in midair like a dying candle. Shwush. A ray entered the gravitational field, intruding Cheng Ji's body. Rumble rumble rumble. Crack crack crack. Cripsy explosions echoed continuously inside Cheng Ji's body, just like the fireworks getting ignited. Inside the gravitational field, Cheng Ji was rolling like a ball, his body covered in blood. Thud. Cheng Ji fell. His eyes were disordered, as he didn't have even a bit of energy. Half of the bones in his body were broken, and he was dying. Ming Mei was filled with fear. The second one. Light flashed as Shi Yan reappeared. He frowned at Lin Yachi and got back to the gravitational chamber. Lin Yachi dropped her jaw as she was struck, unable to understand anything. Cheng Ji was defeated like that? It was simply a bewildering defeat. No one knew what had happened. They only thought that Cheng Ji had made a big mistake during the battle and had lost the control of his body. Only Cheng Ji knew that he didn't make any mistake, but was dragged into a gravitation field that snatched the control of his body. However, he couldn't talk as he had fainted. Ming Mei fell into a deep fear. Seeing Shi Yan disappear into the room, she cried in panic, rolled her eyes at Lin Yachi and then carried Cheng Ji on her back, flying away. Cheng Ji was hurt badly, even worse than Hao Hai. Hao Hai had wounds on his skin and flesh, while Cheng Ji had his tendons and bones broken, which was really hard to treat. Spirit Potion Valley When Ming Mei dragged the dying Cheng Ji towards Feng Biao, Feng Biao was complete enraged. Cheng Ji's wounds were so severe that even if he could recover his bones, it would leave sequelae. Later on, it would be strenuous for him to reach the higher realms. He didn't have the immortal martial spirit after all. Feng Biao's face became more ferocious after sensing the young man for a while. Listening to Ming Mei narrating, he suddenly shouted, Lai Feng. Lai Feng walked in with a darkened face. 
he was about to burst out but when he glared at Cheng Ji, then exclaimed in fear. Do you need me to explain furthermore? Feng Biao grunted. Lai Feng nodded, answered him quietly, I got it. The relationship between him and Cheng Ji was really good. When they were in the 36 terminating caves, Cheng Ji was his most persistent little brother. He was also a rare good friend. Even if he didn't care about the prestige of the Devil Valley, since they were friends, he couldn't just stand and stare. I want him to die. Feng Biao clenched his jaw like a ferocious beast. You don't need to bother with the curfew by the Spirit Hall and Tool Hall. This time, I want to see his body. If any bad consequences happen, I will bear them all. Lai Feng's red tongue moistened his lips. His narrow eyes were like those of a poisonous snake. Relax. I'll drag his body here. After saying that, Lai Feng disappeared like a gust of wind. Ming Mei was struck, chasing after him with astonishment. Let's see how you die this time. Ming Mei thought hostilely. In front of the gravitational room, more than ten warriors of the precious Tool Valley were discussing quietly while looking at the room with an admiring and respectful face. The battle between Qi Yan and Cheng Ji had spread out all over the precious Tool Valley as fast as a thunderbolt. Many warriors who had nothing to do got stirred up hearing this news. They gathered here with great interest. Everyone knew that the Devil Valley was tough. First, Xi Yan had beaten up Hao Hai, then he smashed Cheng Ji's bones. Such malicious deeds were crueler than even the Devil Valleys. The ones who had the guts to provoke the Devil Valley's authority were all from the Seven Ancient Factions. However, even if he were from the Seven Ancient Factions, he shouldn't do such horrendous deeds. Who was he? Why did he dare to do so? Those people couldn't help but think about that vision. All wore an excited face, waiting for the next event to happen. Everyone knew that the Devil Valley wouldn't let things slip away like that. They also knew that there was a devil kind called Lai Feng among the young hotshots of the Devil Valley who came here this time. Lai Feng's strength and brutal characteristics were famous in the entire Divine Great Land. In the north of the precious Tool Valley, at the exclusive area of the Radiant God Cult, a line of good-looking talents was listening to Elder Shuemu lecturing about the features of the dead souls. All of a sudden, a surprised scream came from outside. Shuemu frowned, threw a glance there while his soul consciousness was moving, listening attentively. A young man hurt Cheng Ji and Hao Hai badly. His deed was brutal. We'll have a good show it seems. Shuem Yu talked to Ule in front of him, his face terrified. You take your brothers and sisters to check it out. Li Feng will show up, I assume. You fought with Li Feng that year without a final result. I think you should take this opportunity and check out his current competence. Ule was surprised. He nodded, then took some young hot shots of the Radiant God cult out of the place. The manor in the south of the Spirit Potion Valley. Elder Yulai of the Pure Land acted the same with Shuem Yu as he was assigning the pride of the Pure Land Luo Yu. What's his name? Luo Yu was wearing a dark purple robe, his face moved. I know all the experts of the ancient factions. He could hurt Cheng Ji and Hao Hai, so he shouldn't be just an anonymous. I have never heard of him before. Maybe he's new, Yulai shook his head, indicating that he didn't know the man, either. Luo Yu was surprised, then nodded and said, I will go there and take a look. Some hot shots of the Pure Land's new generation followed him. News spread quickly. Not long after that, all warriors in the precious Tool Valley and the Spirit Potion Valley received this buzzing news. They started to pack the space in front of Xi Yan's gravitational chamber. Hundreds of warriors were like a cloud of grass hoppers, packing the space in front of the gravitational room. The big war was ready to set off. Chapter 549, If It's a Must Fight, Then Fight. Gravitational Chamber Lin Yachi was worried, talking with a soft tone. Leave the precious Tool Valley. You can't stay here. Hao Hai failed, and then Cheng Ji failed. Lai Feng will take action for sure. 
Shi Yan indifferently sat down cross-legged. He slightly opened his eyes and then frowned, Lai Feng? Who's he? The strongest of this generation in the Devil Valley. He's at the first sky of spirit realm. People call him Devil Kind. This man's so evil and insane that if he feels irritated, he will slaughter massively, Lin Ya Chi said with a solemn face. Ah, nodded Shi Yan, let him come. After he had reached the third sky of Sky Realm, Shi Yan's confidence was abundant. Although he wasn't too arrogant, it helped him not to be afraid of the spirit realm warriors, especially those who were just one realm higher than him. The spirit realm and the Sky Realm were one whole realm away from each other. The gap between the two realms was like a deep and vast canal to ordinary warriors. But that didn't include him. Being a man who had three different types of martial spirits, a strong physique, and the ability to urge the negative energy, he had many tricks. Even if he had to battle with spirit realm warriors, he wasn't too afraid. As the strange creatures like the War Devil, the King of Demonic Insects, the Ice Cold Flame, the Earth Flame and the Holy Spirit God were with him, he didn't need to worry about his life. Thus, he got just a little bit anxious. The opponent just had the Spirit Realm cultivation base. Would he have the power that goes against the natural order? Lin Ya Chi was quite discontented with his manners. She kept muttering and begging him to leave, her face worried. Where to go? Shi Yan couldn't help but smile. At this moment, the Dead Soul Mountain range is a dangerous place. Once I leave the Spirit Potion Valley and the Precious Tool Valley, and enter the mountain range which is full of dead souls, I will die sooner. Although Lai Feng's excellent, will he dare to kill me? He does dare. Lin Ya Chi was hurried. I told you, he's a madman. The curfew of the Precious Tool Valley and the Spirit Potion Valley can prevent the others, but not him. Shi Yan was stunned. He hesitated for a while and then spoke up with an icy cold visage, if he dares, I can always show him how dangerous I am. Shi Yan wasn't afraid of the Devil Valley. The seven ancient factions were strong but they didn't have any ties with him. He was alone in this vast divine great land. He just needed to find a secret place and hide there. Even if the power of the seven factions spread out in every corner, they couldn't track him down. He had no worries, no burdens, or anything that could tie him down. At most, he could just leave. Lin Ya Chi had advised him for a long time without a positive result. Of course, she got indignant and shouted. She jumped over, attempting to drag him out of the place, forcing him to leave. However, at this moment, Shi Yan's eyes brightened. He dodged Lin Ya Chi and pushed her away. Lin Ya Chi was enraged, her face anxious. The one you're talking about comes. Outside the gravitational chamber, many warriors staying in the precious Tool Valley and the Spirit Potion Valley had gathered here, hundreds of them. Most of them were the disciples of the Pure Land in the Sky Realm. Some of them had Spirit Realm cultivation base. However, those experts at the Spirit Realm were all old. They were hiding in the crowd watching the event. There were three exceptions. Lai Feng, Yu Li, and Luo Yu. They were the new expert generation of the Devil Valley, the Radiant God Cult, and the Pure Land. Under the intensive care and numerous cultivating materials, plus their innate talents, they had reached the spirit realm at ease. God-given rare talents. These three were famous around the Divine Great Land. No matter the previous generations or the young and good-looking new generation, they all knew these three. Ule and Luo Yu brought their sisters and brothers standing in front of the gravitation chamber with great interest on their faces. Lai Feng had arrived earlier. He didn't hurry, and just sat down cross-legged outside the room, closing his eyes and waiting for something. Ming Mei stood behind him, her eyes sharp but radiant as she was scanning the room. She didn't know what Lai Feng was waiting for. A long time afterward, Lai Feng slowly got up, his leisured good-looking appearance swaying as he rose his voice. My friend in there, have you relaxed sufficiently? I'm Lai Feng of the Devil Valley. I think you know I'm here already. 
I don't want to talk much. I come here this time to see your defeat. As long as you admit your defeat, saying that you surrender after seeing me, Li Feng, I won't make this bigger. Turns out he was waiting for that brat to recover. Everybody was amazed. Yu Li and Luo Yu seemed to disdain him, shaking their heads strangely as if they thought that Li Feng was just hypocritical. He was a spirit realm warrior and now he wanted to trouble a sky realm warrior. Even if he waited until he recovered, what was that for? Could the gap between the two realms be made up in just a breath? Adjustment? Li Feng comes, indeed. Lin Ya Chi was frightened. Shi Yan stood up and calmly kicked the door open. Then, he came into the sight of hundreds of people. Surrender after seeing you. Shi Yan felt amused as he shook his head. You are not qualified. Li Feng's eyes became colder while a cold sneer appeared on his mouth. Interesting. Well, seems I was too much concerned, right? Friend, you do have guts. So, that's how you could hurt Hao Hai and Cheng Ji. Aren't you here to take back the face of the Devil Valley? Shi Yan arched his brows. Why you are babbling that much? If you want to fight, come. Why you're so lengthy? Everyone was stunned. Extremely arrogant. An anonymous kid in the Sky Realm could be that arrogant in front of Li Feng? He didn't know Li Feng's reputation, perhaps? No. Lin Ya Chi screamed ear splittingly. She flew to the front of Li Feng and explained. He's a friend of mine. He has a good connection with my teacher. He has beaten Hao Hai and Cheng Ji because they had provoked us initially. You're a spirit realm warrior. Even if you can defeat him, it isn't a proud triumph. I don't care what the others think about me. Li Feng's face was sinister. He was smiling, but his eyes were as cold as an ice chamber. What I mind, is this man's attitude to me. Boom. A strong gust rolled Lin Ya Chi up like a big rope, tying and dragging her out of the battle range. You're that frank, so I shouldn't be wordy. Li Feng laughed loudly, pulling Lin Ya Chi away as he strode to Shi Yan. The hurricane ripped through, causing havoc. The sharp yellow wind blade was as big as a willow leaf multiplied by the number of thousands, rolling torrentially towards Shi Yan. Inside the wind blade hurricane, Beams of devilish purple-red light was extending inaudibly, as soft as cotton yet rigid. Crack crack crack. The green stone, which was as firm as steel, exploded under Li Feng's feet while rock chips scattered everywhere. Howl howl howl. The wind howled and reverberated. The hurricane was like a column dragging everything up to the sky. The rocks exploded as the hurricane pressed down, heavy as the force of ten thousand soldiers. Shi Yan slammed his brows together. Under the whips of the strong wind, he was gathering his power. Pale-hued flows of negative energy oozed out from the acupuncture points in his entire body, moving fast in his meridians and blending with his essence qi. Bang bang! The muscles of his whole body bulged. The power hidden deep inside his muscle fibers was activated instantly, surging vehemently. Swoosh swoosh swoosh! Wind blades shot out from the hurricane, darting to him from every direction. They were all brutal and fierce. The gravitational room was 200 meters squared, but it was smashed in just a blink of an eye. Pieces of rock were dragged into the hurricane, intensifying its power. In the fluster of flying rock chips, the gravitational room was leveled. However, Shi Yan stood still like a 10,000-year-old rock. The wind blades rumblingly stormed over and smashed down his dark light shield, attacking his body. A brutal, bloodthirsty, insane, and hateful thought spurted out from his body, which diffused in the whole scene with an aura of a real substance. Then, it exploded furiously. Each wind blade impacted with that malicious aura around him felt as if it had ignited dynamite. Everything burst out blazingly. Boom. He stomped on the ground causing a tremor to transmit to Shi Yan's feet. His legs didn't settle down, but his power was pouring deep into the soil. The hurricane stormed over, but it couldn't lift him off the ground. 
it could only spin around him, sending more wind blades to attack him. The warriors watching the fight got stunned, exclaiming in fear. Shi Yan had only the Sky Realm cultivation base, but he wasn't shaken under Li Feng's swarming wind. This was inexplicable to them. Since Li Feng was a spirit realm warrior, even if he didn't use all of his power, the understanding he had of the powers of heaven and earth wasn't something a Sky Realm warrior could compare with. Li Feng was the pride of the Devil Valley, the bizarre evil seed that had escaped the 36 terminating caves. Everyone present here could sense the intimidating nature of his swarming wind. Such powerful force couldn't lift Shi Yan to the sky, of course, it was beyond people's prediction. This man has a strong foundation. Dangerous though. Yu Li's eyes brightened. With only his build and the power of the essence Qi, and without any treasure used, he can stay firmly on the ground like that. It's not something a normal person can do. Not bad. Not bad at all. Young men and women of the Radiant God cult standing next to ULE were all startled. They started to discuss boisterously, their faces excited. Earth Origin This is the resonance between the body and the earth. Only the warriors who are specialized in using the earth power can reach this realm. Luo Yu also muttered, although, it's not hard to control the earth origin, the young man here can stand firmly like that under the furious hurricane, which is rare. The power of his legs is overwhelming already. The same comments arose from the crowd. People now looked at Shi Yan with more surprise. Interesting, Li Feng cracked a smile. He wasn't surprised but happy. He was a fighting maniac. As he could see that Shi Yan could play a big game with him, he became excited, and started to accumulate his power. The hands he had always hidden in the sleeves were finally exposed. Spirit Hall Li Zhengrong and the four grand elders were discussing discreetly as they suddenly found a surging energy spread over from the precious Tool Valley. All of them couldn't help but sense quietly. Some spirit realm warriors are fighting. Li Zhengrong shouted. He got indignant immediately. We set the curfew of banning fighting already, but someone still violates it. Don't they know what situation we are in? Then, Li Zhengrong left the spirit hall, flying fast towards the precious Tool Valley. In the Tool Hall, Grand Elder Keita was also enraged. He furiously walked out of the hall, checking the hurricane in the sky. He suddenly screamed in awe. It's Li Feng. Li Feng didn't give us face. Who is he fighting with? Yule? Li Feng and Yule don't get along well. Li Feng doesn't abide by the rules, but Yule won't do that. It shouldn't be Yule. Let's go there and see. Let's go. Chapter 550, Force Meets Force The sun shone dazzlingly over the precious Tool Valley. Under the orange-red sunbeams, the atmosphere in the valley heated up. Shi Yan was standing in the middle of a training court with so many warriors surrounding. They all looked excited, discussing boisterously with each other and seemed to be all high. Yule, Luo Yu and their brothers and sisters had their eyes glued to the scene. They didn't dare to blink, only focusing on the battle over there. Li Feng continued to accumulate his power. Hurricanes continued to shoot up the sky. They then combined together, creating the swarming wind, washing away things on the training courts. Under the furious hurricane, the training yards were broken, smashed down as easy as breaking a dried tree branch. Warriors training inside hurled themselves out of the places, screaming and yelling with enraged expressions. Li Feng beamed a faint smile, ignoring all the bad comments and complaints from them. He only smiled at Shi Yan, who was submerged entirely inside the hurricane. Wind blades slaughtered everywhere, flying like sharp sickles. Beams of light bloomed inside the hurricane. The aura it diffused was so sharp that it made people want to stay away from it as far as possible. Shi Yan had no place to hide, and he didn't want to hide. His negative power was still urging. Second Sky of Rampage His mind sank into the Rampage realm as he was calmly looking at the increasing power of the hurricane. 
the muscles in his body enlarged and shivered when many types of energy were fusing. His aura became densely refined. Without using the powers from the ice-cold flame, the earth flame, and the Holy Spirit God, Shi Yan had urged the negative energy and the explosive power of his flesh body to resist the attack from the hurricane. He never showed that he was about to lose. The bystanders revealed their terrified faces as they were astounded. They had thought that when Li Feng arrived, with his spirit realm cultivation base, this fight would end shortly, and Shi Yan would be killed instantly. But the result was out of their expectation. In the hurricane's havoc, Shi Yan was like a small boat bobbing in the vast sea, which seemed to be about to getting destroyed at any minute while the risk was constantly increasing. However, after a long while, Shi Yan's boat was still bouncing at the same spot, without turning upside down. Everybody admired him. Man, you're good. Lai Feng couldn't help but beam out a trace of respect. Even the Sky Realm warriors from our Devil Valley can't achieve your level. Not bad, dude. That's why you're arrogant. Turns out you have absolute confidence. Good. Smashing your confidence will give me a great sense of achievement. Demon Coiling Hands The two exposing hands of Li Feng thrust forward fast. People then saw a lot of fading shadows shot out, turning into numerous soft, black hands, entangling Shi Yan. Hundreds of bizarre hands grew from his body like tentacles, swimming like snakes in the gust of the hurricane, approaching Shi Yan quickly. Shortly, those tentacles found their target inside the hurricane, coiling Shi Yan entirely. The demon coiling hands was the sacred level martial technique, a long time famous technique of the Devil Valley. It had absorbed the murderous aura of 36 terminating caves in the Devil Valley. The warrior then used his essence chi to refine it to be harder and more flexible at the same time. It was much dangerous than secret weapons. Once it was activated, the demon coiling hands were like the warrior's eyes, contacting with his soul consciousness. As long as the soul consciousness moved fast enough, the demon coiling hands would wind the opponent's body when he didn't have time to react. Shi Yan got hit. Onlookers were stunned. They felt a little bit regret inside as they thought that Shi Yan couldn't resist it anymore. At that time, Li Feng moved. He just swung his hands, and the demon coiling hands covered Shi Yan's body, entering the hurricane. He then activated devil palms unceasingly, condensed many kinds of evil energies, and then struck down rumblingly. Boom boom boom. In the deafening explosions, beams weaved, shining like sparkling fireworks. Light dots bloomed out in the hurricane like thick shattered stars. The evil energy burst out, expanding everywhere. The power of the hurricane soared again, continually increasing the pressure. Shortly, muscles in Shi Yan's body cracked as if he had gotten countless swords pierced through his body at the same time. Blood gushed out from his wounds like streams. The wounds were so deep that people could even see his bones. It was so painful that nothing could compare. Shi Yan's eyes reddened, revealing a pair of blood-red pupils. Numerous rays of light flashed. Third sky of rampage. Extreme bloodthirsty thoughts flooded his head. At this moment, Shi Yan was fuzzy. Li Feng was powerful, which surpassed his understanding. At the first sky of spirit realm, Li Feng had a strangely ever-changing devil techniques. His power was pure but evil, and his understanding of the realm was much more profound than the other first sky of spirit realm warriors. When Li Feng actually urged all of his powers and the limit that he could reach, he could even deal with the second sky of spirit realm experts. Shi Yan had a wrong assumption about this man he hadn't arranged the defense carefully and got bound by Li Feng's demon coiling hands. Malicious light flared from his red pupils, as a thick scent of blood exuded from him, expanding quietly. Inside the blood mist rising in spirals, Shi Yan faced the sky and roared loudly. His voice shot up to the sky, as the power in his body was urged to the extreme limit. A tremendous murderous aura shot to the sky from his head. Inside the dense blood mist, only the thought of slaughtering remained in Shi Yan's head. He had forgotten everything. 
the only thing he knew now was to kill all of his enemies. No worry, no happiness, no fear. Only murderous thoughts rose like rising tides. The death intent domain was urged instinctively. A glum, tranquil aura inaudibly diffused, as if it wanted to destroy the entire world. Many trees in the training yards yellowed then shriveled at the speed that naked eyes could observe. Their roots crumpled. Insects fell one by one. At the same time, the death intent domain also affected tiny creatures underground, but people couldn't recognize it. Only the thought of death. The death and life seal was also activated. In the third sky of Rampage, the negative energy was released freely. Seven hand imprints which were as big as a whole room appeared and piled up on each other in the void. Evil, brutal, dead and desperate thoughts quickly condensed inside the imprints, which doubled its power. The hand imprints fused, leading the murderous aura to the sky, then snatching down from high up. No earth-shaking explosion, no majestic scene of shattering rocks. The training yard was quiet. However, a bizarre change had happened in this silence. The hurricane was torn apart in the middle as if a sharp hand had cut it. In just a blink, numerous demon coiling hands disappeared. Li Feng's beautiful and practical demonic techniques seemed to be forced to stop. They were totally subdued. His blood pupils shone the angry flame of a bloodthirsty beast. With blood scattering everywhere, Shi Yan aimed at Li Feng, using the abundant power of his body to strike. Each hit of him was like it was used to break the mountain, with the energy surging violently. In the death intent domain between Shi Yan and Li Feng, it seemed some invisible barriers concealed the two's aura. Onlookers only saw the two of them flexed, then storm over like a thunderbolt. But, they couldn't hear the sound of their impact or sense the power of each hit. Bloody fighting. Blood streamed out from Shi Yan, which made him look like a bloodthirsty demon from the bottom level of hell. He had totally gone crazy. Light sparkled from his bloody eyes which scared the onlookers, they didn't dare to look at him in the eyes. Lai Feng was affected as well. The power in his body was restrained. His accomplishment in the spirit realm seemed to be dragged into the abyss of death, as his confidence was nibbled bit by bit. Lai Feng activated all of his powers. Numerous devil techniques that he had been cultivated exquisitely came layer upon layer. Devilish, ghostly light expanded immensely. Attacks that could make people dizzy arose constantly. Force met force. The two silhouettes entangled, wildly bursting out together. Light sparked like shooting stars. Sparkling and glorious, they mesmerized people. Lai Feng didn't realize that his body was covered with blood now. Also, nobody knew whether this was his blood or Shi Yan's. The more Lai Feng fought, the more astounded he became. He had never thought that a kid in the Sky Realm could use force to withstand his force. Also, he had never seen that human body could be fierce and robust to that degree. Many kinds of techniques that had been imparted during thousands of years in the Devil Valley hit Shi Yan like hitting the most solid rock in the world. Sounds of metal impacting echoed constantly. The power of Shi Yan's body made him feel like he was fighting against a rock puppet, and not a flesh body. Anyway, he could ignore this feature. The scariest feature of this man was his recovery ability. Inside the court, he could see clearly that Shi Yan's body was covered with wounds. However, during the fight, he saw the cuts close and then get restored. Wounds recovering during the fighting? What was going on? Lai Feng couldn't believe his own eyes. If he hadn't seen all of Shi Yan's cuts restoring, he would think that he was hallucinating. Unfortunately, he knew it wasn't his illusion. It was all real. During the fighting, his opponent's body recovered quickly, and his fighting competence wasn't weakened too much from the beginning to the end. Quite the contrary, his body got hurt badly, and he was bleeding. Gradually, he felt helpless. Inside the death intent domain, his will was worn out. The confidence that hadn't been shaken before started to wear away. It was the first time Lai Feng found that in the Divine Great Land, there was a man in the Sky Realm who could fight the proud sons of God at the Spirit Realm like them. 
This finding was like a hammer hitting him and suffocating him. The battle still continued. Bystanders couldn't see many clues from the death intent domain. All the powers inside were twisting, not revealing their true forms. Also, they couldn't hear the ear-splitting impact, but only the two vague silhouettes. Li Zhenrong and Keita arrived when the fight was at its peak ferocity. They landed with grimaced faces. Teacher. Lin Yuqi called out tenderly. Her face was anxious as she was struggling under the whole body restraint of the wind barrier. Li Zhengrong snorted, then struck the barrier made by Li Feng. He pulled Lin Yuqi to his side and asked, What happened? Li Feng's fighting with Xi Yan. Li Feng has the spirit realm cultivation base, while Xi Yan has only the third sky of sky realm cultivation base. Li Feng's bullying him. Said Lin Yuqi indignantly. Li Zhengrong was surprised. He looked at the battle in the court. His narrow eyes squinted. Then, he couldn't help but shout, Is that Shi Yan? Lin Yuqi nodded continually like a hen feeding on rice. When he arrived, Li Zhengrong assumed that Li Feng's opponent would be someone at his level like Yu Li or Luo Yu. However, this situation was fierce as if the participants of this battle had the same level. In the Precious Tool Valley and the Spirit Potion Valley, the ones who could fight face to face with Li Feng were only Yu Li of the Radiant God Cult and Luo Yu of the Pure Land. However, listening to Lin Yuqi, Li Zhengrong found that things were out of his expectation. Li Zhengrong knew that Xi Yan wasn't ordinary. From the night Ye Chong Feng had returned from the dark magnetic noxious mist, he often complimented Xi Yan a lot. However, Li Zhengrong instinctively assumed that although Xi Yan was strong, he was just an extreme in the endless sea. So, when he came to the Divine Great Land, his level wasn't enough to be on the ranking list. But now, he knew that he had clearly underrated the young man. Hi guys, support me in Kofi. So I can upload more audiobooks regularly.